everybody. My name is Frankie MacDonald. You're watching the Simcast with Chrissy Mayer on every Sunday night. See you then. I'm Frankie MacDonald, and you're watching Simcast, starring Chrissy Mayer. Cardiff, OJ, I like you two a lot more than this guy. Hey, what's up, my n <laughs> He was going to say ninja. I'm down in Knoxville. Today we're going to do a little boxing. I've had enough of this. You're not funny. This is no longer interesting. You're just, uh, this is interesting. Anyway, take care, Charles. And, um, I hope you and Richard, I hope you, I hope you're reunited with your lover, Richard Simmons, once again. That when he decides to come out of high, come take care. Uh, I think...
All right. Happy Halloween, almost Halloween. I am your host, the Scarlet Witch, and I'm extra mad because my costume's real tight. <laughs> Welcome to Sibcast. So happy to have you here tonight on this ha Halloween Eve Eve, I guess. Uh, it is Sunday, October 29th. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Yes, we're doing it. I really... These pants are really very tight. Uh, before I bring on our fabulous panel of guests, it's been a couple of years since I've had this costume on. Uh, thank you to everyone who came out this weekend, by the way, to Long Island. Uh, had some really wonderful shows this weekend at the Brokerage in Belmore, out in Long Island, my hometown. Well, long, I'm from I'm from Rockwell Center, but all of Long Island I consider my my hometown. I bumped into some people from high school. Oh my god, we'll have to talk more about that for sure. If you're wondering when's the next chance you can see me, I'll be in Tampa headlining the Side Splitters Comedy Club Sunday, December 3rd. Uh, I'm working on a Texas trip for December. And then I'm um, headlining in San Diego at the Mic Drop Comedy Club the first weekend of the new year, Friday, January 5th and Saturday, January 6th out at the mic drop in San Diego. Three shows, one Friday, two Saturday. Come on out. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. I got to try to squeeze in as many shows as I can before they won't let me fly. Uh, because I've heard that flight attendants do not enjoy seeing a very pregnant woman on their flight. They get It makes them nervous, I've heard. So <laughs> I don't want to make anybody nervous. What is going on with my hair? It's from casting all these spells. Okay. Nice, nice. We've got a lot of hot, sexy ladies. Some are in costume. Some clearly threw something together at the last minute. You be the judge of that. Uh, you know her. You love her. It's Leanne Starr as a tiger. Hello, Leanne. A tiger? I am a carve a box. Carve box? <laughs> yeah, from the commercials. Um, what commercial? The car fox. You don't know what that is? The car is a car fax. It's a car fox. He's I'm like a fox. Look that up. Whatever. Never mind. You're adorable. I love it. Is that the sun behind you? <laughs> um, no, it's the moon. There's like bats, but you can't see it because of this light. So it just looks like an orange blob. It looks like something's on fire behind you. I love it. It looks though. like a sphincter opening <laughs> a portal. It's good. <laughs> you know, at this point. I Nothing would surprise me. A sphincter. We, I could go for a sphincter portal right about now. I just finished watching this, the South Park into the, the Panderverse thing. It's pretty funny. Oh, so I gotta I'm watch in, it. I'm into portals now. <laughs> um, coming to us all the way from the Middle East. Um, she, she, she may or may not be single. I don't, I don't know how her story ends. Um, but she's here for us tonight. It's the Princess Jasmine. Hello, hi. Nina. Hello. Hi, Chrissy. Thanks for having me on. Happy Halloween, Eve Eve. Eve, Eve, Eve. Whatever, Eve, Eve. I yeah. thought it was tomorrow, but it is tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, it's it's amazing. You look amazing. You both look amazing. And uh, looking forward Thanks. to this show. And yes, I'm from Agrabah and I'm married to Prince Ali. We're still together. Agrabah. Is that what the Palestinians are fighting over right now? That's I right. was going to say something and stop myself. So I was like, no, I better not. 
<laughs> they want our Agrabah castle, but it's not happening. We're not giving it they to them. They should just get over it. I feel like if you don't, if you don't feel wanted in a place, just find somewhere else. But I'm, I'm like anti-conflict, so <laughs> yeah, me too. I'd sooner leave than engage in a war. But that's just me. Um. Yes, coming in, she she looks like she's at the DMV. I can assure you, she's not. Her costume, I think, is cat posing for a passport photo. It's Mary Morgan. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. No one can tell that I threw this together at the last minute. <laughs> no, nah. <it's> okay. <laughs> I also didn't really want to burden people with having to get a, something i had this already like i i, <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to be the only person that shows up in a costume and then looks like an idiot oh, that's what i thought was know? gonna happen like why does halloween have, have to be on, on a face. tuesday <laughs> i know it really should be like how thanksgiving is like the fourth thursday it should be on the fourth saturday or the third saturday of october Always a Friday or a mm -hmm. Saturday. I mean, whenever mm -hmm. it was I was a kid and it fell on a weekend, a weekday, it was terrible. It, it always sucked. They really it's just school don't night. want us to be happy. It's yeah. It's, and and she's another. She's coming in a. She might be your competition or your cat petition. Oh God, that's a <laughs> cat petition. Cat petition. Uh, it's Christina, aka Radix Bum. <laughs> We've got the same ears. That's so cute. Okay. <laughs> Her ears might be bigger. That's what all girls do. They just put ears on. They're like, you know what? Well, we okay. So I, my daughter <laughs> wanted me to get matching Demon Slayer costumes, and I oh. have it. But I just felt like. There's no way I'm wearing this on air as a thirty. Oh, you should have. That would have been awesome. You totally should have. <laughs> Demon Slayer costume is that the character that's permanently playing a harmonica? Is that the one? No, I don't think so. There's so many of them, okay. but she's like a cute little like butterfly ninja. Okay. I think her name is Shinobu. She's cute. Okay, that sounds cute. Yeah. I, but it's I, like a kimono and stuff, and I just felt like it looked weird in kimono. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Somebody in chat, you must know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an anime character, and she looks like she's constantly playing the harmonica, and it's stuck in her mouth. Yeah, Someone that's Nezuko. Oh, Nezuko. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, that's yeah. the one. My I have no clue what you're talking be. about. It's from the same anime. It's from the same anime. It's just a different, different character. character. Is it it's not like even a harmonica? It's a bamboo. It's a bamboo. Oh, it, so it does, it's not even a musical instrument. No, it's no. just so she doesn't bite people. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? It's a, it's, all it, it's, a, it's a bite guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes to keep you from biting people? Just have have something. It's like a muzzle for an adult. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's really neat. Um, hello, ladies. Good to have you here. Does do you guys have? How are we into Halloween? Other than right now, uh, do you generally like Halloween? Do you still get dressed up? What are your overall? I like thoughts? it. You can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I dress up. Sometimes it just depends. I just wear like my hair. I wore my Harry Potter cape yesterday to this party that I got in Orlando. Because when else am I ever gonna wear it? I don't even know why I bought it. So I just like wore that. <laughs> that was my costume. Harry, what what um what school is the Harry Potter cape in? Like what um I got Gryffindor. Okay, that's the good one, right? I have yeah. Hermione's like uh, wand too. I have the sweater though. I have a lot of it so that's not it's not costume it's just normal clothes i got at hot topic at some point so you're like into harry potter yeah right? <laughs> i just i just randomly rewatched prisoner of azkaban last night because it's like my favorite halloween movie like one of them I like that one i just love that movie that's Is a, that halloween really a halloween movie? movie i just i just make i just make it a halloween movie for myself because it's about witches and wizards well someone told me it was a christmas is. movie to them like the mm -hmm. first one I'm yeah like, yeah I guess there's like a tree in it because they have like Christmas during, the yeah, movie. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if they consider Die Hard a Christmas movie, I think that's fine. Yeah, is it really? Die Hard's definitely a Christmas movie. I don't know why people say that. I I, what I am one of those people. Those. It's because there's mm -hmm. Santa Claus, uh, being you know saying ho ho ho. Now I have a gun. That is that is the. No, no, no. That is, it sounds like 2023 Santa. That is the mm -hmm. definition of Christmas. 
Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Nina, if you wanted to update your Princess Jasmine, you could be like Hamas Jasmine and just carry like an AR 15 or something. Oh my god, I was gonna say something like yeah. that before, but I was like, nah, don't. It's YouTube, I don't know. Like, I'm covered in blood, but I'm still beautiful. Wow, <laughs> no, we're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay, I don't Wait, really... did you see that influencer girl that did that? She's like a beauty influencer, I think, and she like dressed up as a woman from Gaza and put blood on her, but like making it like they're faking it. Like holding a doll and stuff. I'm pretty sure they suspended her. I was, account, but what? Who did that? No. I was like, wow, dude, you got so gross. It was, it was a little bit bigoted. Weird. It was fucked up. Chris no, Brown crazy. dressed up as a terrorist one year, I think. What? He did? Yeah. I, wow. Isn't he already like a vaginal terrorist? He's got like 10 kids. Yeah. Well, he does? Oh God, does he really? No, wait, I'm thinking, who am I thinking of? Not Nick Chris Cannon Brown. does. Oh, yeah, that's Nick Cannon. Cannon. Really? No, he's the one that beat oh, Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He might have 10 kids, too. We don't know. Yeah, we True. don't know. He has at least yeah. one that I know of. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I can't believe he ever came back from that. <laughs> Me either. But I don't think say I the on Twitter <laughs> 10 years ago <laughs> or you're done for. In Hollywood, that no matter what kind of bullshit they go through, like they'll be okay. I think it depends on your yeah. connections, your management. Uh, well, his music is good. Like, I'm not going to stop streaming his music because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I can like Same separate thing. most of it. I love Michael Jackson. I'm ne- I'll, mm-hmm. I'll never stop believing. I'll never stop <laughs> uh, looking at the man in the mirror. I don't think that was his song. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, am I a big fan. Um, yes, it, it, does, it don't matter fun. if you're black or, or white, Chris. Yeah. It's okay. It don't matter. No. no. <laughs> they say it doesn't, but I feel like it always will. It does in 2023. It didn't yeah. back then. It matters too much now. Yeah. 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 Hi, sure Mary. Does. How are you? How are things? Things are good. I'm a little nervous because this is the first time I've been on the stream. Oh my god! Ever. You're popping your simcast cherry. Oh, don't be yeah. nervous. Yeah, yeah don't be nervous. I don't know what's going on. No, whatever. There's, there's, it's a free, it's a free for all. Half of us are <laughs> drunk most of the time. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to drink right now, so I would join you if I could. But it's all good. I, uh, I've gone the longest I've ever gone without drinking, which is. Um, well, I would have liked to have said 15 weeks, but it's really more like whatever 15 minus 7 is because uh, that's when uh, I found out nah. I was pregnant. <laughs> oh, congratulations, by the way. I'm so Yay! excited. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. I didn't know that. Oh, my but God. You're glowing. Yes. yes. Uh, thank you. It's, uh, it's partially the glow, partially the bronzer. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I have an app that tells me every week what size fruit he is. And, I love uh, that. What and size what's is the fruit? Now? And then when we found out we were going to have a boy, Frank was like, no son of mine is going to be a fruit. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> of a baseball this week. He's an apple right now. Aww. You're so lucky you're having a boy. Please don't you name your so kid apple. I know. No, no, like you can't even really, I'm not even, I mean, you can tell that this was tight on me, but like you can't even really. Skinny legend. I'm, yeah, I'm hanging on as long as i can i think i think they tell you with your first one that like your abs are tighter and so it takes you much longer to show so i'm like well what if i just try to what if i just try to do a bunch of crunches now and just catch up and try to <laughs> get toy wait um, wasn't there a girl that had a six pack like while she was pregnant oh, it was like stop it. years ago it was like oh, some yeah the thing inside the, the little squatter inside it pulls your abs apart uh, mm. It like spreads them out. It's uh, true. It's very scary to read about. So, yeah, stop <laughs> reading about it. My oh, bad. <laughs> body will never be the same. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> have you ever seen someone give birth? Like, have you ever seen it? Don't no, watch I've it. Seen a video Just on myself. It. Don't watch it. You were able um, to watch yourself, Christina. I didn't know you were that flexible. I was pregnant, at, or I, mm. <laughs> I was present at my own. Child what did they have birth. a big mirror for you to watch it all go down? <laughs> I was there. I saw everything. But you oh, saw wow. no, you but like real, into the eye um, of the storm. You were just like I was 
God. <laughs> at a baby shower in another state, you know, visiting my dad. And I was seven months pregnant, so I was not expecting that to happen. And then it did. And I wasn't sure if I was actually going into labor or if I was super constipated, but was going to poop or something. So I got to the hospital, went right into the emergency room, uh, bathroom, and I sat on the toilet. And then I looked down and was like, oh, that's not poop. Oh, and I started no. screaming. Oh, my and then God. Nurses came in and they're like, oh, she's dilating. Get her on the floor. And I was like, Make ah. a, what, what and so was it? My daughter was born on the floor. Oh, <laughs> my God. What? You had a toilet baby? That's so cool. I thought that only happened to like, <laughs> like prom babies. Yeah, like a prom baby. <laughs> yeah. And no, like, apparently that her, happens a they lot. They don't know that they're pregnant. A bedpan. The there's like a whole no. show about it. It's so crazy. I never here. understand or, that, How Leanne. would she not know you're pregnant, yeah, though? Like, I, I don't get so it. so much morning I'm sickness. No, no idea. I didn't realize it was, like, so common. More well, it's usually that they're overweight, right? And they just can't tell that they're showing. That's right. Yeah. A lot of yeah, I think a lot of them are, honestly. Yeah. I only watched that show, like, once. It was on Discovery Channel. But there was two cases of them on the same thing. So there's that's more than I thought. Anyway, when, like, I didn't realize it was like common. Yeah, I when was I was saying, so I guess <laughs> I have oh to God. I have to switch you two because I can't stand. I don't know. I'm like such a I can't stand when it looks like people are like facing away facing the other way. I even kind of honestly prefer <laughs> this. Like I prefer, like I'm such a <laughs> symmetry. So front and center. I have like symmetry autism. <laughs> when oh, I, I was too. in grade oh, seven, God. they like they hadn't even told us like how like what sex was and then one day like we're supposed to start like sex education and they like put us in this class and then they just showed us a birth video like out oh of nowhere gosh. oh my god yes, really they, they do, do that, that? that okay wait i'm confused because i went to religious schools and they did not do that so they did what that were in, all of your experiences with that well, like when they, they did that in, telling you these things they did that in our like public school in canada and like i was so traumatized because i had no idea yeah. i didn't even know babies came out of the vagina at oh the time my God. like i thought it was like <laughs> it was the belly button yeah like i thought it well i didn't think it was a belly button but i thought it, they came out of the belly so I was like, really. Well, so technically, totally... they do. I mean, now they do, like you know, cesarean wise. But like, I didn't know that people pushed it out. Yeah. Because I'd never seen like a dog or a cat give birth or anything like that. So Wait, what did you ask home? your parents? No. Well, I did afterwards. Like, I went home yeah. and I was like, "What the fuck?" That's... And I, I was actually really mad at my mom at the time. And I, like, I went into the shower and started washing myself because I was like, "I came out of your vagina. This is fucking gross." And like, I went crazy and I was like yelling at her and I was like, "You should have told me. This is disgusting." And she was like, "This oh my is God. how like life is made. I'm sorry <laughs> to break it to wow. you, but that's that's what happens." And I was like, oh, "Okay, well." I'm traumatized now. I, I'm that still traumatized. Weird. That's really weird. <laughs> I'm, it is I'm weird. so traumatized. So I, I, I will I, never forget that birth video. I, was I feel like, like they shouldn't yeah. show that to kids. <gasps> no, I don't know why. That's what, wait, oh what grade were you in? I think I, I was, was in seven. grade seven. Like before it. high yeah. school. The last year I think of you should still have the parents' permission. That yeah, day. definitely. Well, they're trying My mom to like was scare pissed. you. They're My trying to scare you out of getting pregnant. At the yeah, time. it fucking will scare me. That's for sure. But they didn't even tell us how you get pregnant, Mary. Yeah, that's so weird. it was like it was like, yeah, okay, here you mystery. go. <laughs> like, that's here like zero to sixty. Mystery. Like that's crazy. <laughs> My mom was pissed. She like came to the school and like yelled at the principal. She was like, "What the fuck?" This yeah, is well, the thing that's happened. crazier to me is them showing kids how to like put condoms on bananas. Like, is that oh. a real thing? Yes, they did that in my school afterwards. That's nuts. <laughs> Why? Why? Which is because a lot of women aren't even able to get a guy with a banana. A lot of us are able to get baby carrots <laughs> for a few <laughs> In seven, you know, like <gasps> keep it realistic. Oh my god! I went to public school, but like they didn't do any of that. Like they barely even taught us anything because I went to school in the hood, so they oh. definitely weren't doing that. Um, yeah, that never happened in any of my schools, which is shocking. But I did have a daycare at my high school because so many people have kids. Wow, oh, we had one at my high school too, Leanne. We had did one they really? Yeah, really? what? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's oh crazy. Oh my gosh. There was so a lot of girls that had babies. Crazy. So, 
Did you guys maybe ever they should have, have had sex ed? Showed them so how to put the condom on. Carry around uh, either an egg or like an actual baby doll yes. that would cry at random intervals. Mm -hmm. We did the no. egg thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Is no. This, never. This is so we had to weird. carry around baby dolls that would randomly cry, and like, uh, I would just stuff mine in the closet, like under sweaters, until the cries were muffled enough that I could go to sleep. <laughs> That is what? a birth control. No. Like they should have <gasps> girls do that in high one school. Of, shit. That's one a of my good point. One of my girlfriends broke up with her boyfriend because he broke the egg. What? Oh, oh that is mean. eggs yeah. are so easy to be to, to break. They were made to be broken. I know, and she was like pissed. She was like, "You can't take care of an egg. I can't mm -hmm. trust you to take care of a baby." And she was like pissed off. She broke up with him. I was like, "Oh my it's god, fucking egg. babies like, are a little bit more." I don't know, hardy than an egg. <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> Just a bit. Test that. Um, oh my goodness. Let's go to a couple supers. Andrew Jacobs, the rad trad cat is back. Go Mary. Is that your street name? Um, apparently. I got the same super chat when I was on whatever this week. So you were back on me. whatever. Yeah, oh, was. how was that? Oh. Yeah, I was on uh this Sunday, this past Sunday and Tuesday both and um on tuesday dave rubin was on as well oh which i, I think a lot of people oh, yeah a lot that. of people expected him to also be like dunking on the 304s and that did not happen that did not mm -hmm. happen at all i loved his takes on just about everything i agree with him on just about everything he was like yeah you might uh, it seems like most of you guys will eventually move on from this or maybe if you find a nice guy you'll probably stop but if you're not hurting anybody and it's not illegal then like god I disagree. bless go for it I disagree. I don't think that um, he was right about that because he's not he's not recognizing the long term effects. Right. Because he's not a woman and he's not like <laughs> right. he doesn't he's not thinking. Well, he's just married to another dude. So he's probably not thinking. He did what, tell us that he, he like had a dating <laughs> life with women and when he was in college. Yeah. He's like, I tried and I basically so. couldn't get it up. I like that he was kind of honest about that. I was like, yeah, that makes <laughs> I was like what curious. Is, what is the 304 is that you were saying? What, what is that? Pose. Okay, originally oh. I thought it was about the area code. And I was like, wait, that's the West Virginia area code. Why are you making fun <laughs> <laughs> But I, I learned know. afterwards what it well, means. Well, Virginia yeah. is for lovers, I heard. So <laughs> wow. West Virginia is for haters like me. Mary, oh. quick question. Yeah. How many times did Brian tell you to move closer to the mic? None. I think I've got the memo by now on what okay. to do. At least I don't remember him telling me that, but he did tell me to shut up a couple times. Oh, he did? Nice. Yeah, Mary. I mean, he was he was getting exasperated uh, at many points, but when you stream for five hours straight, anyone could lose their mind. Snap. Yeah. Did yeah. you feel, Mary, that you were able to express your position about like the what you think the long term effects of say like doing OnlyFans or doing like do you do you mean just OnlyFans or like any kind of work? Well, they actually the the sex workers that were on with us that time uh, I don't think had OnlyFans or maybe one of them did, but they work at this place called the Bunny Ranch in Nevada. Vegas. I didn't know yeah, this existed, Vegas. but it's basically legal prostitution like they get some kind of exemption from the law there um yep. which i think is simply because you're interfacing with people in person it's much more dangerous and they talked about that too um how a lot of men like actually rage on them and abuse them and i'm like wow well clearly like the men paying to penetrate you guys don't respect you as people um so that's in a way worse than just doing OnlyFans when you're alone in your house. But either way, um, I tried my best. I didn't want to come off like I was trying to put them down, but they always get so defensive that it's it's hard not to come off that way. One of them seemed to really hate me. The other one was much nicer and mm -hmm. heard everyone out a lot more. I yeah, think I'm like weird. I yeah. have OnlyFans, but I advise girls against it, especially younger girls like on TikTok. If they message me, I tell them the truth because like I have a real job and I don't know if everyone's going to be able to do that. You know what I mean? So I tell mm -hmm. them to really think about it. I'm like, don't just do it because and then 
porn, I do not understand how people just sleep with random people like that. I could never do that. Like I like the bunny ranch. There's no way you could offer me millions of dollars and there's just no way I could do that. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I really don't like, how do you just have, you have to be a really good actor people? or you have to be like, so empathetic, I guess that you I don't can, know. But it was just so ridiculous because they were like, "I really enjoy connecting with clients." Connecting, uh, like what? I, I like, like what does that even mean? Money. <laughs> yeah, money. I don't like, know. I, I told connecting them like the connection money, is yeah. not something that you do for money. That is not a human connection. If it is a transaction. No. It truly baffles me. I like talking to them to see, like, and most of the girls that I talk Stop to, it, um, they do have trauma. Like, they were molested or course, yeah. assaulted or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Doing that isn't going to make that's it so better. Sad. I try to explain that to them. Like, that's just going to make you feel worse. So, just randomly sleeping with people. And I noticed what they got the most triggered at was the topic of, well, because Brian was driving home, like, well, it's easy for him to make the, the generalization because that's how he feels. But like, no, no guy wants to date a girl who does any only fans or any type yeah. of sex work at all. And that when when that point was brought to their attention, like, do you know that this is this is really limiting like your your potential spouse pool? I think that is one of the topics that gets them very triggered. Yeah, um, but then that kind of just took over the whole discussion for way longer than it needed to because they're just going to say, you know, I don't care because I'm not looking for a relationship right now. But at, at 20 or even 30, you don't really know what you're going to want later mm -hmm, in right. life. So you have to think about how your choices now affect you in the future and not just think about instant gratification and money. We were like, how, how does this benefit you other than from material possessions, like the houses that you can buy, the cars that you can buy, et cetera, and plastic surgery. And she just couldn't list a single thing. Wow. <laughs> you know what it is? It's because they're not old enough to know like the consequences haven't hit them yet. Or if they ha if they've started to hit them, they're they're not going to own up to it. They're because no one wants to admit that they've taken a wrong path in life. It's a good point. Uh, no, they but don't. a lot of them, when they're sort of still in their twenties, it's it still does feel mm. like you have so much time, and you're like, uh, I love all this money. Uh, I love that I can kind of make my own hours and get paid for being hot and and doing what I was doing for free before, which is dating guys and sleeping with guys I don't even like. So. Maybe it just feels like easy. But like, man, you shouldn't have been doing that before when you weren't getting paid for it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand how they do that shit. Like I can see, like they need to be like Amaranth if they're going to do it. They need to make investments and do whatever all that happened with her, by the way. Because you oh, well, can find a job. She's still grifting. She's I'll got be, a. What was I'll tell you her, what her abusive husband or whatever. Like, are they still together? What's happening? I have no clue. They're, I, I know they're they're together she's, like, she's selling a beer with her vaginal. Oh, I know. <laughs> It's Stop so disgusting. Yes. I would never do that either. Yeah. How do you do that? How? I would not <laughs> want anyone drinking it for one. I would punch them. Like, don't this sounds get like a that. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That is so gross. gross. Does she have an infection? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Probably like, several. Oh I just my don't God, understand. She I makes don't enough know. money where she doesn't need to do that. Like, she owns a gas station. She, so, I mean, she, like, makes investments. So, mm -hmm. um. But I mean, yeah, but girl, she doesn't drama. care because she's like, I, I think people yeah. have asked her before if like you would let your daughter do that. She's like, hell yeah, I would like I want her to go into OnlyFans and like things like uh, that. She's I like, mean, dude, she sold her farts in a jar. So this is no wait, that was the other girl, wasn't it? Was, no, yeah, she did it too. Oh, oh, she did it too. Oh, yeah, girl. she did it too. Sold her fart jars. After the sold one her, main girl. Sold her bath water. Ew. What is wrong with the men that are buying? I don't this know. Stuff just, like that are paying for it and making a market for this. Like, oh my god, I don't do know. This if there weren't idiots that were purchasing. Whatever this. man buys this, you will never have a girl. You'll yeah. never have a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> the scary part is they're just gonna hide that from anybody. Yeah, it's like, like oh my god, if I found that in your house, I'm out, dude. I'd be thinking you're in like a society, serial man. killer.
or what? like some weirdo Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I don't know. She, why did she mention that they're European? Like, what does that have to do I with anything? Because they're it's a Polish beer company. Uh, oh my god. Let's see. Uh, I actually watched. Um, I don't know if you know Moist Critical is. Uh, mm -hmm. I watched his video about this, and I was dying laughing because he was like reading their um how they explain the process on whatever website this is. And they like oh literally God. made it sound like a cult. Like they're trying to convince people like this is an exotic experience. And it was just so oh my weird. God. <laughs> an Polish exotic theory. experience? Like that is so Oh, gross. they were saying sensual or something dumb. Well, the order of the It's a Polish brewery. <laughs> Um, it was really weird. It will take me to. Oh my god, it did. All right, let's. Oh no. Let's, I, I am curious about the process because you know maybe maybe somebody listening wants to brew up uh, some of their own bodily fluids into it. Into yeah, a brew your own. Don't buy anyone else's. Okay, yeah, those are weird. Have the, but... have the home brewery kits. Why can't you just do a home veg beer? Ew. They said Ew. sour. No. Oh my beer. lord. Oh, Wait, no hang on. Method. So it's actually like made from like vagina stuff. Like I just thought yeah. she was like saying that it was the name. Dude, like, she had no, to get a like... pap smear for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's god. so weird and gross. <laughs> it's so weird. This is like oh way god. worse than like when a Paltrow making her assistant smell her cooch so that she can oh like sell her god. candle. Like, what? It features a sour aftertaste and a woman's allure. Oh the beer promises to bring happiness oh, no. and joy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Using high-tech microbiology. So they just put her vaginal yeast in, like, they, like, culture it. Disgusting. They oh, culture the yeast. Oh, my God. They put it in a graduated cylinder. They look at it. <laughs> and then they jerk off. I don't know. Uh, the woman they claim. Okay, Science they has already, gone too far. They, yeah. yeah. It's so Guys, weird. Focus back on cancer, please. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, they have the cure for cancer already. They won't give it to us. Mary's mm -hmm. wrong. That makes sense because they make money off the, off the medicine. The bacteria if you buy this, I'm sorry. You're, you need help. The bacteria lactobacillus <laughs> transfer women's features, allure, grace, glamour, and her instincts into beer what? and other products, turning them into dance with lovely goddess, the site reads. Orders of yeah. Yoni we'll hope translate. to raise 150K, uh, K euros for their project. Oh, wow. I mean, I just think this is <laughs> clickbait because the Amaranth article said, oh, they reached out to me. They want to do it. They want me to send in my vaginal yeast. So it doesn't sound like this she is something you she's going to do. It. Yeah, it, this hasn't hit the shelves yet. <laughs> and, uh, I'm so grossed go, out. Yeah, yeah that's buy, so like weird. an Amaranth oh, light right now. How many people in the chat you think are, how many dudes in the chat you think are going to buy this? At least 50. Uh, <laughs> I know it'll sell out. I'm sure. I'm sure. I think the people that will buy it will have it just and keep it on a shelf, like the same people that bought her bath water or bought like her undies or whatever. No, there are people like, drinking the bath water. No, the bath water they were on yeah. camera doing it, like on YouTube. They were the drinking. Bath water it. is just water. Yeah, right? that's like, way better than vagina. That's Maybe weird. she sat in it and farted, Mary. You don't know. Maybe it's, like a, maybe it's like a mix of bath and fart she water. She probably just filled it up in her sink. It probably what if wasn't. Like, yeah. it's <laughs> like a bath. And what's from a garden her, hose? What if it's like her brother's bath water? Like, there's yeah. no way anyone would know. Maybe it's, 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 not, it's not even that. that. It's like she, an octopus that she It's had probably from like the tap. She's just like, yeah. oh, here's here's oh some God. tap water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she God. just did it. Fuck off. I'm it. Don't you dare. Just thinking oh, about Nina, it. Is your, is your cat raising hell on your desk? <laughs> me? No. She's probably like, what's with your, why are you trying to dress like me? <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> Christina, what kind of, um, what kind of uh, pinball machine is that? Adam's family. <laughs> oh, how appropriate. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played the Adams Family one. I it's like love best. It's I think the it's the one best from one. the nineties. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It's a collector's item. One. Yeah, I love exactly. the I love the Indiana Jones one. I was obsessed with that one. <laughs> the Rock that was pretty cool. 
Thank you, Joe F, for the super chat. Happy Halloween and happy B day to the spooky Scorpios out there. Mine is November first. Ooh, mine's coming up on the eleventh. It's Scorpio. a guy knows like signs. Oh. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. kind of weird. I Are don't. You, I know some stuff, but not really. <laughs> Zach, thanks for super chat. Did you see the Perry Chan intro starring you? No, I haven't yet. I was uh, doing shows this weekend. I didn't see FNT, uh, but I'll have to check that out. Ooh. Shane Should Wilder. We pull it up? Oh, if you can. Shane Wilder, thanks for the super chat. Hey, this crisis actor gets to shout out support for Mary on one of her guest appearances instead of Brett for a change. Don't tell Brett. He might get jealous. Lol, just kidding. Have a good show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I won't tell. I want to know if any of you guys have paranormal stories you want to tell. Do I have any paranormal stories? Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> I do. I mean, so many, but. Yeah, that's true. Leanne has a lot of experiences. Yeah. Do you want to tell us? I was born. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Tell us. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> wait, what did you say? Oh, wait. My computer's, like, blinking again. Oh, no. Is it the kind of thing, Leanne, where they, like, make themselves available to you, or you have to, like, seek them out to hear what they're saying? Um, It just happens. I have no clue. It just is there. It depends, like, where I'm at. I try to keep them away from here, like, if I'm here, but it doesn't work all the time. Like, there's this one thing that comes in every now and again. He's, like, harmless. But he is dressed like a plague doctor. And he just, like, stands in the corner. But he's not, like, threatening what? or anything. And it's just, I don't know <laughs> why. It sounds or... threatening. <laughs> no, he's not. Like, I don't really see a lot of threatening things. Like, demons and stuff aren't, like, people try to act like it's happened so much. But it's not that common if it's, like, an actual bad thing. But I don't know. He's not, he's like harmless. It's just weird. And I don't know why it happens. It's just random. I love that Leanne is like the most chill woman on the planet. Like, even though you have why a you spirit <laughs> haunting your house, you're like, what yeah. are you chill? I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> it's bother not me. evil. Um, it bothers me like some places that I go, it will just, it just like depends what it is. Like, you could tell if something's bad or. Yeah, it's I'm not, not like, like evil scared or anything. So I don't even remember the last time I was like scared um, about anything. But I'm not really scared of m much anyway, just like insects. Like I don't care if I die or anything like that. So I'm not really scared to do anything. I'm just like, I, I don't that. like bugs. Me too. So none of them are like scary to me. They're a just there. landed on me when I was on a walk. I'm just used to it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, no, that's very cool, Leanne. I I want to get to that place where it's only insects and and I'm not afraid of anything else. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like that's do kind of crazy, readings though. and shit like that. I don't like that. I think it's wrong to do that. I don't know if I if there's something coming through, I'll tell them for free. Like I'm not gonna make them pay. I think a lot of people that do that are just preying on people in grief, and I don't like that at all. So if I get something, I will tell you if I feel like it's important. Cause I don't know if people are going to be like, um, you're fucking nuts. Um, so they really have to be like pushing me to do it. So just depends, but I don't what like kind, readings and shit. What kind of a thing do you think would be worthwhile giving someone the heads up about? Like if it was a friend of yours or something. Mm, like, well, the last time I did it, it was a stranger, which I fucking hate, but I did it because it was like about this necklace and this woman couldn't find it. And her grandmother kept pushing me. It was in Target. It was so random. And I was like, oh, my God, this lady's going to think I'm so fucking weird. Like, I hate doing it. But I figured it would help her life. So I told her where to find it. And I gave her my Facebook and told her to let me know, like, what happened. And she found it. And it really changed everything for her. So I was glad that I did it. But it takes a lot for me to do that. I don't like doing that because I don't know if they're, like, religious or they're going to be, like, weird or not Wait, leave it, which I I'm totally confused. understand that too. How, how do you do it? Like, is it just like premonition, or are you, are you doing tarot reading? I like, just like you... see them. I see them, and I can hear them, and it's forever since I was born. I think oh, it's so you're I'm like psychic. Hmm. So you're like psychic. 
I guess. I think they call it a physical medium. Like, the only reason why I ever started talking about it, like, uh, in public or to people was just, like, a couple years ago because I talked to Amy Allen. She's on Dead Files because I was watching it randomly, and I was like, oh, my God, everything she does happens to me. So I, like, reached out to her on Twitter, and she answered me. And it, like, changed my mindset. So I just, like, talk about things now because it does help somewhat instead of just, like, keeping it to myself. I just never wanted to say anything to my friends. Like, things would happen, but I didn't want them to have to make the choice to think I'm nuts or believe me because they're my friend. So I just never mm. wanted to, like, do anything. But shit used to happen all the time. And they used to ask me if I was an alien and shit. And I'm like, no. That's fascinating. I want to, like, talk yeah. to you more about this. That's amazing. Yeah, I just don't like when people like there's a lot of scamming ass psychics and shit. And I fucking hate I hate mm -hmm. that so much. It's so wrong to do that to people. So I'll just tell you for free, especially if it's about someone that's dead and you like love them. Like, why would I charge you for that? That's so weird to me. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I'll wow. just tell you. So you just go up to somebody and be like, look, I uh, this is going to sound weird, but uh, yeah. I know, I know mm -hmm. that you're this person in your life is. Oh, I hate on. it. I oh. don't really do, you, do that ever. Do like, you I have just, to be in the physical presence of someone, or can you do it remote as well? Um, it's you're both. hoping for a reading. Like sometimes you know? I can tell through video <laughs> things about people. Um, it just depends, though. It just kind of happens. I don't really understand it or why it happens. Or have you been wrong know. before? Hmm. Have you been wrong before? Never. Wrong? No, I mean, like if you have a premonition have you been wrong about it um i don't really like tell the future or anything so but from what i can remember i don't think like, i ever told anyone anything that wasn't true um because i like won't do it unless i'm like pretty sure that i should do it um but i don't really like i'll have dreams and stuff and I do have, like, I always have this one dream the whole, like, since I was younger that the moon just kept getting closer and closer to the earth. And it was, like, ginormous. So that, like, freaks me out because, like, I don't know why I keep having that dream. And it feels really real. I'm like, is that going to happen? I don't know. But I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong many times. I just don't ever, like, talk to anyone about it. So I wouldn't know. Because a lot of stuff comes to me about people and I won't say anything because I don't know if I'm wrong. So I don't want to like do that and be like insulting or an asshole. So I just don't. It really has to be pushing me to do it because I don't I don't know if people don't believe it. I get that, too, because I wouldn't either if I didn't see it. I would be open minded to it, but I'd be like, I need to see something. But I don't think you're lying and I'm open minded, but I would just like need to see it. So I totally get why people don't believe it it's cool i totally believe it and i believe it because it happened to me and i was yeah. like oh and i did i was not a believer when it happened to me and i was like and then i met a real psychic mm. who told me that i was going to meet the man that i i was going to spend the rest of my life with and it happened like immediately and he she described him to a t what I, was I, it a random time. person? Like it was this like Leanne approached you in a store. Someone like no, that. No, no, no. This <laughs> was this was like this was years ago. I was in Iran, and I it was my dad's like girlfriend at the time, and he had just met her, and she was in she was into like uh she was actually into like cafe readings. I don't know if you've ever like heard of that, but like coffee readings. So she did that, and uh, she did that for me, and uh, like described my husband to be in like like to a t and like at the time i was like she's crazy like there's no way i'm 16 i'm never like i'm not gonna meet somebody like right now and like go and spend the rest of my life with this person uh, i went back to canada within like two weeks of going back to canada i met my husband my current husband now we started dating and then hmm. um and we got married but it was wow. uh it, like it was him it was him it was really crazy see yeah, i can't that, i was that. a believer like, predict things or not i usually just see spirits and shit like um and they'll like tell me things but i don't know like lottery numbers and shit which i don't even believe like, <laughs> no, why small. aren't you winning then like i don't know <laughs> that happened to a friend of mine my a friend of mine like dreamt of lotto numbers and then she went and bought one and then she won 
15 what? Mm-hmm. I wish I could do that shit. Just will it in a dream. <laughs> We'd all be it crazy. <laughs> I'll just fall asleep with a lottery ticket on my head. That's really neat. Okay, cool. Wow. Um, from David Lowe, thanks for the super chat. In the spirit of next month's holiday, who is someone in your life, past or present, that you are thankful for, and why are you thankful for them? You should send this next month, David. Yeah, I know. This uh, is Thanksgiving. Come on. This is. Oh, we said next month's holiday, but he's just a little early. You're a little early. You're a little premature, is what the ladies say. <laughs> uh, God, like, I would say definitely my parents. Uh, I think I'm more thankful now than i was when i was younger because like the more adult you become the more you're like oh okay i get it now (laughs) like they were just doing the best they could at the time with what they had that's true (laughs) yeah um i'm gonna go really gay (laughs) um (laughs) i uh obviously like my husband and my cat are like you know of course and my mom Course, but I'm gonna go really gay and say Chrissy Mayer. I'm thankful oh, for Chrissy Mayer. Now you all have to say that. <laughs> yeah. Because like meeting you, Chrissy, has been like like just so cool because you've introduced me to so many people and you're just like the most awesome girl, and you're just so I don't know, you're just so down to earth, and you're just like you're you in real life that you are online. So you're a real one, and I appreciate Aww. real people. So. Thanks, Nina. Oh, Chrissy Mayer. God. I feel bad. I told for you I was going for, gay with we're it. We're all thankful for Chrissy. I feel There's bad your for calling you Hamas <laughs> Jasmine. <now>. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm going to bomb your ass. No, I'm just joking. With Wait, love. did you say that you were thankful for your horse? Mm-hmm. Or were you saying, of course? Or do you have of a horse? Course, of course. No, I don't oh, have okay. a horse. Okay. You love to have a horse, but of course. Oh. I what about you, Leanne? Horse, and we're thankful for it. I couldn't hear though. So, Leanne, who are you thankful for, other than me? Just you. Wait, did you say me? Yes. <laughs> no one else. Um, I'm thankful for Matthew Perry because he really was a light in this oh. world. Oh. Is it bad that I didn't That's think so he was sad. that funny as Chandler? I really. Oh, yeah, you suck. I the take Chandler my character really irritated me all the time. But I'm sure yeah. he did other good roles. I um, didn't watch Friends, but he was like cool. He was. Like I was a, a huge friend. that I don't hate completely. <laughs> yeah. No, it's very sad. Very yeah. Random. What about yeah. you, Mary? Um. Well, other than you, Chrissy, I gotta go with uh, <laughs> my parents. Um, I have uh, I ask them for advice literally all the time and talk to them wow. all the time, Aww. and they just know me better than anybody else does. Wow, good parents yeah. rock. Parents yeah, cool. I'm gonna right. say my mom too because I was just kidding about the other thing, but definitely my mom. I feel the same. <gasps> yeah, my mom Aww. says. Yeah. Aww. What about you, Christina? Um, everybody, I don't know. So many people have helped me like throughout my whole life, like when I was homeless. And um, there's just so many like God has brought so many different people into my life at different times, like when I needed them in my life. But I would say just like, yeah, everybody, my family, especially Aww. my friends, I love my that. best friend. Yeah. yeah, you have to say your family or you have to. <laughs> well look not everybody has nice families like some of us have yeah. others they who threw them out in the street stole their identity and did a bunch of other crazy things mm-hmm. and it's okay to cut those people off until they right. come back to Christ that's yeah. true thank, thank you CJ <laughs> yellow white <laughs> this she's a queen who left in the walk away from I can't hear a thing she's saying. Is it just me? Yeah. No, it's not just you. Okay. You can't hear me? Okay, now we can, but your mic just went fucking whack for a sec. Yeah, it totally did. I'm having my own personal Mercury retrograde, I guess. Okay, it says uh, from CJ, please get uh, Gwen... Swinerton on Simpcast CMP. She's a former queer leftist YouTuber who walked away from $90,000 a month on OnlyFans, found God, and rebranded as a homesteader after she left 
after the left canceled her for being anti-jab. Wow, she sounds like my kind. Wow. Of kind. Yes. <laughs> she sounds great. Yeah. Um, how have I not heard of her? I know. I haven't yeah, either. Interesting. Because usually, you know, they really like to go after the people who've left their cult, you know? <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds interesting, though. Um, Austin Brown, Mary made it. Gonna submit you for cute of the day. <laughs> on pop culture crisis we do cute of the day where people submit pictures of their pets so like, i'm a cat right now i qualify <laughs> i love that i love I an love animal segment too. uh vince for legend fairchild mary you're really cool and cute oh thanks oh Okay, sounds like the Mary Simps are in the lead right now. The rest of you are going to have to step it up. Jacob, Rotten, Mary, what's it like slaying the whatever panel? What is it like? It's been different every time. Um, I will say, obviously, streaming for four to five hours at a time is physically and mentally exhausting. It's anguish toward the end. But I'm always glad that I go there. Even if uh, someone across the table from me is not able to hear what I'm saying for what it is, um, because they're defensive or delusional or what have you. I hope that there are hundreds of people that see it after the fact and they're able to hear what I'm saying, you know? Mm. I yeah. don't know why they get so defensive whenever, like, I know girls I would too. do I, I porn definitely and stuff, would. and they're not happy. Like, I know girls that have sugar daddies, they are not happy. When they're mm-hmm. alone, they are very sad, and they hate it, and I feel bad, and I don't know. They just try to act like it's fine, but our women aren't, like, our brains aren't built like that. Like, 98% of women, like, you just can't give yourself to all these people and do all this and then think you're going to be fine like when there's no one else around and stuff, that's when they say it like hits them and they get really, really depressed. So they have to keep busy or they can't sit wow. there and think about it, especially my one friend. And she got out of it now, but she's still like fucked up from the porn industry. And I told her not to do it. I told her a million times not to do it. But do you of course think part not. of it so is she's like super depressed? And were you the only person that would tell her not to do it? Yeah. In her life. Yeah. That I know of. Yeah. That's so sad. What I does tell she, them all not to do that family like, or anything that. or like taking pictures in your house is so much different than letting someone have your body that you don't know. So many people like it's not, we're not built for that, dude. Like it doesn't make you feel good. Like most women are not. So I think they get very defensive. Some of them get really mad at me online and then they'll message me privately and like tell me the truth about it. And I just about it is like every time that I talk to the OnlyFans people, they usually say that their parents support what they're doing. Which just tells you everything you need to know about how they were raised and who their parents are. That they're probably yeah. using them for the money and they don't yeah. actually care what happens to them. That's so sad. Oh, yeah. If they're giving That's probably why they're so it. defensive. Yeah. Because nobody else has ever told them no. Mm-hmm. Do you That's wonder so if sad. these women don't think they can make as much money doing anything else? They know they can't. A lot of them can't. They can't. Well, okay. But I was homeless when I was 17 and I worked doubles at a, a restaurant. You know, I had been... Mm-hmm hostessing and I just you know asked if I could be a server and I went through the training and I worked 12 hour shifts every single day and I slept on couches like there Mm. are things you can do where you don't have to uh degrade yourself or you know it's not like there there are other options apparently like that's not a thing anymore Christina because I feel like I have heard this though that like those kinds of like service jobs where you could actually make like I could make $120 a day maybe more waiting tables sometimes $400 a day like when I was young like that and that was like I could afford to like get out of like pull myself out of like homelessness and I had people that helped me and stuff but that's yeah, like I mean, a like, lot of these OF girls are making in a month, not a day. <laughs> yeah, like that. But that's the thing. Like, I feel like a lot of these girls are just like, they're just thinking to themselves, like, why should I go and work in la- like, you know, in the labor field when I could just sit in front of my computer and like just show mm-hmm. a foot or something and make like fucking thousands of dollars? Like, I'll just. And show what my I'm trying feet. to say is, like, dude, if women never entered the workforce 
that wouldn't they have wouldn't to have be to do your, that that's like a false dichotomy right you'd only mm-hmm. have to show your husband your feet <laughs> right yeah <laughs> show it to one guy you know, say here rub them for me <laughs> yeah it's so crazy to me like the What's new so generation bad about of that? Girls. it's just like i don't know wasn't there like a new like there was a vi- video of that girl that was complaining about how like she has to work i think there were oh, yes yeah. i have that video let's pull it up but like Good i video. also understand where she's coming from oh i do too i, I do totally too. get like the that that generation has been completely like priced yeah. out of everything what are they working towards there's so many yeah. of them too that have just been lied to and they've been sold so many scams like you know yeah. how many of those people have uh seventy five thousand dollars or more in student loan debt that they're like never going to be able to pay off, mm. and then they have these just increasing uh, costs of living and wages are stagnant, and there's just that's such a weird job market right now too. I feel like things are so yeah. weird. Thank you, Chris Benoit, for the super chat. When it was all <laughs> Hi, Mary. Me and my son are big fans of TimCast. Is it possible for me to oh, watch God. My wife is trying to take my son away. And I'll <laughs> anything. doesn't get him. Oh, I figured out why your audio goes fucked up. It's every time you play the music. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder what the uh, <laughs> Not sure who you are or what your situation is, but the answer is probably not. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There you have it. Aww. Whoops. Uh, Chippicus, congratulations again, Chrissy. Happy for you. And filing cabinet, what names have you guys considered? I'm not telling you. I don't know. Not <laughs> filing cabinet oh. junior. Filing cabinet junior. <laughs> yes, that's what we're gonna call it. Filthy, what's up, filthy? Uh, how <laughs> much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Just want to see if you can say, of course I can say it. <laughs> I've put in my ten thousand hours. I know all the tongue twisters. Russell Hall, I think those birth videos are responsible for the increase in homosexuality. Every Me too. I agree. Yeah. I agree too. I agree. It was oh very God. traumatizing. But like people used to system. work on farms where they would just see that and it was just part of life and they weren't True. scared of it or scandalized by it. Yeah, but they would see it in animals first. Which yeah. Is, there's yeah. a lead up. When I see my friend's person, mom deliver a baby cow, and I didn't want to see that either. I left. Oh my god! Like, oh no! Oh I was my like, god! I like the record. I saw it on like Yellowstone, and you have to like oh god, like, rub your hand up up the fucking cow's ass and like pull it out. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, oh my it's, god! Oh my god. Like, Reasons I'm not gonna become a that. homesteader. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. We had a home, uh, home ec daycare at our school. One building was dedicated to what was called the technical path. If you were in the building, you were fixing a car, building a cabinet, or burping a baby. That almost sounds like BOCES, which we had at my high school. I don't know if it was necessarily people who were just getting their GED, but they were more oriented towards the trades, which I very much shamed at the time as a high school kid. I was like, oh, they're stupid. But now I'm like, oh, those people are the ones with jobs. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's true. It's like that hello. It's like the Pandaverse episode. Yes, where all the plumbers so are millionaires and everyone yeah. else AI has taken their jobs. So like Stan is or Stan's dad is like, we need to go protest college. Like fuck you, college. <laughs> Give us our money back. Give us our money back. <laughs> <laughs> From istophobic, I've heard Mary Morgan mention brimming, which I don't even know what that Ooh. was. Thanks mm-hmm. and refuse to read my super chat that said. Tig old biddies, go eat some corn the long way. I don't fully I'm understand this. Not sure what that's okay. referring to. But I do love corn. Um, Torgo the White, which oh, is worse, ladies. Is. Vagine brand yogurt of Vagine oh. or Vagine brand beer. Personally, I think yogurt is worse. They're both I bad. <laughs> I definitely have more yogurt than beer these days. <laughs> Mm, they're both gross but yogurt is yeah. nastier for some yogurt reason. has natural yeast doesn't it <laughs> I don't know. Know. It has something. oh god oh my god come on none of you have tasted your own yogurt oh god oh, no Ew. i don't want to no either. I, nah. Yeah, I think I'm good there. Russell Hall, one of my favorite beers, while you could get it, was an offering by Rogue called Beard Beer, made from yeast taken from a guy's beard. Wow. It was great. You See, drank you guys, it? That's almost you guys worse. Are to hone in on our stuff. 
Dave Chandler, <laughs> no thank you to crotch yeast beer. We're simps, not sickos. Good, good. Yeah, we're um, some dudes waiting for that shit to drop from Amaranth. Or I know, that's the the word porn is from pornea, the Greek word for prostitution. Oh, that's a, that's a hot tip right there. Kyle Kalukin, there was a man. Oh, wait, I have to do the drop. And it was all there was a man who made beer from yeast that lived in his beard. This type of thing has been done before. Ew. What? I have not heard of that. <laughs> Gross. I didn't uh, know there was you. yeast in beards. Like, what? Be- beer. <laughs> Clean what? your beards, guys. <laughs> Metalhead Madman. Chrissy, would you consider having a YouTuber named Bluetube on? She's kind of based. Um, sure, I'll check her out. I'll have whoever, I'll have whoever on, except for Sarah J. She hates me. Uh, Jimber Jamber. Yes. I don't know who that is. At the restaurant I worked at, after 10 p.m. every night, bottles would just fly off the shelves and chairs would randomly fall over. This was a murder-suicide across the street in the early 1900s. Oh, my God. Spirit. See? uh, Some people are very skeptical of these kind of stories, but then there's people who have lived through uh, this sort of thing, and it's hard to deny. Thank you, K-Max, for the super chat. Are we sick of the drops yet? What is everyone on Simcast here's favorite Halloween mythical creature? The vampire, werewolf, zombies, fear of black cats? I just think they all have good backstories to them. Ooh. Um, I enjoy the skinwalker. I'm, I'm perplexed by him. I wonder if he really just needs some vitamin D and a hug. That's what I was going to say, too. Skinwalker. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Vitamin D and a hug. What's a skinwalker? It's, it's like so a chupacabra, cute. right? Is it? Mm-hmm. It's like skinwalker? Native American uh, folklore, but it's a person that's had to do something really bad in their life to like be a shapeshifter, essentially. It's kind of like a Wendigo-ish. To oh. Do you know what Wendigo is? Um. But it's like from, uh, what the hell tribe is it? I'm going to say the wrong one, so I'm not going to say it because I can't remember right like, now. A particular like Indian tribe. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's saying shapeshifter. Okay, I got it. Yeah. it's uh, They're not really allowed to talk about it um, if because a lot of them really believe in it and they said it'll come after you. So it's hard to like get actual the natives to talk about it. But yeah, it's really fucking creepy. Wow. That sounds creepy. I can like look into it tonight. Your voice and shit. So it's Um, like a doppelganger. Maybe I shouldn't even be talking about it then. I don't need any more problems right now. (laughs) (laughs) Dang. Okay. Yeah. I again a werewolf kind of reminds me of the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Like maybe he's just under a spell. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The moon brings it out. What about you, Leanne? What's your favorite creature? Probably Skinwalker uh, <laughs> and the Wendigo mm. are pretty interesting. I don't know if they're like Halloween, I guess. Mm-hmm. Anything scary. I don't really like vampires. They ruin that for me. Twilight and all that shit. So What? I love Twilight. I do what? like it, but now oh, vampires are like the scary thing to me anymore. Like they're kind of just they're like just emo. pretty. They're emo. Um, yeah. I have but, a Twilight hoodie right here. Oh my wow. god! I used to be obsessed with it, like obsessed with what, that. Were movie. you team Edward or Jacob? Edward. I'm I like team Jacob. It. Weird. I like Edward. Really? So yeah. People get all weirded out by the um the imprinting on her child thing. I've never um, really heard like, people say Jacob meant. before. You're like, just I just think like. Her. I guess it makes sense for Bella to be with Edward, but any normal girl would have chosen Jacob because he's way more. Am I the only one that's never seen Twilight? I haven't seen it either. I think it was like their generation's Dawson Creek. Like, oh, I think it was like okay, that yeah. explains I, a lot. Dawson, I'm sorry, Creek. Wait, Dawson Creek. Dawson, Dawson oh my what? God. was like How dare Joey. You? Dawson's Fairless. Creek was amazing. Please I tried know. to rewatch that the other day. Dawson's Same Creek kind of actually. Like love triangle situation. I can't do it. Oh my also, god. So I I was weird. too young for Twilight when it was popular. I watched it for the first time in like 2019. Oh, oh I watched so. it way too after it came out. I didn't watch yeah. it for a while. And then I, I was like obsessed. They're comfort it. movies for me. 
Yeah. I forced myself to watch it so I can see Never what the watched. hype was all about. But and the I first like, Twilight is far scarier to me because it was just more yeah. indie looking and the colors. And then Lower they started budget. getting more CGI. And I wish they would have just kept it the way the first Twilight was. It was way more, I don't know. It just felt more yeah. indie and cool. And then they started going real like special effect. And I hated it. But the whatever. werewolves looked really bad. <laughs> like What's that? <laughs> The werewolves looked really bad. Yeah, it was <laughs> the baby too. In the last, the baby. The baby obviously. Out. Mm. I I I love <laughs> vampires. Like <clears throat> for that super chat, the story. Like I just love vampire stories. So I didn't like Twilight at all because mm. I thought Twilight was just such a shit story when it came to like like vampires and like describing vampires. I was like, come on! And then like right after that, True Blood came out, and I was like. Yes, like true blood is where yeah, it's, it's at. It's like a watered down place. like version. You know, they eat animals and stuff, but it's mm -hmm. still good. It's not like terrible. Some people act like it's so bad. It's not. I still watch them. I just don't really like. I like the first one. Like I said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. The what rest about, of them like, are the good. Anne Rice but... novels. Oh my god, I love Anne Rice novels. An interview with a vampire. They're. Great. I saw her house. Oh. In New Orleans, it was what? on my walking tour. Wow. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, I remember reading I saw, those books as a kid. I think I saw that interview with the vampire. The, the e -bone house. I love uh, interview with the vampire. That's my well. I haven't read the book. I love but that the movie. I, I love this book. <laughs> I love the book and the movie. I don't so, remember the movie. Oh, I do remember Interview with the Vampire. With that Brad has Tom Pitt Cruise and Tom Cruise. Yes, oh, that's true. They were, they oh, were so and, hot um, in that movie. The little Didn't girl. They, uh, was it Kirsten it Dunst? Show? Kirsten Dunst, yeah. Yes, they did. did they? And they race swapped what? everyone. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, oh, and there's like and they're like on it. a plantation and shit. Uh, like, what? Oh, so fucking bad. Of mm, course. Okay. I was like, I'm not watching this. Like, I, I did not watch that. Every single time. It's it's bad. It's like 2023 version of Interview with Vampires. Can funny. vampires get canceled? Like, what if Edward was a racist back when that was, like, socially acceptable? Oh, or a well, Trump I mean, voter. Even oh, worse. yeah, mega, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I can oh, my it. God. Mega vampire. Cherub Cat, thanks for the super chat. Um. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yellow. Mary, favorite alternate cast option for Bella and Edward? I don't know. I, I I didn't read the books, so I didn't imagine anybody else in the roles. But uh, thinking about Britney Spears being in the Notebook is pretty nuts, right? Like mm -hmm. I can't imagine. That. Wow! But I never liked the Notebook that much. The story of the Notebook didn't really make me cry like everyone else. Yeah, that movie I think was it was depressing. Yeah, it was very unrealistic. Yeah. I was like, "There's no dude doing that for." What did you guys no. think of the, her um audition tape? Did you? I never saw it. it. Was it was yeah, really they, weird. they released her audition tape for the Notebook. It was kind of oh, like cool. she did like teen drama acting, so that's mm. why they chose Rachel McAdams. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I never. If you saw show it. it, I feel like you're gonna get um copyright struck because mm. that's what happened to us on on pop culture oh. crisis <laughs> oh no so, but that came out recently because of her memoir oh man that and memoir is right not for that she oh, put yeah. on a memoir in that? that's yeah. yes she's dropping all the secrets i love it rachel everyone McGaff? cares about britney's memoir and no one cares about jada smith's memoir. no jada oh i i have not i've only heard that she said that she and Will Smith had been separated for years. Yeah. yeah. Unsurprising, yeah. honestly. I mean, that whole situation is so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. You want to see a broken was, man, Will she Smith. She endlessly man. humiliates him publicly. Jesus. And um, he must enjoy it. I don't understand <laughs> I don't the dynamic of yeah. that relationship. No. Or he's a homosexual and she's just his beard, so he doesn't care it either way or they like, have some really like gnarly really shit problem. on each other that would just yeah mm -hmm. that's a good point like i don't they're understand just weird it. they live in separate houses and they're well, just weird people i saw this one video of her like she had gone live on instagram and she was kind of like filming him and you could tell he didn't want to be filmed and he was asking her not to film him yeah but he was like don't film me in my own house and they already lived yeah. apart by then yeah, yeah. 
It was they have so deals. weird. It's so weird. Why don't you just say you're not together, divorced, yeah, what's, or whatever? What's, like, there's no so shame in getting divorced there. anymore. I think yeah, the craziest thing right now, though, is like the like Britney. Them. The Britney memoir is like, first of all, they're canceling. Like, she's basically canceling Justin Timberlake, which is pretty crazy. Like, he was planning his comeback. <laughs> I think she so. <laughs> and she ruined it. And well, I mean, I just recently saw him in a movie that was pretty good, actually. But he was the worst part of the movie because he can't <laughs> act. Um, but like, he's I, in I, Trolls. He's in the Trolls movies. No. Oh, is he? No. It's where he's the, making his money. The one that I saw is called Reptile with Benicio Del Toro. Is that, it's, um, yeah. it's on Netflix. It was pretty good. But like, she, like, I've heard from what I've heard, Jessica Biel had like no idea. So like she's pissed about like all the stuff that came out. Mm -hmm. And most people are pissed at Justin because of like all the stuff that's come out afterwards. Like how, like what she did, what he did to her, like, uh, like basically trash talking her with like Christina Aguilera and like all the stuff like after the fact. So, and like, apparently like people like Britney's like, Britney stands are going and like blowing up his social media and being like, You're a fucking yeah. piece of shit. And Jessica Beale's like, Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. like, did you read her book? You read it? I'm going to read it. I, 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 find I didn't know that part in there about his dick. Is that for real or is that fake? What? There was what? a part <laughs> where they said it was in the book and she was talking about the first time they had sex and she was like, Okay, put it in. And he was like, It is. Oh, like, that's, no. gotta be, that's fake. That's fake. Oh, that's gotta be I fake. Yeah, no I'm way. I'm getting different answers because I didn't read it, and I just oh, no, no, there's no, there's no way know. that that's real. I will oh, let you know. She's just going all in. Like, what the fuck? She probably <laughs> just was like, like yeah, that'll cute. really fuck with him if I'm putting this in here. No yeah, wonder he like was like, I'm so off, like unhinged that like she could have i don't i have no clue because everyone in the comments was like i think it was on tiktok they were like i knew he had a small dick and all this <laughs> stuff and i'm like what my god fuck? so i thought it was real but i don't know maybe it's pregnant though i can see that's it. what people are most angry about is the yeah the story about her abortion, her abortion. Oh, which is confusing man. because i mean if she told a story about how she got an abortion and justin didn't want her to but she did anyway then everyone would be praising her for it yeah because exactly wanted the abortion then it's wrong what it's weird what's weird to me is like that the leftists are losing their minds because they're like they don't know how to respond and i'm like yeah right well what do you mean like i thought abortions were good for you like i thought you like he's also a man and a white man so Mm -hmm. mm, that's maybe if he was a black guy it's just sad because she seemed Mm. like she was going to keep the baby until he she was wrapped on the whole idea yeah, because she Aww. was in love with them, and she's very yeah. traditional, so she was planning on keeping She thought it. they were going to have kids anyway, mm-hmm. so they no. were just going to have it early, and I guess he Aww. was like, no, nah, I'm going to go fuck everyone, and I don't want a kid. <gasps> mm-hmm. And he cheated on her, and then she cheated on him, and then he- she, Did he cheat first? I think so, yeah. That's okay. from what I understand. He's cheated. He cheated first, then she cheated on him because she found out. Whoa. Then he blamed her for everything. And then he blamed her for everything, yeah. yeah. Who, did, yeah. who did he cheat on her with? I, I'm not sure. He, it doesn't. Probably so many say. people. For her, it was just her backup dancer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then she married Kevin Federline, which was a fucking huge mistake. Mm-hmm. She married she, um, Jason, she whatever his face. Someone before, before that, that. A, a backup, another different. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other guy. First. Jason something. And then he mm-hmm. crashed her wedding. Poor Brittany. Her now ex husband. Oh, God. oh yeah. God. Wait, yeah, and then Kevin, up Kevin, yeah, and then well, and Kevin yeah. took like took her babies. Yeah, he has the boys, and, and then they she like won't see her. Mental. I think at all. Like That's it's very. Yeah. I think yeah. her kids don't like her. No, they from don't. What it looks like they don't really want to be around her, or but I mean, they melted her brain with all that lithium and shit they had her on all those years, like. She's not who True. she was anymore. No. And she like, like well, he destroyed her. her though. Like because she like she went from imagine she went from like loving Justin Timberlake and getting pregnant with him. And then he made her get an abortion. And then she mm-hmm. finally like got pregnant again with this other dude. And then he like took her babies away from her and she had a fucking mental breakdown. She was like, I'm done. 
Wow. Yes. That's so sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look what happened to her sister, too. Her sister got pregnant very young, mm -hmm. like at 16, right? Oh, yeah. right. Jamie Lynn. Yeah. I think yeah, she was she, even younger than that. She was like 14. She was on oh Zoe 101. God. Yeah, and she talks some shit about her sister, too, I know, in the memoir. She really? Says, yeah. Now she I says, really must read this. It's She says the sister know. was a fucking total bitch. And wow. like basically all her family was. And like they just all used her for her money. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, she's all that is, man. They like head. totally fucked her over. Like she, her brain is never going to be the same. It's like mm -hmm. she's not in there anymore. She's just, it's you sad. Think she should still have social media. Like, should she be allowed Maybe just to like private it? She should be allowed, but of course, she needs to she's be, crazy. Like, dude. Everybody else has I one. Feel Why not? So her? bad every time she puts out one of these weird videos where I she's know. like nude again and like dancing with knives, and I'm like. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's not terrible. even like dancing good, and she can dance. And I'm just like, why are you in her clothes? Are hideous. What is she doing? Like, clearly doesn't have a stylist. I, she's dressing yeah. like where she's stunted. I feel like she's where she's in 2001. Off. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And she's Agreed. just there. Yeah. People are saying <laughs> like, oh, that's just there. how they danced in the 2000s. Like, I don't remember her dancing like that in the 2000s. Yeah. Just Apparently, like cops clothing, went to her choices. house after she did she released that knife video. They visited no. her house like multiple times. Yeah, and like, I was like, "Well, why though?" Because she's just who cares? She's just dancing with knives. Like, what? Well, she had like dance bandages on her arms and, and her legs. Oh I think wow! Like, oh worried. okay. Her dogs look worried too. They look <laughs> <in that video>. <laughs> <laughs> Her We're like, oh boy. You just date a cop <laughs> next. That way he's always just there to do a wellness check. <laughs> oh, mm. I don't know. I, I feel bad for her. They totally fucked too. her over in so I feel many like the ways. memoir isn't even really written by her. She just like dictated it to somebody and they I believe she did. Yeah. That, that's by a ghostwriter, I believe. Yeah, I know, but did she write it? Now I don't believe anything. Like, did she have anything to do with it? Like, or did no? No, she did it. Yeah, right? Is it just I, a clone? Did she die years ago? That's another theory. <laughs> no, I think she that. did. She just go like she had a ghostwriter. She like told them what to write. Wow. Yeah. Do you ever see those videos on TikTok where they're like showing it's AI and she like moves her hand and it's like a filter and it's a different face? Yeah. What? Oh no. Yeah, she's getting like deep faked into mm. her Instagram videos, supposedly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the other funny part is that apparently, uh, what's her name? Michelle Williams is doing the audio reading for her book, which I think I is think funny so. considering like she's famously like gave that oscar speech being like i had an abortion and it was the best thing i ever did yeah and it saved my life and then now oh, she's like wow. reading britney's memoirs where she's like oh, she's like breaking down about having an abortion i um, hated her on dawson's creek i'll tell you that she was my least favorite <laughs> yeah i didn't yeah, like she her was a bitch. either she was i didn't mm. like her either. She, she just seemed terrible. like too old to be there i know that's like very judgy from however old i was like watching that show but i just was like she's too old to be friends with these people <laughs> look at this is the stuff like because they they made fun of britney with this like thing here and like, mm. and she like they were uh like she writes about christina and like just a <gasps> lot really did they hook yeah. up probably i think they did and I like, and he he basically like really rubbed it in when she when he oh broke up with God. her. He was like it's a total dick. He's like from not that like, he was just so No, addictive. he's not Mary. He's not that cute at all. He's like, he's just too. His features are too mm. light. He's too like. Meh. If he wasn't famous, nobody would. What was the big idea about him? I don't get it. I, I don't, don't either. Uh, don't people it. say he had a nice voice. I mean, yeah, I guess he did. Like he had a nice. He had voice. oodle noodle hair. I didn't really That's know why girls know. liked him. Yeah, I never really got into Justin Timberlake either. Mm. I wasn't. I wasn't a huge fan. His hair was weird yeah. and it looked crunchy and it was like crunchy. noodles. <laughs> Like you the pack of like, like every year when like when May first comes around, you see the memes. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah that shit's funny to me, even though people hate it. It's so oh stupid. It's so funny. 
Oh my god. Hey, can I can I change the topic for just a second? Because I wanna mm -hmm. I wanna get your opinion on this, ladies, especially those okay. of you who have tattoos. Cause I, I'm pretty sure Leanne, you have tattoos, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. This is Billie Eilish's new back tattoo. Oh, I think I see <gasps> yeah. It's oh nice. no. What? <laughs> what is that? What Ew. I think it it's looks... a demon <laughs> just go. Yeah, well, it's yeah. like smeared poop and yeah, exactly. It looks, like shit. It looks terrible. Gonna clean it up too much. It looks like it hurts. I don't know. I thought it was like a piece of wood or something. I was is like, it is clean? Like worse than or... Ben Affleck's dragon? That's really bad. Thing. Is it terrible. supposed to look like someone wiped it off and it's like bloody, or is yeah, it? Yeah, maybe it's brand new. It's like I don't know. Just got it Why would you take that picture like that though? If it's all smudged and smeared everywhere, I have no idea. I don't know, like, did they tattoo those smudges on there, or is that like she? They needs did. Well, it's just smudgy. No, oh, I is think it? that's like the ink. Yeah, she must so it's supposed to look like shit, like a scribble. I want to see it when it's done. What it looks I don't like, get it judge it appropriately. Like, like Doja Cat has it. some pretty weird tattoos, but at least they're well done. I don't understand what it is. Mess. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. I was wondering. I was hoping somebody here would tell me. Maybe it's, it's like, like an optical illusion this, where you look okay. at it from the right angle. Yeah, maybe it's like a magic eye mixed with a thumb stain. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> it's probably something oh from God. like Baphomet and it's going to kill you yeah, if you look at probably. it or something. Oh my God. <laughs> no. It's going to suck your it. soul out. Um, from Dark That's Shadow ugly, Walk, though. paranormal experiences I get are where my dreams are like abstract messages from spirits showing me potential future outcomes. Damn, that sounds mm -hmm. dark. See it, Leanne. You're not the only one. Oh yeah, I know. Thank God. Thank, thank you, K Max. <laughs> when it was all yellow. Did 1980s horror films seem anti-teenage sex? Anytime a teenage couple was in the car making out, it would seem <laughs> like the killer would appear and strike. I think the message was subliminal. Oh yeah, like don't get distracted with this dick. You gotta keep an eye out. As soon as I see them starting to bang, I'm like, they're dead. They're dying first. <laughs> like, every time. The first pair of titties, they're dying. I'm like, she's <laughs> definitely dying. Maybe. I don't think it worked, though. Because I feel like in the 80s, especially, sex was, like, really crazy. Like, poorish. And I don't think it worked at all. I think the horror aspect of it is, like, if you're a person watching this, you're like, oh, damn. Like, if I'm having sex with somebody, like I'm not gonna be like looking around to see like if someone's sneaking up on me. That's what makes it scary. It's like, yeah, we all could be in the moment and then ree, ree, ree. Yeah. But if you're married, that doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> right. The married people yeah. survive in the horror films. <laughs> they're just they're over it. Aw. Okay, CJ. Leanne, check out Mr. Bolin. His personal ghost story on here is one of the few I find legitimate. Former Navy SEAL, credible guy with witnesses. I do watch him, actually. He's a really Ooh. good storyteller, so I like watching him while I get ready and Ooh. stuff. So I've probably Bolin? seen it. If it's his, though, I might not have, so I'll have to look for it. I didn't realize he had his own, like, experience, so. Is that his channel name, Mr. Bolin? Yeah. Yeah. Is he balling? Is he a high earner? Let's check him out. He probably is now. Shit. He got like <laughs> 8 million subs or something. And no, wow, I was already up to him and I didn't even I don't I, I don't think I've ever been recommended once <laughs> like his stuff. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Okay. Um Dave Chandler Chandler, thank you for the yellow. When it was all Lovely Iranian woman from Canada, now in Mexico, is playing the part of a lovely Arabian woman drawn in California. Four lovely ladies, now it's five. Play the cute animal companions in a scarlet scarlet <laughs> Aww. 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 Yes, I'm so glad that this camera does not go down uh, to the pants region because, like, <laughs> I really, I really 
it took a lot to get into these pants, y'all. <laughs> Some effort. And let me tell you about the options for pregnant women Halloween costumes. Okay, none of them are good. None of them are cute. None of them make you feel empowered or beautiful or proud of yourself. Your options are, because I looked at them all, uh, Winnie the Pooh, okay? You have <laughs> yellow ears. You, get, you have to buy a shirt that's too tight for you out the gate to do the costume. And you have, a, you have to wear a yellow bodysuit with yellow mm -hmm. leggings. And you just you're lit all belly, and it, you might people might have to carry around a, a barrel of honey that that is sticky. Uh, <laughs> so that's not cute. There's also kind of these. I saw this on Amazon. You buy these shirts, and it's like the skeleton rib cage, but then it's like a baby skeleton in your belly. I'm like, well, that's kind of morbid because that could be a stillbirth. Like that. Oh, oh my god! I don't want to wear. I don't want to wear that. I don't put that out there. I don't yeah. think that's cute. And then it's like, oh, a skeleton with a little bow or a skeleton with a little bow tie. And I'm like, that's still I'm like, I know there the baby does have a skeleton, but it's like there's I don't want to see a little happy smiling mm. look like a dead baby in my stomach. OK, I don't uh, want that's that. Weird. Uh, what else? Oh, my God. There you was have to do the one where it's like really... coming out of the stomach like an alien. Yes. Like yeah. yes. There's the one that's like literally the arms are coming yeah. out. Yeah. It's like, so funny. Like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Like, no, nobody wants to do that. <laughs> I don't know if the clothes are really ones. expensive. Are they expensive? <laughs> yeah. Bye. No, and then there were some that's like, oh, I'm a pumpkin now. Like I just, I'm not, I'm not a woman. I'm not a sexual being. I'm just a pumpkin. I'm just, I'm a big fat gourd <laughs> oh, coming no. out of a patch. Well, just be a sexy pumpkin. See, I'm We're talking fish about uh, pregnant mm -hmm. uh, costume options. There's not many. I mean, I can imagine, right? Because they're like. You, ooh, you know what you could do? You could be the avocado where your belly comes out and it's the pit. <laughs> that, that would be that really too. cute. There's avocado. That's cute. Wait, they there. actually have that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I've no. only ever seen like fat guys do it, but it would be better mm. if it was a pregnant girl. <laughs> I need to investigate this. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there's, they're not good. Maybe um, Homer <laughs> Simpson. Oh, uh, uh, and there's also like Santa Claus too, but that's like you have to be extremely pregnant for a lot of these yeah. Yeah. costumes to, to work. If you're just like 10 or 15 pounds heavier, there's no good costume for looking like you sort of threw in the towel physically. Like there's no <laughs> I'm at the stage now where people are like, wow, she really just wanted to look good for the wedding and that's it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she really went back to the bread fast, didn't she? Look at that. She's not, uh, she's not renewing the old gym membership. Okay. <laughs> you should um, just wear a sign that says, I'm not gaining weight, I'm just pregnant. Yeah. That should be your Halloween yeah. costume. It's they're probably like, damn Frank it sucks for him. They get married and she's already letting herself go. That's exactly yeah. what it looks like. <laughs> she's hitting the wall. <laughs> yeah. you, you don't I'm like tired and everything is sore. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> everything hurts. Hey yeah. Zia. Uh, Zia's hi. here. Hello, Zia. Hi, you look so yeah. good, Nina. <laughs> Thank you. You I always love look it. incredible. Thank Zia, you. are you like a, are you a, a, a yeah, I'm just a school girl? I'm just an inappropriate school girl. I had starlight on earlier, but the boots are so uncomfortable. I want to cry. So I was like, I'm not <laughs> why were you, no on. one's looking at your feet. Like That's why true. You the boots but on? they come up to over here. They come up like over your knee and they do, they do complete the whole thing. So like you can see that yeah. like, I could wear like not and wear people it. People but... are definitely looking at her feet. That's yeah. okay. True. True. All right. I mean, like you're <laughs> I, mean, I have my frame. full costume on too, and it's like I feel like I didn't even need to do that because you could just wear the top know. and sweatpants yeah. on the bottom. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why did I do this to myself? I don't know. I'm gonna cut this into a crop top and then just put sweatpants on. It's uh... hell yes. <laughs> you should. I really almost have trouble breathing in this. It's uh, I really feel like the character. I guess. Uh, push up <laughs> says Nina for Halloween. Check out Under the Shadow set in Iran during Iran Iraq War, and it's about Ooh. that's a Dijon. Jin. It's a Jin. 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 It sounds like my fucking Jin. nightmare, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Search when Winterton. We can't hear you. 
Not at all. What about now? Okay, we can hear you now. now. Okay. Yeah. Search Gwen's Winterton Centennial if you care to learn more. It's a hit piece regarding whatever. The two episodes with Layla Jenner are beyond heartbreaking. She needs to find Jesus and a father, not a daddy. Hmm. Oof. Dude. Are you aware of these, um, Mary? The episodes I haven't heard of these either of these women. Um, not sure. Okay. They I guess they were on at some point. Wow. Wait, what the hell is that that person's name on, that was Gorlock. on there? I just say Gora. The no, name or the real Gorlock. name? Gorlock. Or the What's dead name? name? Gorlock? What's her name again? A real name? Or you don't know her name? Someone Gorlock? posted Gorlocka? Someone posted his um, yearbook photo. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I still don't remember Gorlock. her real name, though. I just know her as Gorlock like that. Yeah, I know. Wait, there's no name. <laughs> No one knows the real name. I don't either. I have no clue. I was trying to find it and I gave up. But but it's like if you look like that and you're going into a podcast like that, you know what response you're going to get. So Wait, I don't did really you feel like yeah. I was blindfolded with her. <laughs> that was, was funny. like a blind date and he took the blindfold off. And, oh, and yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, yeah I saw what that. What did they think was going to happen? People were being yeah. like mad at him in the comments. I'm like, oh, come on, dude. Yeah. Like you yeah, yeah, have a so shallow. <laughs> should have had nipples on it, dude. Like, come on. yeah, was that like a see-through shirt or one of those? Shirts I don't. That, like, if that was a... see-through, that is terrifying. I thought I, it was yeah, like a I print. Know. Oh Whenever my god! Whenever I see Gorlock stuff, I send it to Anna immediately because she's like oh obsessed my. with him. Gorlock content. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like whenever I see Gorlock anything, I'm like, here you go, Anna. Have you guys ever seen this? It's this dating show called the button and i've just seen this oh my god it's on youtube and i found it this john john <laughs> oh is that it what would you mm-hmm. do in this situation? oh my god what is that free. shirt <laughs> i don't oh, know I just like, a, like, a, like a mini date i think we're like is leaning in you know I want i'm not really sure kind of got a blind that's smart oh, to lean in internet hold on so i don't really know what to ask you you can <laughs> okay, take a laugh so about I'm- I'm not your typical 10, so like what? You can say that. Like everything to you, like what is the vibe? Oh not everything, God. but it plays a big part. For sure. Well, with that being said, <laughs> oh, God. oh, fuck no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, the conversation we're having uh, oh, that's wow. iconic. But I feel like you can tell how fat someone is based on what their voice sounds like already. So you, right? Oh my god, I hope that shirt is not see through. I feel like it has to be like a screen print or something. Yeah, it right? has to be. There's no like way that's real. Oh my god. They oh, they can't be. Yeah. Hmm. What okay, happened? Okay. A couple more. I just want to catch up on these. Um, thank you, Valiant Renegade. Cheers to Simcast. Nina wouldn't stay in costume for the Friday Night 50K show, but I did give Christina a pass. Happy <laughs> Halloween from Clan Renegade. Aww. Aww. Happy Halloween. That's so sweet. Happy Halloween. Thank you, backhand. Hi, ladies. Love and hugs. Hey, Chad. Did you know that Zia will be doing a member stream tomorrow at 9 p.m.? Also, a big congrats to Chrissy on the birth of her puppy. Well, that's not birthed yet. Uh-huh. It's still in there. <laughs> it's still cooking. Chrissy, do you know who Captain Chokeout is? Uh, I think Captain so. Is he on um, Anna's stream? Yeah, he's on Jack Show. Yeah. So, like, this la- this last Jack Show, he did, like, the pumpkin challenge where he, like, break like breaks it with his legs. Like, oh, on really? camera. Is yeah. That a challenge? I haven't heard of that. Yeah, apparently, well, apparently Mandy Summers can do it. And, like, Shane oh. Davis was going to do it or something. I don't know if Shane ever ended up doing it or not. But Captain Chokeout did do it, like, on camera. And I was like. With just his legs? Whoa. Yeah. It was, that is it my was goal. Level. That's life. cool. <laughs> I'm, like, telling my coach my next fitness goal now that I can do pull-ups and I can uh, shoulder press 30 pounds. My next goal what? is I need to be able to crush a uh, watermelon with my thighs. Like that is, I need that to be was, able to do that. It was so crazy. And then, but when you posted that picture of yourself today, I was, I thought that's what you were doing. I was like, no, <laughs> no I just feel like I want to be able, I've tried it and I couldn't do it, but this was like months ago. And it was, 
Oh. No, this, I got this oh. from. Uh, I got That's this from uh, when we did the big sip. We went with a couple of friends, this big drinking event. So I had to tell the four of them that I, because they would be like, what's wrong with you? Why are you not drinking? <laughs> so I got this pumpkin. And then uh, I guess I can turn it around now. Um, Aww. And then I would like send it to like a couple of people as I was starting to slowly like tell people. But yeah. Do you want me to try and find that part of Jack show where Captain Cho got crushed that pumpkin? Where he yes, did it? Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See. Peasant okay, Jeff, I'll I used to see it. Beyond the yeah. Veil as a child. It's how I saw everything from election results in my daily life coming to, to the coming Civil War. Very scary for a seven-year-old. Wow. Lord. <laughs> it's just a it's a burden you have to bear, I guess. Spectral Citizen, you just found your true calling, Chrissy, designing costumes for pregnant women. Actually. That's a good idea. You sure? Yes. Idea. The like, options are, are terrible. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is one of the <laughs> terrible options. It's a terrible. No, hold on. Hold the goddamn phone. It you know, sounds cute. Pet. It sounds cute, but let me show you what this costume looks like. <laughs> oh no. But you know, I was just looking at those avocado ones, and the only one that's cool is the mascot one. The rest of them are kind of weird. They're like in the ball sack area, Ew. and I don't know. No, I didn't you... look cute no you don't want ball sack avocados that's like, gross no. it's like this <laughs> that's this cute oh, awful. <laughs> oh my gosh it makes this sense though cute. the winnie the pooh makes sense cause... why the pencil skirt also that like just sense. let the belly hang out yeah yeah because yeah. he True legitimately form. doesn't wear pants that's the whole thing look at mm -hmm. this this yeah, is not cute. This is not cute. No, and you, it's not really coming across what this is without the. No, home. that's horrible. Actually, I'm that sorry. Was terrible. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, that is like. Look the, at that! Look how horrible color. she looks. Oh no! Uh, yeah, oh, that's no. No. That's, no, that's lazy. When I hate those blue. boots. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's, I mean, this whole family is cute. That's why now we're works. just bullying pregnant women. <laughs> oh, okay. This is actually, but look at that. Oh my that God. Looks... Look at Christopher Robin. Look at the husband. He looks like, uh, oh. he's about to hold the family hostage. Yeah. I was going to say, like, oh my God. Try to chop them up and eat them. Good God. <laughs> no, no, this is an adorable family this is costume. Disturbing. Uh, God bless them. But Wait, this like, isn't like a stock photo for Amazon? Like, just random models? <gasps> oh, see? This looks terrible. Yeah. Oh, it's no. not great. It's not no. great. Look, it's so stretchy for your too. fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow! God, this is just <laughs> terrible. This girl is not even pregnant. She's just she bad, looks, I think. That, that, I just photoshopped. No, that's, her def no, that's definitely Dana. like a. That's definitely a fake belly. Like it's not. Uh, it's one of those fake. She ones. has Lena Dunham physique. <laughs> oh. This is not a good look for anyone. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what the other pregnant <laughs> options are. Okay, They're when not... you're done, that I got. I got the pumpkin video. Yes. You, are you able to queue it up for your end, from your end? Yeah. I, I got it. When you're ready, let me know. Uh, I'm going to show you these. <laughs> Captain Lookout's pretty, like, shredded. I didn't realize until I saw, like, a picture of him in the gym or something. And I was like, holy shit. Oh, no. I knew he was, like... You know, I know he was shredded, and he's he's got he's he's got the abs going on and everything. And I was yeah. like, "What I'm talking but about the uh, the, the legs, man, the I was dead like, skeleton in the belly situation." <laughs> Ew, what? I don't love that. Oh, why I'm not is there a dead it. skeleton in the belly? Oh, yeah. Oh That's my, what I'm talking about no, no. Oh, no I get why no. it's cute, but it's like, yeah. eh. no. Oh, this is one you can. Oh, be that's a kangaroo. cute. Oh, that's that kind of a thing. That's and look, cuter, oh, though. Look, and they're so cringy. These couples got mm. through. Look, I'm drinking for two. Oh, I have beer in my Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> I have French fries. <laughs> I like the other one, though. That was cute to me. Prego. Oh. Well, that oh, one's yeah. smiling. It doesn't look Who's stillborn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. He's a happy stillborn. Look at him. this. Look how creepy this is. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like no, that that's, at all. That's weird. No. That's like out of a horror movie. <laughs> that's my yeah. nightmare. That's You're, scary. Guess what? You're going to get a C-section. It's going to look like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that's no, that's weird. Ew. See, that's, that's how I thought babies were born before I saw the birth video. <laughs> yeah, no. it, just, it just opens up your stomach and pops yeah. out. Look how I happens. thought it was like it's alien where it just comes <laughs> bursting out. <laughs> 
Oh, this is so cringy. <laughs> You can't scare me. And oh my God, there's so many cringy shirts for the husband. Oh, on here. You can't scare me. My wife is pregnant. Ah. Frank ought to get that shirt. Don't they have like a classic one, like bun in the oven or something? They <laughs> did have that. Here's the <laughs> avocado. What the hell is that? Oh, what, what the, the fuck is what that thing? Oh, why, why, you would you, why would you buy what that? What the oh, fuck? It's, oh, it's, a haunted, it's a haunted house prop. But the, I kind of love cool. that. Oh. Like something went very wrong. Zombie. Mm. And it's a not. zombie costume waist. Oh, oh my god! No, no, I don't hate that's it. messed mummy, up. Like exhausted that. pregnant lady is my costume again. Like I don't need to be brought. Like I don't know. <laughs> These are really bad. Look terrible. at this cow costume. No. Why? No. With the giant udders. <laughs> Look how gross <laughs> that is. <laughs> that's what's disgusting. Fuck. The drooping <laughs> udder. <laughs> That's like some oh, kink no. shit right there, oh, man. No. They're like, this yeah. is what your nipples are gonna look like after yeah. you breastfeed. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, great, thanks. Oh, oh no. You see, Why you do you make see what I'm droopy? talking about? Let's see, the, this, I don't mind up. those leggings. This is cute. This kangaroo thing. I, I yeah. think the kangaroo one's the cutest one. That's the best one so far. Yeah. And it's yeah. basically pajamas. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says Winnie. I smell a child. I guess that's from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> ice, ice baby is kind of cute. Yeah. Uh, but it's a little yeah. gay too. Oh, I put a turkey in that oven again. These are the these are so cringy. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. horrible. You and Ugh. Frank are not going to wear anything like that, right? No, Ever. he would never. He would never. He would be <laughs> like you would. He would not wear. So, look, There's mommy. the bun in the Wait, oven. Was that There's the bun in the oven. Here? The man uh, behind the yeah, mommy's, mommy's little, little nightmare. nightmare. Isn't this horrible? <laughs> oh, oh nice. God. Tell me you don't want to be pregnant without telling me. <laughs> yeah. The, <bun laughs> in the oven and the bread maker, the man behind the pumpkin. Caution, bump ahead. Ugh. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh, this is all terrible. It's only, terrible. Only uh, white people would wear laundry. these. This is kind of cute, but then uh, you're gonna be fat and pregnant. You look like a literal pumpkin in this lingerie. So <laughs> yeah. At least it would be a sexy pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. This is just confused. This is obviously a Chinese <laughs> design gone wrong. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> They're just out of options. They're like, well, you could just be in a dress and pregnant. <laughs> <with your costume." laughs> It's so women's not. novelty pregnant it's belly costume. Oh, this oh, it's a pregnant belly costume. Oh Why would anyone want to do that? Oh, that just wait, looks like it's you're so strange. A, a prostitute that got pregnant. And you're like, well, I got to keep working. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think yeah. that's, that's more like kink stuff because no one's going as a pregnant woman. So, okay. Yeah. No, who does? That's you know what? So I think, odd. I think boys like like when you're a teenage or early twenties boy, you think the idea of going as a pregnant woman is is hilarious, and I think that's who that's for. That's like going as a woman mm. in general, they think is hilarious. I remember that was the thing in high school. A bunch of the boys dressed up yeah, as a like girl just and they were like, ha, ha, ha. I yeah. thought this was Ashton Birdie for a second. I was like, well, she should <laughs> become an Amazon model. And so now this is sort of devolving into just overall maternity stuff. Oh. Yeah, the options are bad though, people. It's um that is sad. How they were she... terrible. Oh, it's not right. So skinny. Okay, Maybe you could make your own, start a line. You could probably make bank because they are not good. So there's yeah. opening the market. <laughs> I like this idea. Um, okay, this what is this clip here? Nina? This is the Captain Chokeout <gasps> crushing a pumpkin. Oh god. Okay. Does okay, it take him go. along? Oh wow, he's really squatting over it and everything. Oh, he's this oh looks, he's he's gonna this looks like uh he's that give video her. of the guy that uh, br breaks things in his asshole. I forget the name. I but think not, Anna's face is the not best. Star one guy. <laughs> She's like waiting. Oh, like Anna's face is gonna get even better once he actually does it. Here we go. Oh, wow. Nice. Hold on. Let's do this. Wait. Wait why does he have a face. ski well, mask on? Yeah, oh, that's his costume. Like. Um, yeah. his costume is uh basically a grapeist. He's gone that oh. every, <laughs> every year. Wow. For like the past three years, he's gone as a grapeist. Yeah. Oh the? my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah, give us a full turn around. Tap fully. it. Tap it. Give it a brisk tap. Yeah, yeah he yeah, looks like one of those like jar squatters. Yeah. They're, make, they're making sure the pumpkin's real. He looks yeah. like one guy, yeah, one jar. It up. Oh. I wonder, where's seven and nine at? This, oh my oh, goodness. Uh, Excuse me, I'd like to inspect He's spies. enjoying this too much Excuse already. Me. Back on. <laughs> right, on the pumpkin. 
I bet he's just gonna oh. like. This looks oh like almost. That what is happening? That that Cecil, by the way, like making the orgasm sounds. Yeah. I love when Cecil does that voice, hey, though. It's so funny. I remember, it's give it everything you got the first time around. <laughs> everything you got. Don't give up. This is not Don't actually happening. Oh, it, oh I, I think this might have been a priest pleased like pumpkin. Yeah, no, like that's why he cast it. It's Get it in there deeper. Get it in there's there. no way a... this is actually happening. Oh my god! How are you feeling, Choga? It's pretty incredible. This is not oh, real. Right now, this is an interesting <laughs> camera angle. Oh. Yeah, what do you hang on to? Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, that's crazy. You did it! Oh. Happy Halloween! Wow! Oh. Happy Halloween! Did the next. Oh. And you can see his pumpkin. entire dick outline after that. Yeah. Yeah. He was getting up. Yep, I saw the whole it. thing. I'll have to watch it again later. Slower. <laughs> his legs had Ow. to hurt so bad after that. <clears throat> he, yeah, he, could, middle, he couldn't even walk. It was pretty funny. The middle is the softest part, right? It's harder oh at the top God. and the bottom. So that's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was disturbing. That is not a great way to do that. Pumpkin with a different one. Mm -mm. Some guy in the chat was like, I came. <laughs> I don't blame you, guy in chat. Uh, Steve Chandler, Frank, if Frank is a filing cabinet, Christy is a crib. I thought that said crab for a second. <laughs> Thank you, Dave Chandler. Uh, Dave Chandler again. Best pumpkin carving videos on YouTube are Hickok forty five carving pumpkins with his favorite pistols and rifles. Second Amendment, baby. God bless America. That sounds nice. very cool. That's weird. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of pumpkin carving videos lately. Andrew Thomas, happy Halloween, ladies. I believe in ghosts, and I am here to simp for Zia, Nina, Leanne, and Chrissy tonight. What about Christina and Mary, Andrew? Yeah, oh, Andrew, Andrew. Andrew. There are plenty of simps to go around. That's true. <laughs> I don't have any sims. Andrew always says he has his favorites, though. Sex equals death in 80s horror uh, was just incidental because the movies were appealing to people who wanted TNA blood fests. It wasn't a morality show. Mm -mm. Yeah, I that's like that. true. I just guess give me murder and boobs. They don't have time to put their clothes back on. Right. Hmm. James Chart Twilight is a teenage girl's dilemma, choosing between necrophilia and bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> That dog yeah. may be loyal, but dead men are always stiff. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. That kind, of, that, that kind of sounds like one of my jokes, actually. Uh, Dan <laughs> Halen, inspired by Amaranth, I'd like to announce I'll be selling my own cream cheese. Oh, Ew. No. Dan, if you cover him in chocolate, I'll try it, maybe. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> 200 yeah. watt. Mary seems too pure to be here. Well, how's it going, Mary? Are you traumatized yet? I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I think it's just Mary's face. She just she looks pure. Do I just always look like I've I've been shocked and like, horrified? <laughs> no, you just look like angelic. That's yeah, what you, you are. are. Yes, that's and what it is. Is. You, look, you look really <laughs> sweet and innocent. Yeah. Yeah, especially on, like on that white background. Like you just you just look like so innocent and cute. Not like I'm like in a mug shot. <laughs> yeah. no. no. I am no. not hiring you to babysit. Don't even try it. Chris Benoit, oh, no. no. You're not allowed around any children. Um, he's very Mary. dedicated to he's Chris Benoit and character. And He's here all the time. I love it. Um, what is it with Simcast and poop mishaps? I don't know. Everyone's got a poop story. Push-ups. Uh, stop lying. Storks bring babies from heaven. Yes, that is how babies yeah, get here. Exactly. Taylor Swift. Thank you for the super chat. Keith Holberman's ugly puss. Nina, will you rub my magic lamp for me? <laughs> no. 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 Uh, Push-ups again. Maybe the moon dream is PTSD from stripper days. Uh, Jacob Rotten, least favorite candy, best taste tasting candy. Now, people really vary on this question. I think you're either in the candy corn camp or you're not. Give me all the candy uh, corn. I'll take ew, it. Ew, no. Me too. I love candy corn. You guys can take it all. Candy corn and black licorice. I'm here for it. Best ew. tasting. Oh, I, love, <laughs> I love any kind oh, of so red gross. licorice. I love, I love nerd ropes. Nerd ropes like, are awesome. So much. I still remember when we were hanging out when you came out and you got the nerd rope and then you got out of the car and there was just nerd nerds. Oh, and then pants. I yelled. To <laughs> the, I was at Zia's house and I yelled from the bathroom. I said, I nerded in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I just went to the bathroom and nerds came out. And I was like, <laughs> 
Okay. I'm I'm not a candy person. I'm I'm just more like a chocolate person. I just mm-hmm. want chocolate. Just chocolate give me all the good. chocolate. Yes. Mm-hmm. I went to actually. I tried like for the snack stream. I went to this fancy chocolate store and got like Ooh. all the. I, hey, I'm gonna close up on these. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Had so oh, much sugar. Fancy. Oh. They they're, were fancy. Those look like Valentine's chocolates. They kind those of things do, always right? piss me off like, though because this. some of them are wow. disgusting and they look really good, but then you put it in your mouth and you're like, Bleh. like what thankfully is that? these were all really good. Some of them have like toothpaste in them. Yeah. Oh. You're like, this yeah. looks great. And then you you're like eating it and you're like, oh. And it's kind of like you're like, who Ooh. fucking likes marzipan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Marzipan. Right. Right. marzipan is good. Uh, yes, marzipan is like uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like, it yeah. tastes like so just good. paste. It's almond. Ugh. I don't know. I love no. it. I don't fuck with marzipan. I went from I went from a, a candy transition. Like I was kind of fat in college, and by that I mean just slightly more than I weigh now as a pregnant person. Uh, and I was just I ate a lot of chocolate, eat, eating a lot of candy in bed, even like in my early apartment days. And I've somehow transitioned from like a chocolate person to a like starburst gummy sour patch kids type person. Like I'm in the I'm in the gummy zone now. I'm having a gummy moment. I, I love, love gummies. gummies. Yeah. You know what's my favorite gummy though is like the the Coca Cola gummies. Have you ever had <gasps> those? Yeah. yeah, and it those tastes like good. Coke. It's mm-hmm. so that's, good. That sounds gross. They have a cherry Coke version of that too. Oh, that's cool. Wow. I've never had that. Yeah, Bird Up says jelly beans are go- god tier candy. No. I do like no. a good jelly bean. Yeah. Not depends down. on the type of jelly beans. So the Starburst ones are pretty good. The cinnamon yeah. jelly beans belong and can go in the trash where they belong, though. Those are oh. Yeah, and I don't like them. I don't like black licorice. I don't fucks with that. I love black licorice. Really? Okay. Oh, I'll eat bags of it. Dimagina. I was at Dimagina. Costumes look great, ladies. Grats again, Chrissy. Thanks, Dimagina. Okay, don't. You don't have to lie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I like your cat at the Imagine DMV that. costume. Uh, K Max. <laughs> Watch or use TikTok that much seems a TikTok woman made waves for her breast reduction. Your advice was to uh, oh, was to wear a bra. Yes, I received much flack for this. Oh, yeah. was not, what was her deal? Because like she should be wearing a bra. I was not planning to discuss this tonight, but we really should because this is a very hot topic. And in fact, all I the before up. videos, she was not wearing a bra. Mm-mm. So no yeah. wonder you have back pain, right? Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't think I saw this. Is. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. This was a uh, a lot of contention. In fact, uh, everyone Pearl. wanted to burn this Pearl. woman at the stake because she got a breast reduction. Pearl, oh. She made it a lot this. more comfortable. They were yeah. big. Okay, let me pull this pull this up. Uh, I like this because I said if there's one thing I learned from this viral video. <laughs> that if a man was suffering from back pain because of his huge dick, he'd probably just deal with the back pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Because you know all it. the guys were like, "R.I.P. Oh my God, what a travesty! <laughs> this is horrible. How could she?" Um, so here is uh, I guess it was originally this was from TikTok. I got in my head. <laughs> mute it because of the song but yeah and no, she's yeah. just going yeah, from her, her boobs and then like oh and here's me in the same outfit with less boobs i don't get it though Does, has she ever worn a bra i'm confused that's right. what i said my no, initial no. comment was like has she tried wearing a bra and then all, all these like le- leftist women are in the comments like, fair, like you it's don't hard to find a bra back pain <laughs> it's oh hard God. to find a bra that works for if, if her boobs are that big right like to be fair to her I can see that. And even yeah. with her, it's difficult. So huge. What size? I feel like she's yeah. like crying. I feel like she maybe went a little too small. I feel like she could have. So re- yeah. Like there, I understand her wanting to get a reduction, mm-hmm. but she went a little, little too far. Yeah. Because she, she was both she, ways. Could you she blame was... her though? She's got like massive bazongas. They she's were like, you know what? I need. I'm I over want this to shit. see how they look in a bra. Like, give me the best bra you yeah. have. And then yeah. I don't think it's fair to True. judge because I don't think she's up walking around every day when her boobs used to look like this. I don't think she's tearing around without a bra. And like, she's doing this to make them look maximum saggy for the before, they are for the very before video. Saggy. They're super mm-hmm. saggy. I mean, I feel like she's doing it. I don't know. It, it it almost seems like she's doing it to make it extra saggy. Like, does that? Make yeah, sense? I don't know. Yeah, she's picking, like, 
not flattering shirts. No, this is yeah. like a, this is like a gr- this is like a grandma mom dress. Like this. Yeah, is, what the <laughs> hell? She's dressing a little bit older. Mm-hmm. Like she is cute. She is small. Like she is in shape, which is like she I guess like, those are the body. only people. Mm-hmm. Those are the only people that should even really consider. It's like if you're fat and you're getting a reduction, like you're just stupid. Like just yeah. try work. Yeah, just lose weight. Yeah, yeah. You know mm-hmm. what happens when you lose weight? Your boobs go. Yeah, true. Yep. It's true. It's happening. Yeah, but at me. least if you're big and you have boobs, it's something and a big ass. True. Like, have you ever seen someone that's real fat and they don't have boobs? Because I Born did. It's very weird looking. But I mean, yeah. that no, dress, that like strange. on her though, that dress, even when she was flat, looked like yeah. shit. It's like, why are you wearing that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this that is not Why not buy one that fits you? Yeah, she doesn't. She might not know how to dress. Maybe that's the problem more than the boobs. Maybe she didn't want dudes looking at her knockers bouncing around all the time. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, and. Maybe she got harassed or molested or something like that. And they've got to be uncomfortable to lug around. Even if you wear a bra all the time, you know, when you sleep, you don't yeah. want to have to wear a bra all the time. Yeah. When you're home, when you're mm-hmm. sleeping, it be, it must true. be nice to take your bra off and just be like, <sighs> I love taking my bra off. It's, it's great. A great feeling. But if your boobs are that big, you mm-hmm. take it off and suddenly they're hanging and it's yeah, like, it's they're, like heavy. they're all over the place. Yeah. I don't know if I could ever advocate for a breast reduction, to be completely honest with you, but I could see why people would do it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, let's go bigger. Yeah, I'm I'm like a dude when it comes to that. Like, I would rather die with big titties, like giant titties, yeah. than, than get a reduction. <laughs> like, you, know, you get like really old. gnarly scars, too, when you do that. It's like an anchor. Yeah. There- Any other way? I'm not sure if that's still true, but I no, don't it know. is. It is. Mm. They still do. So there's yeah. a lollipop where you get a reduction. You can either do a lollipop lift or an anchor lift, and they're like slightly different cuts. Ooh. But it is. They have to take your nipple off because they what? reposition your. Yeah, they and take your nipple off. And- oh lose your nipple. God. One of my friends, Mark Ahase, lo- they lost her nipple. How- what? Oh what do you mean? They just misplaced it. it? Yes. <gasps> They lost her nipple. She was on an episode maybe a year or two ago talking oh about it. Oh my god. That's I feel like somebody there. somebody lost the nipple, but like it's yeah. somebody yeah. has I think it. he just pocketed it because she was like an adult <laughs> yeah. entertainer. Did they, they find a replacement like, nipple? That they just replaced it with a pepperoni. That nipple probably ended up on the black market. Yeah, so right. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, so how does dumb. she have a nipple then? They had to like make her one or get they a donor had nipple? One on. They had to draw what? one on. So she has no. one tattooed nipple and one real nipple. She has to get like a cadaver oh, nipple. Oh, that'd be weird. Said, well, yeah, what happens when she good. like wants to like what if she gives birth and wants to like breastfeed? Like, exactly. Is that oh, boob yeah. doesn't work Some anymore? People said that like after you get a breast reduction, you might not be able to breastfeed after that. Ooh, that oh, sucks. no. They yeah, think yeah, that no. they just threw her nipple away, which is. Oh, my God. That's, that's insane. Know. How Did you she sue them? I feel like you can get money you for that. Be able to. You, yeah, the, isn't that malpractice? I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure that it, that that counts. How do you There's... lose a nipple? It's like one <laughs> inch away from you. Where are you, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you have two things. You got to make yeah. sure you don't lose the nipples. Like everything else. <laughs> like, I feel like someone pocketed her nipple. Honestly, <laughs> exactly. yeah, like no. they're selling the nipple on the black nipple market. Yeah, how <laughs> <did> that happen? <laughs> Oh, that is so. That's like when they leave things in you after they operate, like big things. Oh my there's god! There's like scalpels yeah. and shit, and I'm like, how do you just leave it in there? That's there's like the famous Seinfeld episode with the Mentos, the Junior like, Mint, yeah, the Junior <laughs> Mint, the Junior Mint. Yeah. Oh that's there's, crazy. There's this story that I always remember growing up. <laughs> Uh, back in Hawaii, Hawaii, there was this surgeon in Hilo Hospital, which is like, it was always known that if something happened, you wanted to be made, uh, medevaced to Oahu because you don't want to go to Hilo Hospital because you'll fucking die. And there was this one surgeon, this guy had to get like a, a, a screw or something in his spine. And the doctor didn't have the screw or the surgeon didn't have the screw at the time. So he put a surgical screwdriver in its place instead and the guy ended up oh dying. It was, like huge, yeah, it was like this huge, yeah, it was like this huge malpractice God. malpractice suit. It was like a big thing. And I was just like, up, yo. I'm terrified of stuff like that. Like, I don't want to go to the hospital unless I absolutely have to go to the hospital. Like nowadays, I'm just paranoid about like the level of 
care you're gonna get in mm-hmm. some of these. I'm the places same way. Mm-hmm. I don't go to the hospital unless I'm about to die. Like yeah. I will go yeah. unless yeah. I know that I'm gonna die. Or if yeah, I even go to the like... hospital, I'm gonna duct tape my nipples shut so they don't <laughs> <laughs> them they don't get yeah, lost. Definitely should. I have well, researched I hospitals before. Like before I've gone to hospitals, I've researched the best wow. one to go to and been like, I'll drive 45 minutes. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, True. Little sausage, well, especially when it's not an emergency. Little Sausage's ex had a breast reduction. She was a horse trainer and had to wear three sports bras over each other all day. She had a lot of pain. I get, well, that. get off the damn horse until your tits <laughs> calm down. <laughs> yeah, I could see when riding a horse would definitely be. If you had her titties on a horse, mm, Oof, that'd be not rough. the horse. That's like her on the horse, not the horse having her tits. But they that would be would dragging hurt. on the ground if they did. Yeah, I that's totally cool. understood oh you, God, Leanne. Hi, and Anna. then Anna. Hi. Anna. Look at your hat. It's so cute. I love it. Thanks. Yeah. No, I saw that you guys are all in costumes. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I God, just, Anna. There was a couple who came to my show on Saturday in Long Island, and they I, I saw them walk in, too. I was like, I'm going to get these motherfuckers. The girl was in a full-blown Barbie costume, and the guy was in a full-blown Ken costume. Ooh. And I was oh. like, please sit them in front. Please sit them in the front row. <laughs> and they didn't, but I could still see them. And I was like, what do you guys do? I'm like, did you guys come from a Halloween party? You just really love attention. And then everybody, <laughs> and everybody in the crowd was like, ooh. I was like, is anyone else here dress up for Halloween? And like, no one said anything. I'm like, yeah, because we're adults. Okay. Like, <laughs> we, what do we do on Halloween? We hand out candy and we complain about our back pain. We complain about our breast reductions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Nip, nipple stories. And I oh. showed everyone Captain Chokeout's pumpkin smash. Oh my God. <laughs> It was impressive. <laughs> Did you see Mandy's like meltdown over people no. saying that hers was uh, a fake? No, I didn't see yeah. it. <laughs> I, I haven't had really good service, so I haven't been able to get the video to load. But apparently she like went on a huge rant because for those that don't know the backstory, last year our friends. Well, actually, Mary, I think you know Shane. You had Shane on your show, right? We did. Yeah. So Shane and Mandy did a pumpkin smashing with your thighs contest last year. And Mandy did it at like that. And Shane women have a stronger it. lower body. That makes but sense. Here's the thing. Chrissy. Shane struggled for like 20 minutes trying to catch <laughs> this pumpkin. And then choke out who works out every day of his life, got massive thighs. He like took a few minutes to get it, but I, I don't know the way that you, when you watched it, it looks like it's either a rotten pumpkin or it's like a semi baked pumpkin. Yes, I think it was set pre crushed. Oh my gosh. You mean choke outs was pre crushed or Mandy's? Oh, Mandy's. Oh. oh. Yeah, no, Sweet. choke outs, he like holds it, he like makes an, you know, pounds yeah, on he, it. Yeah, he he pounded yeah. on it and stuff. And he went because we only had talked about it the like night before. And yeah. He just went that more or the day before because it's his time. It's like six in the morning. So he got it the day before and he like filmed himself just going to the pumpkin patch and picking it up. It's the same pumpkin from his video of him going to the pumpkin patch. It's real. Yeah. I was disappointed that Cecil didn't have one. I know that. What the hell? Fucking I Cecil. Know. Had to ruin it. <laughs> while we, before I forget, while we're still on the topic of nipples, um, <laughs> This is uh we all we all we know and love Kim Kardashian very much. Uh coming October 31st. So that's on Tuesday. The Skims Ultimate Nipple Bra. Oh, this stupid. is a bra with nipples <gasps> built Wait, in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm going to wear that built to the gym. In. This is perfect. <gasps> it's weird. Literally <laughs> why? Yeah, yeah why? Yeah, why? Yeah. why? <laughs> but I do believe restart it because i'm retarded. and i'm not a scientist oh my god you don't right. say I'm she had to say that <laughs> who thinks right, you are sure this is up and one two and three the earth's temperature is getting hotter and hotter the sea levels are rising the ice sheets are shrinking and i'm not a scientist but i do believe everyone can use their skill set to do their part that's why I'm introducing a brand new bra with a built-in nipple. So no matter how hot it is, you'll always look cold. <laughs> Some days are hard, but fuck? these nipples are harder. And unlike the icebergs, 
Oh, God. These aren't going God. anywhere. The Skims Ultimate what Nipple point Bra. Is this? Oh, my God. I try to hide my... I, I go to, like, no. epic lengths to, to hide my nipples. I would never <gasps> buy this bra. Isn't that, like, the whole point of wearing a bra? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Anna, are you saying, into this? I thought this was an SNL parody. People are saying, yeah. if I wear a bra, it's, it's to cover my nipples, make a pierced ones. Uh, let me it's guys tell you real. about something. This is giving Regina George vibes. Let me guys tell you about something. Like, I don't know if any of you are watch Sex in the City in your youth. Yeah, but I let have. me tell you about a product that took off, I think, first season of Sex in the City. Samantha was talking about how she was like, she, she would put in these, she would buy these fake nipples and put them in her shirt and yeah. walk around and walk around town. And like, there were all these guys like walking past construction sites and shit like that. And these fake nipples took off and I bought a couple pairs and like a couple, a couple times. It was years ago. Why don't you like, just wear like a thinner like, bra? Uh, no, because my nipples are never hard. They're always like, Sleepy and they're, 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 not out, they're not outgoing, but like when you, get, when you get pregnant, it's a different story. Like, oh man, my nipples crazy. are way too outgoing. I'm always trying but to freaking. I bought them. these fake nipples, and it's like they. And now this is just the next iteration of that, and and it's the same thing. Like you can be like uh supported and you maybe some cleavage and then you also have the nipples um or you wear the fake nipples under like a very thin bra the but be weird is when people wash those and they get all deformed yeah i know right <laughs> have a nipple yeah. pointing this way and i'm pointing down <laughs> i just don't understand why you want it why like i don't because they cool. you pick Look at you. That's why. Wait, <laughs> you sad. You can see the whole nipples <laughs> everywhere you turn these days. Everywhere online, everyone's yeah. naked. I don't think you it's, need it. I don't know. It's a real attention getter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you girl. Girl. I'm just like this man. Society's going down the tubes. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now. Well, like, she's got a lot of extra money to spend, and that's what she's making. Whereas Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are building rocket ships. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what are you going to do for next one? You want to build a rocket? I guess you the law <laughs> degree didn't really work out because she's making nipple Has there been bras. any positive comments about it? Like, I can't wait to get this. <laughs> let me see. Let me see if there's... I think all the dudes in the chat are into well, it, yeah. though. Chat. <laughs> of course. In the chat, if you want Chrissy to buy one and just test it out. But, like, okay, is it fine, still I'll buy exciting one. if it's a fake fake nipples and not exactly. real nipples? Is that still? Yeah, it's like cat Yes, it is. But... Like booty fish. Yeah. Oh, yes, what? <laughs> this is what they also sell. They also sell camel toe panties. They all sell. What? Yes. yes. They sell That's panties disgusting. you can wear with a big old camel toe, and you can put on your tight gym shorts and like just you know what I mean, what? like saunter around the gym. But you can. They sell <laughs> other pants with fake asses in them, and this is just the final stage. We need the to do crazy. We need to do a skit where somebody gets all of it. You get the camel toe panties, you get the fake butt, you get the mm -hmm. nipples, and you go to the gym and film it. That's all you see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that asteroid? Actually, if, you, if this is my PO box, I. It is scrolling below if you guys want to send me a, a nippy bra. <laughs> oh. Someone's going to now. Oh, uh, for yeah. sure. You're gonna it's not going to be skims, back. though. It's going to be a knockoff, and it's going to be already disfigured. They're going to just shit. send you a Walmart bra with M&Ms taped on yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you could like, twist your T-shirt and do that, too, because people right, used to do, do that. I'm going to do a so poll. It like your nipple is hard. Let's do a poll. Um, okay, what should the poll say? Is the nipple bra sexy or yeah? Do think I don't know. Are you excited weird? for the nipple no. bra to make its debut? Yeah, <laughs> bro, we're uh, like for or against the nipple bra. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna go yeah. out and everyone's gonna be wearing one, you'll feel like you're losing your mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nipple. Well, you know, I actually just thought of like who could actually use this, and all of like the Twitch thoughts that like you can't show like too much skin or something, and mm -hmm. so they can just have that 
and then they could have like the full on like t-shirt. <gasps> Whoa! I, mean, oh, I, I thought you were gonna, I thought you were going to say arsenal. trans women because I mean, no trans. Everyone oh, has no, they have nipples. women. Trans women, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's who's gonna buy these are fucking mentally ill men who want to. That's what them. exactly, Chrissy. You're, mm, I mean, same thing with buy. the camel toe panties mm -hmm. that we're talking about. Like that's yeah. pretty much yeah. the clientele yeah. we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, exactly. Switch from a yes. moose knuckle to a camel toe. Yeah, because yeah, I'll doing tell doing you why. Me. Because the bra with the mm -hmm. nippies built in is actually a bit more feasible than what they had what they were offering before which was basically something that goes up to your neck and has like the big tits like hanging out mm -hmm. like that's kind of what the shop the canadian shop teacher bought and it, mm -hmm. yeah. Drag yeah. Queens. it used to only be something <laughs> the drag queens would wear and it's like mm -hmm. it's like a Wait, turtleneck he was of a, pits he was a wood shop teacher yeah yeah mm -hmm. Whoa, but be careful with, like, the hand saws and stuff. <laughs> I know. That. Yeah, he, like, the, around the there room. was, like, That's film, like, them. video of him, like, literally, like, doing that. Yeah, like, the there fucking was. Fucking buzz saw, or whatever, with his giant knockers. Yeah, it was <laughs> so <laughs> crazy. I was Wait, like, this really? is fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> he was doing that to troll them. Mm. No, story? no, Anna. No. I read more about it. No, okay, I read more about it. This dude's for realsies has mental illness and says that he had like the, his boobs were actually like he's born with those boobs and like well, they're no, yes, we knew so that because they caught him not wearing it. Yeah, but he's so not trolling, Anna. He's not actually trolling. He's actually mentally ill. Like he's mentally ill, and he's, he's why can't he be it? trolling and but mentally Nina, ill? Are exactly. they idiots, though? <laughs> are they trying to say that because he put them in their place and embarrassed them by showing up like that? No, he's still doing it though. Hmm. He's still doing it. I just don't think it's very based to still like shove your z cup tits in children's faces as like a joke no. or a troll like that's if not it really was based. a troll it's he would have weird. stopped by now yeah like, it's it's, it's mm -hmm. honestly worse than if he were actually delusional and thought he was a woman right because he's still shoving that yeah, in kids face i don't like exactly that. yeah it's, you're being very sexual at school and if it was a troll, he would have stopped by now, but he hasn't. And he and there was another article that came out that was like they sent like notes to parents uh, to to the parents and were like, "We're definitely hiring this guy." And like, if you like, if you have any objections to it, too bad. Keep it to yourselves. Like you know, all this kind of shit. He, was, he had been working there for like a decade, and then they pushed all this woke shit, and he was fighting it. They threatened mm -hmm. to fire him. So he showed up the next school year like that. And he's like, oh, my name is, I don't know, Shakira or something. Whatever his like woman, name, yeah. woman name was. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, we were reading like different articles because it's just, I remember when I saw it, just thinking it was crazy. And then finding out that he was just trolling them the entire time. Cause Nick was the one that was telling me that he was trolling him. The I read the articles and it was, it was definitely not a troll. Well, that's when I'm like, what news articles? Because it was the new like, New York post stuff that was on him. The New York post, the people that yeah. woke. No, and so, like this guy was trolling them. So let's say that he has mental illness because they're embarrassed that they, you know, let that guy go around the school. Well, no, he was saying, like, look, I have, like, there was a disease that he had. I'll, I'll pull it up for you. Okay, so is you it the multiple personality about. disease that everyone has now? No, 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 no. Like, the, the <laughs> boob disease that makes it, like, massive giant ones. What? Yeah. Okay, so this is the latest thing I've seen uh, from September 6th. Trans teacher known for massive prosthetic <laughs> Z-cup seen without breasts for return to Canadian classroom. I think Nina is triggered because this is one of her people. Oh, my God. Um, yes, I'm <laughs> triggered for sure. The, the, she, has, she, doesn't, she doesn't want to claim this man. No. Um, um, Kayla, Kayla Lemu has claimed to be suffering from a condition called gigantomastic, yeah. which is a rare condition in which one's breasts become excessively large. Oh, this has to be a joke. That thing, that. According to the Cleveland, Cleveland Clinic, but when Lemu arrived to Nora Francis Henderson Secondary School in Hamilton, Ontario for a planning day before students arrived on Tuesday, the teacher was dressed as a man and ditched the massive breast. Yeah, that sounds like a troll to mm. me. Uh, spotted by photographers in his Mazda... There you go. What? Yeah. Whoa. <gasps> hmm. Oh, my God. But goodness. he's still doing it. Uh, wow. <laughs> and parents are now just supposed to accept Lemu is male and their kid's teacher is either a deranged liar or mentally unstable. How is that different than most of the teachers working today? <laughs> <laughs> You're infuriating. 
We had a couple, a year of complete chaos. Selena Close, a parent at Lemieux School, told the Post, "We were told Lemieux's breasts were real, and we couldn't question Lemieux's gender." I love this. This is what this dude was after, I think. Uh, but now we see Lemieux is actually male, and the breasts were never real. <laughs> Lemieux previously denied accusations that the breasts were fake in an interview. I'm not yeah. wearing prosthetic breasts. These are real. Oh, what a great troll. He's definitely uh, trolling. My condition is gigantomastia. That's the one I read. As macromastia or breast hypertrophy. Oh, bravo to this man. What an epic <laughs> troll. Yeah, he's fucking with people. The I way they blurred out would. the nipples. <laughs> yeah, that would not stand on the Skims website. They would uh, <laughs> <not know. laughs> maybe he should model it. Oh, I still he should be one of the models. Yeah, he really he should. should. Dude. Yeah, that would be so inclusive. It would be very <laughs> discriminatory if she does not hire. Oh my them. god! So they were that Lemieux was placed on leave mm -hmm. um, last year. Ooh, sounds they racist. Leave. You're getting paid wow. to troll. He has been mm -hmm. self-identifying as male and using the legal name Carrie at the new gig. Okay, so maybe he's working at a different school now. Yeah, he's himself. working at a different school, and that school sent out a note to the parents being like, we're hiring this dude, and like you can't object, and if you object, you're basically all racist and sexist and shit. Like, it was a oh fucking mental God. note. Or how the memo asks parents to email or call before coming to the school if they wish to visit to speak to an employee <laughs> because of potential security concerns. Oh, yeah. They said that, that Lemieux was recently the subject of public attention pertaining to their gender expression mm. while teaching at a different... Oh, my God. The, the hoops that this man has made all these administrators hop through <laughs> is, is really outstanding. But it's exposing how much they'll actually go through to, yeah. you know, support this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's but he's very still doing weird. it. That's that's so crazy to me. Well, maybe he just like is a yeah. I mean, you have to be. I mean, there's trolling, and then there's like a psychotic level of it. Yeah. He's at that mm -hmm. like crazy mm -hmm. level. I'm trying. What's that horror movie? Where they're like trying to fight the bad guy, and then like they're trying to kill the bad guy, and then at the end they kill the bad guy, and they they like it, so they become a serial killer. I don't Scream? Know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, I've never seen Scream. So I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I, didn't think so. I don't think like that's, that. It, it was definitely not that one. I don't know. Doesn't that happen in Saw? Like the girl Ooh. starts working for Jigsaw in the one. Could it be Seven? I've never seen it. No, God, I it's hate it. Seven. Seven's so good though. Such that's a good, good movie. Watched, like the every horror movie ever, and that was probably one of the many that was on. Yeah. I don't. I've what never even think? seen one Saw movie. <gasps> you well, have to see Saw. <laughs> I, haven't I don't think I've seen all of them. Definitely not in order. So I'm not sure if some of them are ass or not. But oh, the ones yeah, I see are good. We mentioned before, and I forgot to bring it up, was this woman that was complaining about just having to be an adult and have a job and travel like commute she's complaining Look, about i'm on commuting. her team i'm on her side i'm loyal to this woman i understand this woman on a deep level you I'm, do i'm not gonna dunk on her, gonna dunk on her. <laughs> oh really no i think this it's already like horrible how the conservatives all just like ganged up on her when like the rest of the time they're talking about how women aren't built for the nine to five i did too right? i feel her dude like we're not supposed that's to be enough. here and being slaves to get taxed to death and have no life let me like i'm gonna play this for people who may not have seen this let me go i know i'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying but this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college. And I'm in person and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table. Like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work and it, it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here. Like I get on the train at 730 and I don't get home till like 615 earliest. And then like I don't have time to do anything. I don't. I want to shower, eat my dinner, and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like, I don't have energy to work out. Like, that's out the window. Like, 
I'm so upset. Oh my God. Nothing to do with my job at all, but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Being in the office nine to five, like if it was remote, you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine. But like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home. And like, like people that drive to the office, like it doesn't, you don't get off at five. And I know it could be worse. I know I could be working longer, but like, I literally get off. It's pitch black. Like, I don't have energy. How do you have friends? Like, how do you have time to, like, meet, like, a guy? I don't know. Like, how do you have time for, like, dating? Like, I don't have time for anything. And I'm, like, so stressed out. And I'm also getting my period. So that's why I'm all emotional. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite part. I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, I want to know. Girl. He's not wrong. <laughs> Like, she does come off as dramatic and annoying, but her, all of her yeah. points are totally valid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, I think the period is what's making her dramatic and annoying. Like, yeah. That is the, made, like, the way that she's articulating like it. Hmm. Yeah. I you don't know dislike her at all. I heard this, and I, uh, I go, maybe I'm the idiot, because I did that for 15 years, and I, and I didn't have the option not to, because my parents were getting older and they were going to move away and uh it's like yeah of course i couldn't afford to live in manhattan so i lived at home a couple years but then moved in with roommates in brooklyn or astoria i can't i couldn't figure out where this woman what city she was talking about but it's like i worked nine to fives and then i would go do comedy at night and then i would come home like fucking exhausted and i did that for like many years i did that for like 10 15 years and it's like i i just I, I see that video and I go, well, oh, that, that's too bad. I guess you have to just like suck it up or have rich parents or or meet a rich guy. Like I didn't to me at the time during those years. And thank God I got fired for not taking the vax. And that was the only way I was able to like mm -hmm. realize, OK, I don't need a day job anymore. Like I worked, you know, doing YouTube and more comedy and other stuff to make up for it. But like it's not I understand stand this woman but like i it's hard for me to have sympathy because i i did that and sucked it up and it's like i i worked out earlier in the morning then i worked my whole job then i would do open mics for like two three hours then i would get home even later than she gets home if i wanted to see friends or date i would squeeze in a happy hour between after work and before comedy started so to me like I did more than that and I wasn't bitching and on TikTok. So, but maybe I'm the asshole. Like, maybe but if you I had just... TikTok at the time, would you be bitching on it? Maybe. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I would. I think I was really just trying to like grind and do as many Get mics as done. I could. No, you yeah. got to do what you got to do. But also, even just 10, 15 years ago, the rewards for doing mm. a nine to five were actually greater than they are now. And it's only yep. getting worse out there for. Yeah college graduates i understand yeah. like how she feels like you know she's just in the rat race and there's no goal there's no end goal mm -mm. i think i'm with chrissy on the camp that i did the same thing i just worked all the fucking time i had two three jobs always always and then i did my um hosting stuff on the side at night and it was just that was just my life and it sucked and i was fucking tired all the time uh but i'm also and, and you just do you just suck it up and you do it because you have to but then I'm also in the camp of like, that shit's fucking ridiculous. It's so like, I, I still get where she's coming from. It still fucking sucks ass. Just because I did it doesn't mean I like think it was great. It was awful. It's like everyone's thinking it, but she's the one that said it. And that's right. why she's getting, right. she's getting a backlash for you it. Just, you make, you, you make trade-offs because it's like, if you want to work in Manhattan, like let's say Manhattan, for example, and I lived on yeah. Long Island or Brooklyn or Queens, whatever, it's like, you're going to have a commute or again, you have to make that compromise of like okay or i'll live with a bunch of roommates just to ha just to live in manhattan and and be closer okay you're saving on commute but it's less for your quality of life because you're sharing your space with a lot more roommates maybe they're strangers maybe it's i found my fucking roommates on craigslist you know what i mean like i just mm -hmm. i wasn't like oh god i have to work it's like my parents weren't paying for me to live i didn't meet a guy who's gonna pay for all my expenses so the options were like work or starve, you know what I mean? And it, uh, or both, because I did it's that. It's just too. hard. Mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. It's just like, what's okay? What are your options? Like, what are you gonna? So, so you went to college, you have a degree, so it's like it. It probably would behoove you to get a job that uses that degree somewhat, so you don't feel like. And I, no, I don't think it's right to get a degree and then I'm just gonna wait tables because it's like I feel like you should try to 
use but at that degree point waiting tables will make job. you more money it will. than any of the entry you get level, those entry level yeah. college graduates and They're she's like, probably we'll in debt and she probably got a useless degree and has nowhere to use it that mm -hmm. yeah women above water like it's just I, not yeah. viable i kind of wonder what her degree is it's it just out of like probably curiosity. like marketing or something stupid like that i think it right? was marketing yeah <laughs> that's why well, I mean, marketing is better than women's studies but it's i like, can tell yeah. you that much or English. But like that's the right. deal. Like yeah, I mean, when I got to it, but she just probably went to when college. When I graduated that's college, the whole thing that you just do without does. thinking about it now. Yeah, yeah. And when I graduated college, working remotely was not even an option. It was only because mm -hmm. of the pandemic yep. that remote jobs even really became yeah, a thing. That's it, true. I think she um, has more. Like she should be grateful for the fact that remote jobs even exist right now. And that that's an option. And again, if you don't want to, if you can't handle the commute, if you don't want to work nine to five, like you can get a part-time job. You could do, you could do nannying. You could work from home if you really want to. You could start your own business and sell fucking vagina yeast to, you could, you know, make your own soap. I just think like, well, maybe I that. just don't have yeah, sympathy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I lack sympathy because I'm like, I feel like when I was in her position, nobody was like oh no it's so hard you know just just quit you know what i mean like God, yeah i'm the same with, over here. i'm it's the so same as easier. you christy christy uh christy because it's just um it's it's frustrating because i think we grew up in a different generation of like the not tiktok we, we're, we were the generation of like you know you got to pull up your fucking bootstraps and get to work like it doesn't there's nobody gonna fix shit for you and like i mean i did the commute thing and the commute thing is a bitch like it's like because that takes it out of you like so hard um even when you're like when you're driving even in your own car like it's just mm -hmm. like sitting on the highway like it's a waste of time you're wasting the whole time it it takes it so much out of you mm -hmm. but you know i wasn't one of those i didn't have the TikTok option to like sit in my car and cry like while i was sitting in traffic like oh my okay, God, maybe I that's why i like that. this girls because like i am in the we'll just fix it for you generation and i'm the whiny TikTok gen z baby <laughs> are, maybe, are maybe that's you why I and, and, and i see what she's complaining about and i go here are solutions you don't think you have time to work out yes you do wake up at 5 30 6 in the morning We're, go, join a gym that's close to your day job Work out at that gym, shower, then go to your job. Oh, I don't have time to date. Yeah, go to happy or hour or like, or, or, or like, you know, if you take a lunch outside, like you can meet somebody on your lunch hour, but like do those happy hours right after work, that five to 7 p.m., you can meet a lot of people in that time frame. And then, yeah, your, your compromise is you're not going to go home and cook. Like that's the thing you're probably going to. Well, but also you can meal prep. That's like, I can't yeah. even begin to tell you how fucking mm -hmm. useful meal prepping is. Cause then you, you prep for four days and you go home and you just heat up your dinner. It's already done and it's healthy. It's, it, it, I can't, it's do it on Sunday night and you're good for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. And, and I'm guessing too, is like the other thing I'm guessing is like, she doesn't have any kids. Um, and like, you know, I know that like, you know, my mom did it as a single mom and she raised me and like, you know, when she was doing nine to five, you know, it, that, that's why I'm kind of like, okay, like lady, like welcome to adulting. Okay. Like, it's yes. like this is what adults do. They it's live their the lives. World. It's the real world. And it's not like people, things are just not going to be handed to you. And like, I think I have a very unpopular are... opinion about this. I Wait think more us. Gen Z realize that this is all a setup and they set it up this way to torture us and it shouldn't be like this, but they make it this way. And then we have to give them all of our fucking money and we're basically slaves. We get taxed on everything and it's not mm. what we were supposed to be for. Like you're not supposed to go home when it's dark and not see sunlight mm -hmm. or go outside or do anything and just sit in an office like that That's is true. bullshit and they set it up that way and i don't like it at all no, so right. i get where they're coming yeah. from with that because it's not supposed to be like this you're not supposed to just work till you die and not really have a life but you know you got to work for them she's to in give that brief, money. She's so. in brief period of hope <laughs> like that like you have a i forget you i forget about that little bit of hope i had right after i graduated college but before like the working the realize the work <laughs> yeah like, wow i could be anything you're like no no you can't <laughs> enjoy enjoy your day job and uh 
I guess, yeah, it's hard for me to like look what she's complaining about. Like, no, but here's solutions. Like, you can you can squeeze in dating, mm -hmm. you can squeeze in working, you can work it well, on your lunch least hour. You're if you not like, you could, like one of the people in the replies saying, just marry an ugly guy who's like who has a, a well, trade job. Like, Mary, yeah. Mary, that's a great point too, because I saw a whole bunch of people in the chat being like, oh, she just needs a sugar daddy and blah blah blah. And I'm like, yeah, no, this is no, why no. it's no. actually kind of annoying when dudes mm -hmm. like say. Like, like that do you because... just see yourself as a bank account, like in a wallet for yeah, women? Right. Or like that's right. kind of self-deprecating, honestly. But like, then you also say that about yourself as a man. But then also, let's say she was, because that's why everybody makes fun of OnlyFans girls, because that's what they're doing, right? Uh -huh. They're going and not doing the nine to five, and they're going to, you know, putting mm -hmm. themselves online and you know making way more money than she probably ever is. Both of those things will wear on you in their own different ways. Right. But it's like it's just weird how they're like the people judge this girl for being like, oh, like, why don't you just go get a sugar daddy or doing whatever? But at the same time, they'll be shaming the girls who are getting yeah. sugar daddies and being like, oh, what a hole. Like, but they're also shaming the girls who are doing the corporate nine to five thing. And it's like you literally can't win. Yeah. Well, I don't know who it's said it. They said like if she had a MAGA hat on and was conservative and was saying it in a different way, they would be like <laughs> oh, on her side. That's funny. I don't oh remember who God, said that. Right. Someone said that. Yeah. Like that's I can't funny. remember who it was. You're though. probably right. But what are your that. options? What are your options to marry a rich guy, yeah. to have a rich family who pays for your shit, or to grind it out in some kind of nine and five, or be industrious enough to like write, maybe start your own business, do some sort of creative thing where you make your own hours or you do a combination of a, a few yeah. different jobs but like i can't think of any other options other like than like going that, to college is just such four. a mistake for so many people mm -hmm. and i'm so proud of and glad that i am a college dropout forever forever will be i know that takes balls yeah. i wish i had the balls to drop out of college are you kidding me i was like my parents are going to but it's not just balls though because like my parents did I never support went. me <laughs> hmm not I just never went to that. college because I was I I I was like yeah. the you know the life path or whatever like the the game life, and it's like <laughs> oh you can go to college or you can go to like the career path. I was like I'm going to the career path right away. Like I don't I don't need to go because I didn't know what I wanted to be either, Mary. And I was like, what's the point of me getting into debt when I don't know what I want to do, and I'm just gonna go mm. and like just hang out in school and just be in debt for like something I'm not even passionate yeah. about. So I just didn't go. I just did the work thing instead. Did the but now it's like, do you either go to college in. or the brothel? <laughs> <laughs> like, why is that the... I think I would pick college over yes, like the they bunny did. Land, though, for sure. The brothel yeah. girls, the brothel girls probably a major in human relations. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Are they in oh, college you, there? Zito. I don't know. I only seen like I seen a show about that brothel before a while ago when they had like some weird show on HBO or some shit. Oh, really? And it looked dingy as fuck. Like it Ugh. looked nasty in there and shit. Wait, you mean know. the bunny the guy ranch, was right? Nasty oh. looking and weird. There's another spot and called the Chicken Ranch. Oh, okay. Which is also a legal brothel. Oh my god. Thank you, Zia. Yeah, it was like on boy. HBO or something. It was gross. These dudes, like, oh my god, I honestly ah, turn it off. <laughs> Make it oh, hey, Zato, thanks for the super chat. Thanks to the pink boy. What does one do when a certain roommate keeps leaving a doo doo on the toilet seat, though? You smack uh, him in the face with a rolled up newspaper and say, Bad, bad roommate. Take the I toilet seat you. off and only put it on when you use it. You I would take it on it. No. I would take a picture it and I would unwrap. Oh, that's gross. I would take a picture. I would send it to all my roommates and be like, who fucking did this? Yeah. <laughs> or that. That might be easier. And that's shaming. It's only yeah. the one. It's only if it's only you only if you only have one roommate, I would just leave it for as long as you can and see if they clean it up. But if you have multiple roommates, take a picture of it, put it in a group chat and be like, who fucking did this? Uh, shaming works. Gross. I think the shaming, shaming is the best thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> Some oh. men aren't shamed very easily. That's Especially true. with shit like that. They don't. That they'll be unfazed. True. That is gross. Um, I feel like Anna's <laughs> done that to someone. Have you done that to someone, Anna? The saran wrap? Yeah. 
Yeah, I grew up in a house with a bunch of siblings. Yeah, <laughs> Anna had like such a mysterious yeah. smile. On her yeah. face. Like, of course. If you need to like, get back at someone in a prank like way, I know every single way. <laughs> oh my God. I knew it. Wow. From the squid, I do feel bad that she fell for the college scam. Nobody needs to go to college unless the degree you're working towards will actually pay off. Most degrees are used. Mm -hmm. BS. Yeah. I guess I kind of agree with that. Yeah, unless you definitely want to be a nurse. You definitely want to be a lawyer mm -hmm. um, to go just because it's the thing everyone does. It's a very expensive gamble. You need to, be a to go to college to be a lawyer. Anyone can go and take the bar. True. Just watch YouTube. Yeah. Just watch Nick Ricada. Yeah. Just watch. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think it depends on which Thank state you're I feel a little sympathy for the girl, but wait until she learns how many men work 12 plus hours a day up to seven days a week to make ends meet. Maybe it's how I was raised. I was taught to do what it takes. And I agree with squid right here. Like I, yeah. uh, my dad men are built to work. Fucking... Women are built to lay around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But not everyone can afford to lay around. Are they? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't think I, I was ever built to lay around their asses off so i just i'm uh, just joking i'm exaggerating obviously but but men are more able to cope with that type of work than, than do you women. guys think that if she like loved her job she was so excited like she woke up in the morning and was so excited to like work she would have made that video no well, she kind of said it though she was like it's not my job it's not my yeah. job i love my job she like it's the she commute, was i think that got her it's, yeah i think it's the commute and i can feel it because mm -hmm. i know the commute really fucks you it up. wastes a lot of time like yeah. by the time you get home and you're so tired if you're in traffic yeah. and shit it sucks you're done and it does take a toll on your relationships too like my husband mm -hmm. and i were like having fights all the time when i would get home because like this that that was my schedule like i would wake up at like six seven in the morning get into traffic come back home by like 10 p.m like because mm -hmm. that's how like you know like my day would end at 10 like it wasn't like nine to five like it was like you you go all day and then the traffic just adds on like hours and hours to your to your life and to your work and it's just like and then you have like mm -hmm. literally no time to spend with each other or watch movies or like just do mm -hmm. anything really like you're just you're just sleeping and then you're waking up and doing it all over again. And it's freaking depressing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when I first started dating Frank, like I would be getting like, we didn't live together yet, yet, obviously, but I would, my typical day would be like, get up, go to work, work the whole day. And then you're out doing mics and I wouldn't get home till maybe anywhere from midnight to like 2 AM sometimes. So there'd be mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't, I would see him maybe like once a week for several years. And it was even when we moved in together, I still had that schedule. It's like, you got to, go out and do spots and i also had to have a fucking day job so mm -hmm. and uh i don't know i just i didn't have another option so mm -hmm. well one I, of my then, options you know, was it, to move and i did mm -hmm. i was like i'm getting out of here like life is too expensive like that was one of the th that's that was one of the things that i decided to move for because it was just like too expensive to live pay rent and do all the things that i was doing just for like bare minimum like and i was like making and just barely making ends meet with all that work mm -hmm. and i was like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna go live in mexico and <laughs> well, I live a lot better now. I can tell you that. that is depressing when you have to work just to like eat and have a house. Like, uh, yeah, it is. everything. It was. It was fucking depressing. Yeah, I'm kind of with Lee. I'm, 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 I'm in the middle because I understand working hard and you just got to do what you got to do. And I've done it. I've done it for fucking years. I've never not had so many jobs. I've never just had one job in my life ever. And you I bust even your ass, like. Yeah, like you, you work so much. And and then and I love what I do, so it makes it fine, you know. Now, but but then I am also with Leanne in the camp of like, there's no reason for it to be set up this way. Life is so mm -hmm. fucking short, and you really mm -hmm. want to spend it working 12 hours a day where you don't see sunlight, and you get out late at night, and you get up and you go to work, and that's your whole life until you retire at 65. And if you're lucky, mm -hmm. you live to 70, maybe 75. So you get five or 10 years where you can maybe kind of be retired, uh, and and hope you get to do some stuff but by then you're fucking old so you can't actually enjoy doing anything like it's a fucked up system and I don't to know your how to point, fix it. yeah 
And to your point, mm-hmm. Zia, that, right. that's, the, that's the other thing. Like in this Bidenomics or today's economy, you're not even getting pension anymore. No, exactly. Most mm-hmm. of these people are like basically getting no pension. That and we're then paying like, into and they're just stealing it. And then they're just stealing it. You're never going to get yeah. paid out like ever. Mm-hmm. And we're already get getting old. what Leanne said too. Same thing of getting tax. Like I get real worked up about taxes and I need to calm myself mm-hmm. right down by now. But it's like we get taxed on the money that we make. Then we get taxed on the money. <laughs> what we spend our money on that we've already been taxed on the money and then we get fucking property taxes on something that we bought that we already got fucking taxed on like taxes Mm -hmm. it's it's absolutely insane it's fucking straight up thievery like i wouldn't theft yeah it's It's a scam working so much they weren't (laughs) taking fucking 30 to 40 percent of my money Mm -hmm. in taxes like go fuck yourself it's crazy it's crazy everyone should stop paying taxes Everyone, we all can't arrest it. us all. That would yeah, be right. Fan- I'd jump right I the fuck on anything. that bandwagon. Oh, me too. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> fuck that. Hope you guys There's are living it up, you know. Ukraine. Hope you guys are enjoying our tax dollars. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's not even going to anything good for us. No, of course <laughs> yeah. not. The fuck are we getting no? i read the, the other day i read something that i was like i don't know if it's true or not because you know how like you hear like you read all these little factoids everywhere but you don't know if it's actually true or not uh actually britney venti shared it and i was like what the fuck is this true and it said like <laughs> um that like y- your tax dollars are going to like israel to give them free health care because apparently yes. israel has free health care but oh. you guys, like, nobody in America has any fucking healthcare. Like, of you know, course. It's oh, crazy. Of I was like, what? Healthcare. That's what I told liberals before, and I get in arguments with them. They're like, we want socialism, and they bring up all these countries. I'm like, yeah, we pay for their defense. That's why they can afford to have healthcare for free <laughs> because we're paying for their defense. Like, what do you mean? You know what our taxes also go for? The illegals that come. Uh, now I sound like a yeah. grandma. But the like, illegals. That's why we, don't have healthcare. we pay they for get everyone fucking, else's. They get phones. They get clothes and they get bank cards, which our tax so money weird. goes towards them getting like literally like Visa gift cards uh, or whatever money on cards that they can just like spend. You're right. No, not us though. Yeah. All right. It's, yeah. it's weird no, because yeah. I kind of I feel that girl too, and like I feel what you're saying, Leanne, because it's like that's kind of like what they were selling about the American dream, right? Like the American dream was supposed to be like you have a job, it's a great one. You you know you you start at nine, you end at five, and then you go home to your happy family, and like you know everything is like fucking fine and hunky dory, and that's not the way things are going, and it hasn't been for a really long time, and it's getting worse and worse. So I can yeah, understand. they're working towards nothing. To yeah, just the young generation, man. Food, I, I feel much. for Oh, them. yeah. My parents, my dad was a fucking landscaper, okay? And my mom didn't even get a job till I was in first grade. And there was I was the third kid, so there's three of us. So he made maybe 30K a year. They were able to buy a house just off mm-hmm. that one salary. And then eventually mm, yeah. my mom yeah. got a job. And then my dad i just learned the other day how he got his teamster job the teamster jobs are so hard to get because it's all about who you know it's a union it's very hardcore to get into and like he had he realized i think he was like in his 40s he realized shit like how how many more years can I actually like climb up trees mm-hmm. for uh like he was, was in great shape but he just realized i can't keep doing this and uh he would go and show up he would like drive into the city every day and just basically show up you know how like day laborers hang outside home depot like he would drive mm-hmm. in and show up for like movie work and then they they just were like saying no 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 like who do you know mm-hmm. you don't know anybody and then he finally started offering like the teamster captains like free tree work and that's actually how he got in to the union and then they like they gave him a chance and he showed up on time and he had a truck driving license and like and it's grueling you're working like 12 14 16 hour days sometimes but he just like worked his balls off to put the three of us through college and uh, i just was like and my dad's not like wasn't like a social butterfly Mm -hmm. like he he didn't have like great social skills and like so but he used what he had to get ahead i just thought that was like a really cool thing i guess that's why i don't feel bad for this girl because i'm just like Mm -hmm. all right well either that or sell butthole pics you know yeah (laughs) you got a a butthole you got a camera (laughs) just go on the feet thing you don't even have to show your face or nothing Yeah, you don't yeah. have to show uh, show your face to sell panties either. There are like entire websites dedicated mm-hmm. to that, and you can just show like body pics. 
Wow. Yeah. I can't sell yeah. things like that. Like I can't imagine someone like having that, like opening, like what are you doing with it exactly? They're smelling like, are you it wearing and putting it, it on are their face. They smell spells it and put it, it on their face and they taste it. Oh god, no, I definitely I'd rather them do spells with it then. I've seen pictures <laughs> like, <of that. laughs> like no. <laughs> Oh my God, no, I can't do it. I would no, sell means- an underpant, I think, before like a nude. I think if I was, well, shoot, but you don't know if they could scrape your DNA off and make, like, recreate you in a I lab mean, you or just something. Send them clean and just say, yeah, we never do that. Yeah. I was but- watching like some show that like came up on YouTube, and this girl was talking about how she sells her sweaty socks. Yeah. And like, she has to wear these socks for like a week and like, people buy it. Yeah, and then she sent it to the guy for like three grand. I was like, "What? No, yeah, like, what the fuck are you gonna do with sw- I, you know, I yeah. don't. Know. Well, I thought oh. it was weird that that guy that asked me for a used tampon, like, oh. before. I oh think my, the oh my god. god! Yeah, I know it's really disgusting. It's so oh. weird. He says, uh, but I think that <laughs> might be. I think the vagina beer might be worse because it's like you're going to get a pap smear and then they're putting it in there and distributing it i i don't know that's people are weird like what do you want with it like what are you doing with that i don't understand it's none of my business you buy it i'll send it uh holy hell it's like a topographical map in here what do you mean by that i don't know maybe he's just trying out bits (laughs) Nick, I still have to listen to your set. I promised I'd give him feedback. Uh, James Shirt. It remember was so whoever racist. pays for the healthcare. Oh, I can't wait to listen. Uh, remember, Short. whoever pays for the healthcare makes the decisions. That's why Canada and the Netherlands have state-sponsored euthanasia. It's cheaper. Ugh. Aren't they introducing that into our country now? Are they? Are they? Maybe starting in California, and I watch yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> My governor, not my governor. He it's Minnesota, uh, just, actually. I thought it would be Cali, too. Twitter, China, so he's getting a lot of notes from him. Yay. Oh, shit. I know. Really? They're starting in Minnesota? That's what <laughs> Nick is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, boy. He's going to go suicide himself. <laughs> oh, thank you, James Sharp. Let me blow through a couple of these. <laughs> Yellow boys uh, from old nerdy. We go to school to graduate and we go to work in a nine to five. School doesn't teach you how to get rich and break out of the system. It's a rat race that's impossible to break out of. Mm-hmm. That I agree with. Yep. Yeah. If they taught you actual life skills, well, didn't like, like how to Rockefeller make money, say they just wanted workers? Yes. If they if they taught like you that. how to make money in real estate, how to work for yourself, how to make an actual income that you can live off of. It would be a different story, but they just yeah. teach you how to work and be in debt. Well, yeah. I also think that depends on what class you do. for eight hours. That's true, Anna, because you went to art school and you're using your degree. Like everything you learned was very practical and skill well, and trade I, I take certain classes to make sure. So I they make you take like a business class. So that way, if you have to work with a gallery and how to price your paintings and how to sell it, how to set up online stores. I well, I think I was like flashcast, but before someone was asking me if my thumbnails are AI, but I'm like, no, I, I know how to do Photoshop so I can make whatever I want just instantly. So, I mean, yeah, that's like a good skill to have. I wish I could do that shit. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not very difficult. You just have to learn how to use a program. And mm-hmm. I, I was like, I need to know these certain things because if you know how to do 3D modeling or UV mapping or even rigging, you can get a job for any AAA gaming company or work freelance. So it mm-hmm. I honestly think it depends on the person, on if you have a set of skills, how you utilize the skills. And unfortunately, a lot of people just aren't bright enough to utilize themselves to the full potential. So when I see like that girl crying about it, I'm like... Okay, but you could be doing so much on your commute. Like, you could be reading. Yes! Thank yeah. you. Not, well, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about stuff that I would do. I would listen to audiobooks, and I would draw everyone yep. around. You know, and you can listen to podcasts. You can, like, if you really want to start a business, you can, like, 
listen and read things that are that get you closer to your goal. Like use that time. If you're driving, you can listen to stuff in your car. If you're on a train, you can have a laptop. You can be doing work the whole commute. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm just, it really depends on how you utilize your time. And I think a lot of people don't know anything about time management. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially the new generation. Of course, if you're sitting on a train, like looking forlorn out the window, you're going to feel suicidal. But it's like, no, use that <laughs> time. Uh, pro be proactive. Wait, wasn't be that better if you were staring out the window blindness or something? Like her employer wasn't like looking into her time blindness cause, so she can be late because she oh doesn't like keep track of time or can't or something. It was very bizarre, but she got fucking roasted probably more than this girl was. Wait, it was what? like the video where the girl it. says that her ADHD makes her forget yeah, to shower. The time. Yeah. Oh, sure. She like forgets what? to brush her teeth and stuff. Like, are you even human? Yeah, like she had luck. like time blindness and she shouldn't get in trouble for being late because she has no. ADHD or something. And oh, that's pretty bad ADHD. ADHD. And I've never forgotten to shower or brush my teeth. Yeah. yeah. yeah it doesn't what? make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, I didn't see this one. This mm. is gross. Like, I'm time blind. <laughs> oh, yeah. And being on time <laughs> is also racist. Are they still I, saying that? I was too? just going to say, um, I don't mean to be racist, but I live in Mexico and everyone here is time blind. I, mm. can, I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> late all yes, the time. <laughs> <laughs> one. Yeah, I right. One mildly racist joke in it. Well, that's not the enough. The entire thing is racist. The best <laughs> one was um, when he's like making fun of Lila because he was like reluctantly making fun of Lila Hart. And then he goes and then somebody said to him um, like something about Lila. And then he she was like, oh, you wouldn't you wouldn't say that if she was black. And he goes, if she was black, she'd be taller. And I fucking lost my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That is funny. He is funny. Oh, my God. You're funny, Nick. Okay. <laughs> okay, couple more. So uh, oh one, I don't like my job, but I like the I like I work okay, but I like I work the weekend twelve hours and get paid for forty and get all week off. That works for me. Zia, you look beautiful and hi ghost girl Nina. Love hi. your Friday show. Hi, hi. Saw. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Saw. You. That's so Love much better story. if you like your job. Yeah, that oh, makes yeah. a huge difference. Like, I don't mind working all the time if I fucking love it, you know? Mm hmm Ash For Elizabeth, sure. I work 24-hour shifts and sometimes every other day. I absolutely love my career, but I feel her that the commute sucks. It can be exhausting. Good discussion mm -hmm. with all you beautiful ladies. Thanks, Ash Elizabeth. <laughs> Ashley works so hard, and she's still, like, so fucking sweet and positive and ugh, amazing. Party boy Birdo, I... It, if I never went to college, I wouldn't have gone to protest. Oh, same for me. Same. I did the same thing. Oh, my God. I didn't. I, I was even. a fucking true liberal in Vancouver. I was like, I'm going to oh, protest. Wow. I've never been to <laughs> I went to single protest in my entire life. I went to I went to protest in, in college. I didn't even know what the fuck I was protesting. I just knew there were two <laughs> boys there. Oh, no, I knew. it was. Are you joking or are you serious? Like, what were you protesting? I, I, uh, one time we took a van, the Students for Social Justice Club took a van. We drove it. That sounds like a many fake hours. <laughs> yeah, we drove it. Justice. We protested the School of the Americas, which was a military base in somewhere in Georgia. And it was like hmm. this big, okay. uh, like big protest. And people were like climbing the walls and getting arrested and they were just like, it was like, war is bad. <laughs> like, guns are concert. bad. Yeah, like, true. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I remember I went to the Iraq war um, protests, like, right after, like, when the invasion happened. Same with Afghanistan. I feel like protests were fun yeah. back then, though. I just remember, so I was, when I was in college, I was in San Francisco, and it's like the campus was spread out all throughout downtown, and there'd be a protest every goddamn day. <laughs> like, and I'm like, my class is right there. I can see the building. I'm not waiting for these motherfuckers <laughs> complaining about whatever the fuck they're complaining about to, like, <laughs> slug, slug down the street. <laughs> 
just run through them and they would get so mad at me and I just didn't care I'm like somebody please just hit them with their cars like they <laughs> That's why I was in D.C. because I always used to go there and they're always protesting outside of the fucking White House and all this. I'm like, can you just get the fuck out of the way? Like every day with this shit. Like no, every day. Like BLM, BLM started and they blocked off the freeway. So to get out of San Francisco, there's only three bridges. There's the Golden Gate, there's the Bay Bridge, and then there's the other one that you got to go all the way down to the end of the peninsula to get to. And they blocked off the Bay Bridge. And I'm like... There could be people like that have children in the car. There could be somebody that's pregnant. You're blocking all of the buses. And I'm like that. I get that you're passionate about whatever the fuck you're passionate about, but like that's fucked up. Like yeah, it is. In the the people that run them over now, like the recent one, that shit is hilarious. Like, <laughs> didn't something like that happen where they, it was a BLM protest and they were blocking off the freeway and someone died in an ambulance because they couldn't get through yeah. the oh, yeah. hospital? <gasps> yeah. yeah. Like, go fuck yourself. Oh, there was a bunch that, like, a bunch of people, like, died because they, they blocked off the ambulance and they couldn't get through. Mm -hmm. Well, at least, like, oh, the damn. truckers, they left, like, a lane for emergency vehicles. But when they did it in San Francisco, because everyone has to be able to get out of the city on those bridges. And so it cr created complete deadlock on every single street. And San Francisco is very small. It's only seven miles by seven miles. So any ambulance in the city that just needed to take someone a few blocks up a hill was in gridlock traffic. So a lot of people died. It was fucked up. Wow. That's fucked up. Yeah, if you block traffic, I think you're going to lose support for your cause more than yeah, anything. Like you're not helping yourself doing shit like that. And you just annoy people. So yeah. they hate you and your cause after that. Yeah. I think people it's not very smart. <clears throat> like the environmental, like mm -hmm. they put the mental in the environmental. Uh, where they're like fucking yeah. putting like no, oil all over the paintings so and shit. Yeah. Yes. No, they're like throwing like a Campbell's soup or like, like some, some shit bullshit like, that. like that. There was a new one where they like they ruined the archway from in London or whatever. I've seen like, that. What so the mad. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Like that nobody likes you. No. And no nothing mm -mm. you're doing is helping your cause. Like everything. Yeah, what is it helping? Is destroying arresting. art and shit. Like wh why? There are a lot of random like, things. Like I, I went to Princeton yesterday and there were the pro-Palestine uh, protesters in the street, like a bunch of them. And there were like three people from the Israel side on the other side holding signs and then like 50 on the other side. And I just, I was sitting there, I'm like, what are you accomplishing that you're protesting here that's going to mm. make a difference in the all the way over there? Like, what is this right. doing? I don't even understand Nothing. the point of this. It's getting them points on they Twitter. Care. Yes, yeah, yeah, getting them attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make them looking. feel like they're on the uh, right from side Valley, of history. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. From Valley Law, no, you need several years of working for a lawyer to sit for baby bar. Not anyone could take the baby bar slash bar. I bachelored in accounting and became a CPA and paid my way through law school easily. Wow. Good. For I think you. it depends on which state you're in, too. Maybe it does. True. Yeah. A rap a task. Uh, I work a repetitive job for 10 hours a day and make sure I can go to the gym, cook, and socialize. It's hard, but it's not impossible. Yep. You got to yeah, just make it work. You can because you can. You're right. You can like get up and like I used to get up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym because I was a fucking nut. Um, and then you, you know, you you meal prep and then you socialize on the weekends. It does suck, but you can yeah. do it. Yeah. Anything is possible. Da, 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 from the squid. Uh, what was required for you to graduate high school? My school required a personal finance class that taught us how to do taxes, utilize the right kind of debt, or stay out of it. I heard most schools don't offer it. My school I've didn't. never even heard mm -hmm. of that. No, no that's amazing. That? Yeah, that's awesome. That's what right. they need to be teaching in all the schools. So when did you graduate, Squid? Yeah. 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 Good that's question. a good question. Was it back in the 50s? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the United oh States? Personal <laughs> finance say, class in high school right i think Never i have like a it. personal finance elective but it, it should have been required it should have been mandatory for everyone i yeah. wish it was huh. yep yeah i, I didn't know. know shit about somebody, like you money. have to learn how to do taxes mm -hmm. like by yourself mm -hmm. you should learn about taxes yep mm -hmm. yep you should also learn how, about debt too that's so important because yeah jesus christ the and good debt because i've been I've, I've got someone bought me this 
pumped to start reading it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Robert Kiyosaki, Ooh, he talks I've all the time. Heard about that book. He talk, I listen to his podcast and he mm -hmm. talks all the time about how you get yourself into debt, but that makes you a fuck ton of money. Like you leverage debt to just make money. And this man that has so much money, it's insane. But he pays, he legally pays so little in taxes because he found the loopholes. And so much of that is working with debt. I'm trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. There are a lot of resources, but now we have like, are there pictures the in that book? Is he shirtless <laughs> anywhere? <laughs> Robert okay. Kiyosaki. No. Disappointed. <laughs> is that is, maybe that's the sequel, Rich Dilf, Poor Dilf. <laughs> <laughs> He's more like a gilf at this point. Oof. Oh, boo. <laughs> yeah, he needs uh, to hey, make Neo. that for Bidenomics. So it'll be like poor dad and poor er, er dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know and, the and thing. Poverty, poverty dad. Uh, yeah. One of my friends who wasn't sure what he wanted to do in life wound up joining the Air Force and is now a retired major living off his pension in his RV, enjoying single life, doing whatever he, he wants. Mm. That's awesome. Good for him. Yeah, a lot of my he friends like did join low, the Army. <clears throat> he sounds like a low maintenance king. Uh, Jacob <laughs> Rotten, Anna is right. If you learn Adobe stuff like Photoshop or video editing, you have a job. Happy Halloween. Yep. Thanks, hey, Useful shit. That's why I'm like, I wonder what her degree is in, like fucking feminism or some shit. Like, okay. I mean, she could probably a... get a degree, a like, job in Disney, though, with that. This is shocking. Squid graduated in 2011. Oh. Hmm. Well, fuck high school. Oh, did you go to? God. Damn. America, now, where do you live, I Squid? They're so teaching you that. Yeah, That's like Japan or something. Like, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, wait, he's paying in American dollars, so he's in the U United hmm. States. Hmm. Dang. He's I don't know about you guys. Right I fucked around so much in high school. I was like, what can I get away with? Because I knew I was going to art school, and I'm like, I don't need to do any of this. And still to this mm -hmm. day, I haven't used most of the stuff. So when we had to write a resume, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I wrote it like I was applying for Starfleet. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my you're such a nerd. I love you. <laughs> that is so good. And, uh, really? And it and worked. Oh, yeah. I mean, it did. Oh my god, that's amazing. Do you remember everything so that you wrote? <laughs> do, you, yeah, do you have it? Can you send me a copy? Well, it was just <laughs> you have to do to qualify for like Starfleet and then what your career path would be from then. It's like one of those easy fill in the blank kind of things. And he, all you had to do was he wrote down the questions you had to answer on the board. And I just did that. <laughs> you have to give a presentation on it. And so I did that. And then he was like, okay, well, that's not the real career. I was like, says who? Uh, but then he made me do one that had to be a real career based off it. So r right there off the bat, I was like, okay, well then here's how to be an astronaut. Oh, okay. So you like turned yeah. it into, that's pretty good. You can't be, because you have to be, if you're a woman, you have to be at least five, six, which is stupid. It's like, you would think oh. they would, the smallest people ever to <laughs> those spaceships, right? But no, it's like mm -hmm. five, six. I'm like, why? That's tough for a woman. Six. Damn it. I know. And then, you know, so, you know I think so. <laughs> five, six is also the minimum uh, requirement to be a rocket. It's also you, for I, Disney princesses at the theme parks. How rude. Think. Really? What the hell? Oh, this is like Titus. Industry standard. Yeah. It is. I feel, like, I feel like attacked. Fuck. My first job was I was a uh, tour guide at Radio City Music Hall and I had to learn like I had to memorize like this thick of a pamphlet about everything about Radio City Music Hall and like that's when I learned the Rockettes uh, they go from like the tallest in the middle and they the, and they do like increasingly shorter but they all look like the mm -hmm. same height but it's just because of how they're ordered and they're all from between five six and five ten and a half and that's like wow I mean look at look how many I look as Princess Jasmine. You're telling me that they wouldn't hire me because I'm 5'3? I'd be like, no, because you, you have, have to, to wear lifts like Ron DeSantis. Oh, <laughs> <shit. Yeah. laughs> Damn. I didn't know Ron you DeSantis know was yeah, Minnie Mouse. Because Minnie Mouse. Didn't know. I didn't know he I was know. a short king. Oh my God. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> short king. Minnie Mouse, huh? <laughs> I don't know, Mouse. I yeah, like Russell Hall. It's like the old saying: if they scrape the bed while you're doing doggy, just switch to missionary. I have never heard that saying. <laughs> Me neither. What? I think, I think Russell Russell only you heard, heard that, that saying. Yeah. Russell. <laughs> Russell made that saying up. <laughs> like what? Yeah. No, Russell was told a that by a man last night. It was probably stolen by a cannibal who put it on a pizza. Okay, gross. I think he's talking about her nipple. Yeah. 
Ew. Oh, yes. Ew. I thought he was talking about pineapple. Oh, yes. <laughs> Some of these are from the nipple <laughs> portion of the show. Oh, Ride no. the guy. So when is someone going to invent gray sweatpants with a built-in bulge? I hey, I think it's yeah, it's past due for that. How about I'd something for the gents? You could probably find it on Amazon. Yeah, bulge <laughs> for a Halloween costume. Something on yeah, there. The gays would would buy those up in an instant. Yeah. The range lunatic. Do you see Cecil's full body costume the other night on the Jack what? Show? It was creepy as hell. I did not see it. No, I didn't. Hmm. What was it, Anna? I did she had to go somewhere. She went somewhere. She has diarrhea. Um, let's <laughs> go to Cloth Swiss. You'd better be taking care of yourself, Chrissy. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do people mean when they say that? They like, could you break it off? Pregnant. Like, don't eat sushi, well, I, don't have coffee. I, okay. Do you break some of the okay, rules? I have, I have, um, don't tell us think? if you do, because people will judge. I, oh, I, never mind. Yeah, I, 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 never no, mind. No, I, no. <laughs> probably, technically, probably technically no, because I'm reading a, a lot of, like, old school books and then, like, newer, more, like, kind of revised books about it. And they, they say you can have one drink a day. I'm not drinking at all. Uh, mm. Like... Uh, and and like they say you can have uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine a day i just have like one real cup a day if that you know a lot of days I'll i've heard like you can have stuff. wine like i've heard I it's, was gonna it's say okay that to have red wine, wine or something i've heard yeah. that too yeah like a glass of wine is supposed to be okay yeah, yeah. that's what i heard but i'm not having sushi know. i'm not having soft cheese i'm not having like soft serve ice cream um wait, wait you can't have soft ice cream what, ice cream? what? Why? Because they're worried about Lesperia. But you can have regular ice cream. What's the difference? That's a little bit too far. Weird. That's weird. I know. They're worried about the cleanliness of the machines that it comes out of. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We know the McDonald's workers don't be cleaning that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. And you can't have you you can't have cold cuts. But if you do, you have to heat them up in a microwave. Which is Ew. fucking ridiculous. Ew. I'm not going to be throwing turkey, sliced turkey in the no. microwave. That's, uh, that's, that's fucking gross. Ew. And they say you sort of watch that? your tuna. Like watch your tuna salad. Or like don't no. have too much tuna. Um, that's disgusting. Cool. If you put turkey, deli turkey in the microwave, you're a psychopath. Like, that's weird. The, the hardest thing has been coffee, <laughs> and the and the other hard, hardest thing has been in working out to make sure your heart rate doesn't go above one hundred and fifty beats per minute. Mm. Because if that your heart rate like goes tough, if your if your heart rate goes faster than that, then the baby will be gay. Oh, so. we don't oh, want that. that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just don't <laughs> want you because your heart is all. I just want to see if you guys would believe me. Uh, your heart is already working so much harder because there's your, your heart's pumping like a lot more blood and just working harder. So the other annoying thing is like lifting weights. Like uh, my doctor said, don't lift more than 10 pounds. But I, I kind of mm. feel like that's bullshit because like 10 pounds is nothing. Some, like pregnant female bodybuilders. And yeah, they can lift I've also really read heavy. like hmm. I've also read like do what you were doing before you got pregnant in terms of working out like yeah and mm -hmm. I'm I'm not so I've big yet where I really have to make a ton of revisions but I think if, if women who don't know they're hurt, pregnant until they give birth can give birth to healthy babies yeah like pretty much fine no matter what you do yeah my mm -hmm. sister definitely did cocaine when she was pregnant with for like the first month that she was pregnant but with my wow. but she got so much done she did the nursery in a flash and, oh, yeah she got yeah she got so much done she yeah she definitely because she didn't know she was pregnant for like the first six mm -hmm. weeks and she was fucking partying hard and my niece is like super smart she speaks two languages she's fucking a little a little gem of a creature I think they see wow. that like before seven weeks, drinking alcohol doesn't affect. Yes, the baby. That, makes so lot of that is exactly wow. because it, it's the most damaging if you drink between seven and 12 weeks. But if you drink before seven weeks, it's like mm -hmm. basically an all or nothing situation where if like if you drink so much and you don't know you're pregnant, it's basically like the 
the the kid will see it, its way out. You know what I mean? Like if it's so much, but if it hangs in there for that time, mm-hmm. it, I think during that time, the cells are just deciding to stay together. And then the fine tuning and the organs and the brain like is created a little bit later. But they said, yeah, most damaging between seven and 12 weeks. And they'll be like really good at beer pong and shit when they're older. Yes. Excellent balance. <laughs> yeah. Um, they'll be fine. Yes. But like, uh, I, what, from what I've been reading and all the moms I talked to, they working out helps have an, it helps you have an easier birth. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's just, I don't know, better to be strong. I guess. Are you still going to film it when you have like a big belly and you're still working out? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's Good. inspiring. I, I, there's a pregnant chick at, who's a trainer at my gym who's due like next month, anytime who who still does all the workouts my sister-in-law uh, JB, did it up to like nine months when she was like because she's a yeah she was bikram yoga instructor she was <gasps> wow like she in, was doing bikram pregnant yeah oh yeah Damn. yeah nine months like and right up to giving birth basically that's incredible because they heat that room sometimes to 120 mm-hmm. it's fucking crazy there's this couple at my I, gym that work out they're so fucking cute uh, the, but the girl is like, she goes like every day I see her and she's like ready to pop. She's massive, Aww. but she's always, she's on the little stair machine and then she gets off and she lifts the weights and they like work out together. It's fucking adorable. Aw, that is cute. So motivating. Matthew Chambers, <clears throat> she needs to learn time management. You can do everything you want every week. You just may not be able to do it every day. I agree. That's Matthew. a good point. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you fucking meal prep. Meal prep. <laughs> they have so much time cooking. It is helpful. Sam, the end is right. Yeah. Lauren, aka some bitch I know. Oh, we love Lauren. Has a great thread from ten twenty five in response to people dunking or unsympathetic. I love Lauren. Oh, um, let's see. Can we look that up? I like Lauren. James Sharp. When I had an hour commute for a job, I used that time to catch up on my reading with audiobooks. Figure out how to use your time more efficiently. I agree mm-hmm. a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. Learn a new language in the damn train. Uh, <laughs> listen to a Jordan Peterson podcast. Like, there's so much you can listen to. Jacob McQuaid. Chrissy is based and experience, experience pilled. That's my experience. favorite phrase. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd so much rather be called experience pilled than old. Uh, regarding the TikTok girl, life is hard. What you do with the hardship matters. It's a human condition. Yeah. yeah, experience pills. <laughs> so I like experience funny. pills. We are here to suffer. <laughs> yeah, that's what the Buddha says. Uh, yeah. You know, in this day and age where colleges and universities are just overpriced indoctrination centers, trade schools are a much cheaper and viable alternative. Yeah, I hope there's a. Yeah, she should become that's an part of She should. A hot electrician. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um mk solid says working all week just to have the weekends is hell but like i don't know i just get used to it yeah um, it's I'm, tough uh, a couple more i math it is tough i math says which art school did anna go to my son is a freshman at mcad expensive for sure but he is thriving there uh, I went to AU in San Francisco. And it was like, you were telling me it was like kind of hard to get into, right? No, actually, it's the exact opposite. So I don't know if you guys remember World War II, but it probably could have been a ah, yes. If, if someone named Adolf Hitler would have just mm. gone to art school and been led into art school. So my art school. He was a really good artist, I feel like. He, no, he's not. He had His no paintings choice. were pretty. I looked at them. They're better than they're what not, I could do, yes. at least. They're not. Yes. Like, they're not worse yes. than Hunter yes. Biden. Exactly. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. well so the thing with him. So my the art school I went to. They're like anyone can be an artist. You just need to learn the skills. And actually, one of the classes that I had that everyone has to take. It's called analysis of form because all art really is is understanding light, and that that's huh. the very basic huh. of it. And so Hitler, when you look at his art, he has no concept of that so it's Mm. it looks certain ones look you know decent but he just 
he could have gotten there if he would have gone to school and learned because that that's the whole thing. You're going to school to learn. You're, you don't have those skills going in. And if you do, you shouldn't be wasting your time in art school. You should be out there working. And so yeah. I had a, a friend that was in industrial design. So like they design chairs, ear pods, like literally everything that you would use. There needs to be somebody that designs it first. And all those people, they couldn't even draw stick figures. They picked it up the fastest because they had no base knowledge on how to draw. So people that say, I can't draw, I can't even draw stick figures. If you went to art school and you had a good teacher that explained to you these basic skills, you could do it really easily. Hmm. So it just takes time and practice. But yeah, so my art school, it's anyone can get in, but staying in and because hmm. they don't understand. It takes 20 hours to do one drawing. So yeah. Think about having a full schedule where you have four to five classes and each one you have to spend at least 20 hours on the assignment. Mm. So yeah. Anna, you should do a video and and title it like why Adolf didn't get into art school. I think it would do really well. And just, like, <laughs> break, down, like, break down his work. Why he actually was you a should. artist. Well, no, the thing with Hitler, so he he failed getting in because uh, some art schools you have to you do have to test in. He can't draw faces. And actually the way that he drew faces oh. was trying to a psychopath. Mm. So I like maybe he just can't draw Jewish that. faces. That's why he wanted to get rid right. yeah. <laughs> That's what started all of it. <laughs> ah! Who's your wait, do you, wait, do you guys not? Wait, do you not believe this conspiracy theory that he's half Jewish? Because apparently his dad was Jewish. Like, I've heard this conspiracy theory where his dad was Jewish. I wouldn't even doubt it, honestly. Like, he was, he was like a self-hating Jew. Yeah, I wouldn't even doubt it. Leanne, Leanne has to run. Leanne, I want to make sure that there are no Leanne-related <laughs> questions lingering in the chat column here i think i think i think i think i can't wait to get this off my nose <laughs> i know I'm i know like, i, I know i, know. I am earrings. getting i'm getting a scarlet witch induced <laughs> migraine from this fucking <gasps> head thing um yeah. Leanne, tell us what's coming up where people can follow you and all that good stuff um twitter and instagram is leanne star two three and i'll be on twitch probably tomorrow i need to finish resident evil four so i'm just gonna try to finish it so I'll be on there tomorrow and kick. Okay, I think cool. it still streams to that too, but I don't really pay attention to it. I think it's still streaming there, but yeah, that's All about right. it. Thank you, Leanne. Here's Have a good night. Guys. It was nice meeting you. Go wipe, Bye. Go wipe off a your slow nose. evening. <laughs> uh, uh, Mary Morgan also has to dip. Let me make sure there's no, Mary Morgan related super chats. Maybe Leanne is channeling Chris Benoit. I doubt it. Push ups. Uh, let me see really quickly. Scrolling through, scrolling through. Joshua says, The look on Mary's face right now. This is just her face, guys. Yeah, I don't know don't where that judge. when that happened, but it's just how I look. I don't know. She just has a sweet little face. Yeah. <laughs> Damien says, Mary, call me, but then didn't leave a phone number. So I don't know no how, you're gonna, do, how you're going to do that. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um here we go. uh hello mary from shane davis and dangerous dave from talking and drawing with shane davis did he bitch thanks, out thanks, on the pumpkin anna i don't know i've been out of town i haven't watched yeah, it. Haven't seen it did you bitch out oh. shane did you do it did you did you bitch out i think that's it mary let the good people know where they can okay. find you and follow you and watch you and all that good stuff yeah so i figured out how to put my username in my headline there. So my Twitter and Instagram are Mary Archived. I'm gonna be back on Pop Culture Crisis tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if you wanted to watch those episodes of whatever I was on, those were the last two on the channel. I forget what episode numbers there were, but you'll find them, it's fine. My name's in the title. Nice awesome. to meet you. Mary, yeah, so what a delight you are. First time. It's fun. Yes, and Yay. thank you. You were here basically the whole time. You're the best. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> thanks for having me you did it you did it thanks mary have a good night guys bye good night. Bye. Bye. bye bye mary she was sweet. um she's adorable yeah she's everyone's like great. she's traumatized i'm like that's just how her face looks <laughs> uh russell hall 
Hitler didn't become Hitler because he couldn't get into art school. He, it was because Germany was utterly devastated and had no path forward. Russell, mm. Russell has to make everything you know serious. Very well, that if that mofo was in fucking art school drawing pictures, he wouldn't be out causing a fucking war. It would have been somebody else, but maybe that other person, I don't know, maybe wouldn't have committed a Holocaust. Oh, maybe with good time management, he could have done both. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? School of plan genocide on the side. Well, I do feel like the situation in Germany was pretty bad economically at that point. So I do feel like historically, was there him. was a like if exactly if it wasn't him, it would have been somebody. But maybe that other person, I don't know, wouldn't have committed a Holocaust. I'm with you, Anna. I think if he had gotten accepted into art school, we wouldn't have had the Holocaust. Yeah, or maybe it would have been, been just a smaller it. Holocaust, like a little because he would have been too dead. busy. <laughs> yeah, or maybe it would. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna take it to a really dark place. Never mind. Watch it. The opposite. It's like they only kill uh, Aryans. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna oh, say would have gotten way more creative with it if you had gotten to art school. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's I actually a good point. <laughs> I do find it funny yeah. that he was all about blonde hair and blue eyes, and he did not have blonde hair. That, so that because he was part of Jewish, right? Like that tracks. Yeah, he would have loved you, Zia, and you, Chrissy. Well, and that's oh, part yeah. of the reason that they started really getting fucked up because they started killing the Russians, and the Russians had blue eyes and blonde hair. So they were like, "Wait, what are we doing?" Like they, they well, started like mentally fuck them up. Psychopath. Let's invade Russia. What time of year? Oh, winter. Let's the go. Winter. Yeah. <laughs> Great idea, man. <laughs> Crazy people. I understand Joshua, my the chat. issue of wanting to oppose communism, though. No, I get, you know, yeah, for sure. Like the when Russians to them posed a threat, you know, like the Bolshevik revolution hadn't been that long ago, but you know, it hadn't been, it wasn't, it was mo only like, you know, a decade yeah. prior. Yeah, no, for sure. It's fighting communism. It was just let's, let's invade and take everything over. Cause he was crazy. He wanted to fight. I think he was just misunderstood. Fascism. Oh God, Chris! Oh my God, Chris! Wow, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, Josh. Oh, my super chat was when someone canceled. was talking about some guy uh, wanting to buy their tampons. Mary, thank you, Joshua. Um, okay, okay. Uh, from T M. Chrissy, no rumble tonight for shame. Nina was going to replay your message today, but it was gone. My message. Uh, Poe is my favorite author. Enjoyed your group's POV on the House oh. of Usher. Helps Cecil with Rumble. Rumble is, uh, it's it just, that's the thing. It's like if I'm running a bit late and I'm a bit behind, Rumble takes like an additional 15 plus minutes for me to set up. And if I just don't have the time, it's it's not going to happen. Out. But I, uh, I did yeah. reach Rumble's out to difficult. Cecil and offer him help after he, uh, Russell Hall met the super chatted me to help him. Uh, he still hasn't got back to me yet. So I'm guessing that's a like so, a polite no thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, yeah, during the weekend, Cecil is on babysitting duty. So, oh, they, oh, oh, that wow. Okay. <laughs> Cecil has been like uh, AWOL every weekend ever since babysitting happened. I feel oh, you. That makes sense. Z you mean you're talking about his girlfriend, right? Of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zato, <laughs> I feel you, Chrissy, when you can't tune a radio and can't tune a fish. That was <laughs> almost funny. Thank you for that. Hilariously awful productions. P.S. Congrats on the kiddo. Here's hoping he stays a uh, he his whole life. Oh, he will. He will <laughs> That's funny. He will that not, be, not gonna be not going to be mentally ill on my watch. <laughs> Um, Ricada Law, my mom had one glass of red wine a day, so that's perfectly fine. And you turned out very good and very smart. So I was gonna say to... that explains so much because he's fucked up. What about if I'm behind like many weeks of wine drinking? Can I catch up on that maybe in just a couple of days? <laughs> it's a little bit. Uh, yeah, Sam, I I pasted Lauren's thread on your Twitter Simcast post. Okay, I gotta go try to find that later. Um, hilariously awful productions. Mayor, you, your harem 
plus the movie sphere. <laughs> People have inspired me to start my own YouTube stream where I chat about culture. Hope y'all will give it a gander. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good. Do it, do it, do it. Push-ups during the early... Oh, here comes something boring. During the early Cold War, <laughs> federal funds went to STEM fields <laughs> to enhance defense. Then federal funds were expanded into soft BS fields and useful uh, usefulness ends. The more hmm. you know, the more you know. Johan Naxos, you can teach yourself IT and computer engineering without ever taking a class. I started out in phone support and 15 years later, wow. I'm a senior staff engineer and manager. It's possible. Zero school debt. Well, that's very that's uh, impressive. That is cool. an awesome story. I had to do spend an hour talking to Mr. Nina on the phone as he explained to me how to take apart my computer and then I did it live <laughs> on the air. <laughs> oh, I didn't have any college for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so interesting. Yeah, I'm, I always like learning about people who can, who are self-starters and um, you know, he's all self-taught too, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Didn't bend any of the little bright, little, little pokey things. He's right. Um, okay, what else is interesting to talk about? Oh, I wanted to get your guys' take on this. I thought this was kind of interesting. This was another TikTok that went I kind of saw viral around the, the Twitter world this week. And um, I think I don't know if Richard Cooper is the original poster, but he says another disagreeable boss girl comes to the realization that men don't want women with septum piercings, muscles, and tattoos. We need to stop lying to women and tell them to preserve their feminine beauty and stop acting so masculine. Now, I, at first I thought this video was a little bit of like a troll. Like I, I almost can't sometimes tell if she's serious or having fun. Hmm. So I want you guys to let me know what you think. I just came to the realization why I'm single. Oh no. <laughs> Every guy that I'm like, oh my god, he's attractive. It's Sorry. the way you talk. Let I just it. came okay, to the realization. Is... <laughs> for a minute. She's cute though. She's definitely she cute. She's yeah. beautiful. No, I, I agree about the septum but piercing. I, see I, so I hate it. I hate it too. Wives, and they just look like so like you know? Like not like this. Just like, you know, like. What? What did she say? I'm just going. <sighs> Dude, I'm, I look crazy. Like, that's why guys don't want to wife me up. And I've just come to this realization today. <laughs> See? Oh, her tattoos? She thinks it's, she thinks her, it's tattoos. her tattoos and her muscles and her piercings. Or maybe it's because all of them see me eat sushi after I get out of the grocery store in my car with my bare fingers and drink sweet tea. He's oh, no. high. You think so? Oh, Guys. she was using a stoned. I thought these men wanted like, you know, big, strong, tough girls. What? No, what? What man wants this? I don't what? know. I feel like all of them are like, like super girly, and all these guys are like, yeah, that's my girl. That's she's like, how? I like that her, her wife like, stuff, and I'm over here like, she just describes everyone's wife as like, <laughs> that one motion. I own my own business. <laughs> I'm covered in tattoos. I'm a little spazzy, but that's okay. We embrace it. But yeah, I I don't think any guy's gonna wife me up because I can't take me seriously. Oh. And I just realized that. Dang. <laughs> this is a real epiphany moment. That I know she was up. having a real epiphany. Like I could see her eyes. Like <laughs> Yeah, we watched like every piece of that epiphany. You know, she really took her time. So it's weird though, know. because she was still feminine, like she mm -hmm. wasn't like like she had like yeah, makeup. She had, her yeah, hair was done. She, she had yeah she she had yeah. a nice she face. Takes care of herself, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I agree her- with both of you though that she needs to get rid of that fucking septum piercing. Yes. Yeah. I'm 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 just not interested in that. But but but, but then again, I'm a woman. Maybe men are into that. I don't know. Good point. I, so I mean, you got so all right, septum piercing can come out. Even if she wanted to take out all the other piercings, those can come out, no problem. Are the tattoos really because lots of people have tattoos, or is it the tattoos in combination with like the very muscular build? Because I don't think guys care that someone owns their own business. I think it's like all about a balance. Like you could own your own business, but then be like, help me open this jar. You know what I mean? I but think if the muscular build is more problematic, if you will, than yeah. the tattoos. Yeah, like, but I there think guys like there's that guys too. that are into women like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. But yeah. she clearly hasn't met any. So I, I'm just saying. I think she had a bit of, like slight Southern accent. I bet you all of those guys that she's interested in want like tiny Southern Belle type of girls. And she mm. lifts and has tats and smokes pot. So she's not. Right. How can you tell she smokes pot? Anna? I live in California. I know. <laughs> Anna's like, I can spot it from 10 miles away. <laughs> And, and like the way that they talk too, like their their speech pediments. Okay, she's a slow talker. No, not not. She wasn't talking slow. I'm saying like when you're having the epiphany moment, when people are fucking high, they are always having epiphany, <laughs> and they seem like like funny, like you know they're laughing because they're stoned. Is pot yeah. legal in New York yet or something? It is. Oh, it's it very, is. it's everywhere. It's, it's, you smell is it, it a everywhere. federal thing now over there or is it not federal yet? Mm-hmm. No, so, in Texas, it's not legal yet. I don't okay, think. so it's not federal yet. Okay. No, no, yeah, it's just by state. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing is she could be, she could, it's not like she has to stop working out. I think it's just she could no. dress a little bit better. Like she could like, get her boobs out she could, if her shoulders are kind of big like you could kind of cover those up like you can sh- i'm sure she has fantastic legs you know um so maybe it is more about like, she can probably pumping. crush a pumpkin no problem she could, yeah. probably, she could probably, like probably crush a computer like yeah what you want to bet Camelot's gonna slide into her DMs. <laughs> oh, for sure. Camelot likes muscular women. He does. Yeah, Ooh, he's a good. See, that's because that. Camelot likes dudes. <laughs> so I'm sure he's dudes fine with do that. like him though. Dudes so, <laughs> like him. Yeah, I, and also somebody mentioned like, what kind of guys are you going for? And if you're, I think that's good for any single person to do. Be like, who am I finding myself attracted to? And either how do I make myself more attractive to the kind of guy that I want? Or you have to recalibrate. You have to be like, well, who's finding their way? Who's attracted to me? Why is that? And I'm not saying you have to change who you are, but like you do have to make intelligent tweaks if you're really consciously trying to attract a certain type of person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys ever like always get hit on by like the same type of guy and you're like, I'm not into this at all, but it was always that same type? No, Mm -mm. I don't think I ever had that. (laughs) No, because I was fat, I was thin, (laughs) I had very short Karen hair, I had long hair, I had actually, yes, as an adult, I didn't have braces as an adult. I take it back, and I yes, all the Persian dudes were into me, and I was like, "Ugh, get away from me! I hate you, Persian dudes." Oh, but you, you were walking Persian around guys? in a jasmine costume. Can you? Blame <laughs> <that? laughs> what, what is it about Persian guys that you don't like, Nina? Um, it's just all terrible, <laughs> except for my <laughs> husband, who is also Persian. <laughs> when I met him. When I met him, he wasn't like any Persian dude I've ever met. He was like very whitewashed. He's like me. Like he was like a white okay. person. So <laughs> I was like, okay, I can I, I can like you. But when I – but uh, the other Persian dudes are like – they're just so like Persian. Like I can't explain it. They're just so like – They're just so Persian. Uh, like they're just so into their moms and they're so like – I don't know. Oh, so they're all mama's boys and like they're just all like – Check out my BMW. Fuck. Like, oh, <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> so not impressive. Oh. Yeah, you can't. Into your mom is good, but like not too into your mom. A very oh. hairy. Steph LL was like, Harry? Yes. I mean, maybe Anna would be into that, but I wasn't. 
I was like, ugh. Do you, do you like, like hairy guys, Anna? What? Oh, I love hairy men. Like, if it looks like they're wearing a sweater when they're naked, I'm like so into it. My really? God, you're so weird. You are so weird. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Have you that... seen my dog? I like, I like, <laughs> I like body hair, but not like a full sweater. <laughs> no, she wants like a fucking yeti. Okay, no, like, it's like, like, like shoulder and arm hair, or no. just chest hair, like I've all like, of it. I've never dated a guy that was like the shoulder and like the arm. Hair. Well, here's oh, good. I'm Thank like goodness. a monkey if I don't maintain myself. So I'm like he has to be at least as hairy as I am, if not hairier. And so, like, Peaches has, like, the most luscious chest hair ever. And I'm like, yes. He Aww. has more chest hair than I do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's part, you just have to have more chest hair than I do. I mean, like, that's <laughs> pretty fair, I think. That <laughs> <his> dating profile. <laughs> always, like, blondes that were always into me. And I've never liked blondes. So, like, when See, it comes I to love guys, blondes. I, I was hate always it. like. But mm. I've never no, I don't like blondes either. People. I typically don't like blondes either. That's so you funny. You know what? I think it's because you are attracted to who is going to be your most genetically, like, somewhat different than you. Like, I look at German and Norwegian guys, and I'm like, ugh, I don't need, like, blonde features fading into their face and, like, <laughs> disappearing. Hilarious. Sometimes. I, like, <gasps> yeah. Sometimes. I guess I'm like, you like those, Christina? <laughs> Sometimes I like a like it all kind of blonde Come on, guy. guys. I rarely. if I were to mate with another ginger, I would have a clear baby. No, <laughs> no ginger. No ginger. Yeah. I Not that. love blondes and blue eyes. Anna's like, I don't like blue eyes. I'm, I fucking I love like blue eyes. eyes. So much. No. I I know. I, like, my dad so has so blue bad. eyes. I'm like, that is like it's not sexy at all. I'm like, no, she's aw. she's she means on men, Christina. Not not yeah, I'm not looking at people with blue eyes and thinking like when a guy hits on me, if he has like dark eyes, like almost black, like it's so mysterious and sexy. But when he's got Ooh. blue eyes, I'm, like, hmm. I'm with Anna on that. I like dark eyes, dark hair. I don't mind pale skin, but dark eyes, dark hair. Usually mm -hmm. I, it, I've I have found like lighter blonde men attractive, but just not as often. Like I am obsessed with East Coast Italian men. I don't know what uh, it is. I don't too. know why. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't, I just, I, I met one from Brooklyn and I was like, oh, he's so cute. And then I married him. And then I came over here and I was like, oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> they're all yeah. so hot. I like the, yeah, I like the white boys. It's true. Aww. Well, used to. And you have a darker manager. complexion. I feel like Chrissy's right. Like there's, we go after kind of the opposite of. Hmm. But I also like yeah, blonde women, Zia. So how, how do you explain that? I mean, that's crazy. Right? I'm not saying go too dark, if you know what I mean. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Anthony wouldn't have you on his network if you did. Don't go so <laughs> dark that you're going to upset your father. But, you know. Wow. <laughs> It's just jokes, people. Yes, it's no, coming to dinner. Don't get yourself out of the inheritance now. Um, <laughs> Russell Hall, blonde hair is a feminine feature. Well, yeah, and also maybe people associate it with little babies sometimes have blonde hair and then they change color. I just think I'm like, blonde hair, blue eyes, you guys are going to age. No offense. You're going to age terribly. You're going to have terrible vision. And terrible you're going to get cancer. Yeah, but have vision, and you guys can't see as well. I do have bad vision. This is true. I can confirm this. <laughs> and also, like, my eyes are super sensitive to the sun. I have yep. to have sunglasses during the day. I cannot go on my walks. Well, it's because blue eyes are mutation. What? Yeah, mm -hmm. blue They're eyes recessive. are mutation. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah, I don't know how I ended up with blonde hair, blue eyes, or light skin, because my mom is super fucking dark. She's brown, she's got brown hair, and she's got brown eyes. And I just came out. <laughs> Like, like it doesn't blue, make any blue sense. eyed people are like the original mutants because that was Ooh, like the first mutant <laughs> trend. <laughs> well, Zia, you know what's funny? My mom looks literally like Elsa from Frozen, and I'm like this. Uh, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wait. So your dad must have dark, like oh, darker yeah, features. My dad, I look, he's Portuguese. I, I came out, and my mom was like. This is yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> my cousin, she always teases me. I had like, I had a trail of fur down my back. I had patches of fur on my ears. <laughs> you were like, she's like a little you're like Wolverine, fucking gorilla, <laughs> a little Wolverine baby. <laughs> um, you're like this chewy. is a Portuguese child, but they say <laughs> that the firstborn will always look like the father. 
because oh, shit. Um, oh my sister looks like my dad I well, it's interesting yeah. about um like how like huh. animals in the wild like it's a way for like the father to know that it's theirs and then usually the second one looks like the mom that's mm-hmm. exactly that's what so happened. Weird. I'm the, the opposite. Like my dad. <laughs> the opposite happened in my family because my brother's the oldest and looks like my mom, but my sister looks like my dad. She's oh. the middle. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, my husband's family is the same way. Uh, he looks like the mom. She looks like the dad. Weird. And he was born first. I know that's bad. Hmm. Russell Hall says Camelot does not like dudes. Camelot likes money. <laughs> Camelot, Camelot just wants a wants a supercar. He doesn't care how he gets it. No, Camelot likes dudes. He's said that several times, and he's gone and gotten with lady boys. So has he? Yes, what? he said he's <laughs> he's Jim Norton. He went to <laughs> Thailand and he's gotten with several. Oh he, my god! He had very good things to say about them. I'm not judging. I'm just saying he he's choke out, not Camelot. No, yeah. Camelot's done the same. I oh, didn't know that. I'm they had a whole conversation about it. about it on the Jack show, Anna. That's Good for fun. them. Good for I them. <laughs> How modern. Very modern. Very modern. So progressive. I'm happy for them. A raft ass says, I could have had a chance with Anna. Dang it. No, I don't date furries. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Snap. <laughs> Serene's lunatic. Ask Anna about Cecil's creepy costume. Oh, yeah. So somebody's, you know how, like, when I cosplay, I'll wear the, like, body suits that mm-hmm. look like the character. Somebody sent Cecil one that look, and it's, like, a full body suit, so it covers the head. It looks like a hillbilly. So it was, like, missing <laughs> teeth. And it, I don't know. Did you guys ever watch that movie? Um, oh, fuck. I can't even remember what it's called. Something in, in the woods with the hillbillies that rape the dude. What? 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 No. What oh my God. God. Like, like, are you talking about cocaine bear? No. <laughs> I was going to say children of the corn, but that oh never happens. Yeah. Children of the corn. Thank you. It looks like a guy from Deliverance. Oh, mm. oh Deliverance. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. No, but okay. Cecil put it. I was so uncomfortable. Because <laughs> he's like talking to it. It looks all cr- Oh, it's oh weird. Oh, my God. I love yeah. this. That, that's to, the Cecil suit. I'll have to watch back for it. Uh, a couple little blue boys. Hilariously awful says, no one wants her Chris Benoit traps. <laughs> Aww. I keep wanting to say Benoit. Benoit. Double dang it from a raft test. Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone. Uh, Russell Hall, septum piercings make you look like a cow. Yeah, I Oof. agree. I'm very uh, like Michigan. Anything on your face, don't do it because then once you get tired of it, you're always gonna have that hole there. Mm-hmm. True. Yep. Here to hide, yeah. but I really wanted a nose ring when I was in college, that. and my mom was like, "Cool, you can get it, but I'll stop paying for college." And I was like, "Well," okay. <laughs> you're like, "Never mind." <laughs> I'll put a pin in that. Uh, Austin Brown. They should teach how much TurboTax is a scam. Is that so? <laughs> That I used that Good for point. years before I started doing it myself. Mangus, cheer up, guys. Happy Matthew Perry Day. Aw. Aw. Rest in peace. Uh, I'll pour out some of my hot tub for you, Matthew. Push up says, Anna, didn't Kelsey Shannon draw your thumbnail? He drew my profile picture, but I do all my own thumbnails for videos. Russell says, pickle juice, tuna water, and a dab of soy sauce. That sounds like a recipe for a yak. Oh my God, you're seriously looking down on people with regular jobs. Oh, I'm not sure what this was in regards mm-hmm. to, but I definitely don't feel that way because I he was, was he he was talking about when we were talking about that girl, and he was going off about it in the chat. Oh, okay. he thinks we're all looking at down on that girl. <laughs> no, I was this person a until job. literally two years ago. So I'm. Just Barely not regular. Russell Hall, Saran Rap, not lest ye be Saran Wrapped. <laughs> Very wise indeed. Little Sausage 9 to 5 was built for a couple, not an individual. Oh. Now you tell me. Uh, a ref task. I've gotten into calling septums Hitler piercings and everyone stopped wearing them around me. I don't see why, <laughs> but I guess that works. That. <laughs> MK Solid. Chrissy could sell her breast milk on OnlyFans. Oh my god. Oh no. god. It's so gross. 
<laughs> I up. could never live that down. Like, uh, <laughs> that's just uh, no. If Seems somebody sure. sends you in a big enough super chat, will you try your own breast milk? <laughs> try it? <gasps> Yeah, like, like drink it, maybe throw it in coffee. Just like squeeze some into well, some coffee. This is actually a thing on Friends. Is yeah, it was on Friends. Taste the breast milk to see if it's warm enough for the baby, and then they raw starts freaking out, and they're like, "What? You don't want to try it?" <laughs> oh wow! Have you guys ever tried breast milk? No, I have. Baby, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I've tried breast milk, like to see what it's like. It tastes. Whose fun. breast milk was it? It was my bre- my sister in law's breast milk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like straight from the tap, or how did you do <laughs> no, it? No, no, like in the bottole. Yeah, okay. just put it on, you know, tried it. What did it taste like? It tastes like milk. It just tastes like milk. Regular milk? A <laughs> little bit sweeter. Okay. On fr- friends, they say it tastes like cantaloupe juice. That's wow. <laughs> but supposedly, it's supposed to be different when you have a boy versus when you have a girl. Say what? Mm-hmm. It's a That's little bit. Crazy. It's a little bit sweeter than like regular milk. Wow. See, I don't even drink regular milk, so there's no way in hell. I like milk. Have you not uh-huh. drink milk? It's so good. It's gross. I love milk. Milk is good. I don't drink water either. So what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. Don't, I, don't listen to her. Very picky. She lives on pixie sticks. Team shirt says the real holiday is November first, cheap candy day. Oh, you know it. Mm-hmm. A raft says cause it looks like his little mustache. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. BJK comedian Michael Lair. Oh, I rest in peace. He was a really funny guy. Uh, Michael Lair of Kill Tony fame had himself put down last January in Portland, Oregon, where his ALS kept getting worse. That's wow, cool. I don't know what made you think of that, but yeah, I uh, I met What's Michael Lear talking about the self oh. oh my god, is that oh my god, is that what happened? Wow, I guess it was that getting sucks. really bad. Yeah, now, ALS that that's fucked up. It's like your body is being melted like a candle. So, but his face had it, and he lived with it for decades. So, who had it? Uh, Stephen Hawking. Oh. Wow. Um, Christina has to bounce. Thank you so much for joining us, Christina. You are the best. Um, tell people what is coming up, where they can find you, and where they can buy an Adams Family pinball machine. Yeah, right. <laughs> if you want to spend a lot of money, you can find one online. Uh, but just my channel, Radix Farum. That's where you can find me. Oh, and you can check out my documentary. The website for it is k and k film.com. Ooh. I'm gonna it up right <laughs> now. Um, thank you, Russell Hall. Once again, pickle juice, tuna water, and a dab of soy sauce. Buy a new pair of panties in con. Oh, oh shoot. I like she just I should have said goodbye again. Bye. I suck. Goodbye, Christina. Love you. Bye, Bye. Christina. Buy a new pair of panties and condiments, sell it for profit. How do you know this, Russell? Because he does it. That is so gross. No. No is my answer to that. Uh, Russell Hall, some pumpkins are thicker than others. Girl, don't I know it. Uh, Push-ups is hi, Anna. Hi. Uh, 200 Watt Studio. The nipple wrangler was fired that day. Third strike. And wow, I finally got through the ball. Zach, play the FNT intro, pretty please. I don't even know what point. I have it up if you want me to try it. it. I don't even know what point in the in the thing. What are we watching? I don't know. Someone said the FNT intro was interesting. Here, this week. I have it up if you want me to play it. All right. Okay. Okay. Watch them copy strike me. <laughs> Amazing. The Poconos Nose, episode one. Hey! This was my honeymoon. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is funny. Who knows what wonders? Ah. Jesus Christ. That was driving with a golf cart. I don't I need know. To take a sip. A comics division. Oh, uh, I guess you're doing it. Ah! 
<laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yay! I took a golf cart around. I'm so excited to go there, and you know, I love nothing more than to be dragged down at every f***ing conceivable opportunity so you can f***ing current day us! F*** off! Let's leave, let's leave, let's leave, let's go. leave. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Bless you. Thanks. There you it's are. Me. Okay. Hello. How did this is they weird? Let's do this. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, I have to shift. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my God. What the fuck? Am I getting fucked by a tree? Raped by a tree? What the fuck, dude? Oh my god, oh my god. you got god. raped by an ant. Jesus wow. Christ. 38 seconds later. Man, what what is wrong with me right now? Fucking pronouns! Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Bethany, I want to marry a lighthouse oh, God, that's funny. by the side of the sea. Holy cow! Oh my Perry God, that's Chan funny. Is a, uh, he might be autistic. That was very, very genius. Very MK good. Solid Hitler wanted all the women to look like Taylor Swift and Char Charlize Theron. That's basically what his Aryan vision was. Sometimes you can't blame him. Yep, yep. I would have survived. So would have Zia. We would have lived, lived. We would have lived. Russell Hall, I make all my super chat money selling pan tees. Ugh. All right. Well, do you got to do, I guess. You do you, Russell. You do you, Russell. I feel like I'll never know who the real Russell Hall is. But it's okay. Um, I have to pee really bad. Story of my life. I just have to pee all the time now. Go, go. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll really? Down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just All right. yourself and talk and turn off your camera. I just get a thermos and do it at the desk. <laughs> just don't accidentally drink it. <laughs> that would be terrible. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, my God. So what did I miss the first, like, hour or two of the show? I wasn't here. Oh, um, um, what did we talk about? I don't know. We talked about... God, I'm trying to remember everything now. I don't know. Tell tell us how Vegas was. How how was Vegas? It was fun. Uh, I got to see Alice Cooper, <gasps> and so Peaches and I, we left the hotel. We were like pre gaming. We get there. Peaches doesn't really know much. Like I told him, I was like, "You'll you'll know his songs. Like once you hear them, you'll know who he is." He was really looking forward to seeing Rob Zombie, and then they tell us, "Oh, Rob canceled." <gasps> oh, oh, that no. sucks. It's Alice Cooper, and they're like, "You can uh, like request if you want to leave. Like you can get a refund, or you have to just contact like the original way that you like bought the tickets." And then uh, I found out that Trump was in town, and I was like. Oh, he conveniently got sick because we got there early because mm -hmm. I knew I was going to wear heels. So I was like, we got to just get there as early as possible so I don't like trip and fall and die or we don't have to wait in a little giant line. And I was like, he just canceled an hour before because he wanted to go party with Trump. Oh, man. Well, I know Elon Damn. Musk was there at the same time as you, too, because he tweeted out that he's uh, he was like the Vegas. Um, <laughs> The, the thingy that the, the new thing that they built the or oh, ball the ball he's like it's like the most amazing thing ever and i was like oh my god he's in vegas like the same time as anna did you yeah. see it how was it did you, did you see that thing? i didn't i could see the ball it's like off to the side it's not exactly on the strip so we didn't go to it but you could see it because okay. I, I also wanted to see like where the grand prix setup was and so they're basically turning all of the strip into an arena <laughs> Oh, wow. Like, you couldn't even go in front of the Bellagio. All I wanted to do, I told Peach, I was like, we're going to the Bellagio so I can take a picture of my ring in front of the fountains. And it was a stadium. You couldn't even walk in front of oh, it. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Damn. So what? mad. But so I that, that makes even more sense. Rob Zombie canceled on his concert to go hang out with Elon and Trump. That Probably. <sighs> yeah, because I saw his uh, tweet and I was like, oh, my God. 
That'd be so crazy if Anna ran into him. Like I was like thinking to myself, like, you know, this is a small world. Like all, all of a sudden I you're know like, is that I was like, I was like, gosh, it's gotta be like one or two in the morning. And Peach is like, it's eight. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. He's like, well, don't wake up at five. And I was like, I'm so, so excited. Whenever I travel, I become a morning like person. You're a morning person when yeah. you travel. Yeah. I remember funny. that, Anna, when we were in Boston and you like got pretty drunk the night before. You still woke up at like, it was like six or seven and you were just like up and all chipper. And I was like, how are you awake right now? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I travel, I'm just like, I got to go. I got to go do stuff. It doesn't matter how sick I am. <laughs> no, I mean, that's good because then you, you know, you don't get a lot of time when you're traveling because so much of it is traveling is fun, but so much of it is taken up by the actual traveling part of it. So like you lose a day to get there and then you lose a day when you leave. So if it's like a four day vacation, you really only get two days. So mm -hmm. you like you have to make the most of it. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm never an early bird. Almost never. Like I'm like, uh no. Did you see like my video, Nina? Like before Chrissy's wedding, I hiked a mountain. I was yeah, I did. I was like, what? I'm like, ah. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happens to you because apparently, like, like, are you on speed? Like, holy shit! Like, no, what? no, I'm just like, ah, I'm in a new place. I have to go explore before the sun goes away. Like, you I'm have like FOMO without having fun you're like i can't miss out on anything i have to get up and see do the stuff. world before the sun goes away because it's like some things it's like okay i'm gonna be stuck inside all day or i'm gonna be stuck inside during nighttime so i gotta see the land while it's daytime makes sense makes okay sense. yeah but then I get tired at 8 p.m <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it's, really so night <laughs> it's more like a day life oh. Day sightings, no partying at night. I don't mind getting up early, but I, to, to me, getting up at like eight or nine is reasonable. But anything earlier than that, and my body's like, what the fuck are you doing? Unless I have ins <laughs> insomnia, because I get like weird bouts of insomnia where I'll I'll go to sleep at my usual time, which is like between midnight and one a.m. So like not crazy late, and then I'll wake up at like four o'clock in the morning, and my brain's like, you're just awake now. Good luck. Oh yeah, good luck with that. I hate it. It's the fucking, it's the absolute worst. That sucks. That's the only time. Do you what did I miss? Back, Christy. What did I miss? Welcome back. We're just talking about how Anna likes to get up at ridiculously early times when she travels. Yeah. Ooh, but then you go to bed very late, like when you're home, right? Yeah. Well, because we were talking about like Vegas and I was like, I was up so early. And then I was like, it's got to be two in the morning, but it was eight. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I'm just tired. <laughs> Chrissy, what are you munching on? Popcorn. Mm, popcorn. Nice. And uh, Muffin really wants some. What has been your go-to pregnancy food now? You know, I'm about to blow the whistle on pregnancy cravings. I think it's bullshit. I think it doesn't exist. I haven't had any weird cravings, really. I'm just hungrier and thirstier and more tired. I think the whole pregnancy craving thing is a huge grift, like, so that women can just send their their men out for ice cream at all hours of the night. Like, like I don't, know, I I don't even think they want it. I think they just want to see if they'll do it. Well, you know what it is, Chris, Chrissy? I, I've heard. I'm blowing the whistle. That, well, I've heard the reason that a lot of people get cravings. Th that actually means that you have a really balanced diet. Because usually, apparently, the reason that you get cravings is because you miss something in your body that's craving that thing, especially during pregnancy. So a lot of like women, dick. for example, oh. <laughs> want <laughs> uh, pickles. Like that, you get like these weird cravings of wanting pickles or like something else. So it means like th you know they're missing like natural electrolytes or something like it that's you yeah. know in in the thing that they want that their body needs. That's you're supposed to have why. a lot more protein. You're supposed to have like a hundred grams of protein a day. Mm -hmm. you're pregnant, I'm like so. hoping that if I ever have kids, all of a sudden I'll want to eat healthy shit. You that probably might, funny because yeah, because yeah, well. you just eat candy now, so you'll be like, oh, salad. Yeah, I'll fix, <laughs> like I'll all of a sudden like eat a salad and appreciate it for the. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll <laughs> finally be like, oh my god, so this is water? Like this is amazing <laughs> without <laughs> meal yeah. in it. What? Because you get very very thirsty, <laughs> and I was bad. I was bad at drinking water always, and uh, you just so thirsty so maybe it's like it forces you out of your bad habits or something it does because the baby needs like actual fucking food not because guess meal. what the baby is sitting in its own pee 
because every time it pees, that becomes the amniotic fluid that it like mm -hmm. is swimming around in. Swimming in. Just swimming God, it's in so disgusting. Sitting in its own pee. Yep. The That's human body is so fucking gross. Like the whole thing is really gross when you think it's about also it. It's also awesome. Like this has been more productive in three months. I haven't. What have I done in three months? That's as. <laughs> As you make, grow it. I was gonna say a, you grew yeah, it. You're yeah. growing it in your body. I'm not doing anything though. I just like you're you're eating and creating it. Your body is doing it. You don't yeah. even it's like second nature to you. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's so crazy. That's and why it's called the miracle of life. It's, have you it's, figured out a name yet? We have some ideas. Yeah. A list. A uh, filing cabinet. A little filing cabinet. That's uh -huh. a good one. Filing cabinet, Junior. I like that. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really sweet. Carry on the the, the yeah. I was name. I was just like, please don't name your kid Apple or something stupid. <laughs> no, no, nothing <laughs> gay. Nothing, nothing I, was like there gay. like a crazy name that somebody recommended to you, and you're like, what the fuck? Why would I do that to my child? Um, my sister actually said to me because my uh, she was like, oh, are you gonna find a way to name it after mom? I was like, but it's gonna be a boy. <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, how would that wrong work with you? Yeah. Somebody like, said, name him Tyrone. I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> oh my God. No, it's not a Tyrone. <laughs> Aw, that would actually be funny. Just a, yeah. a white kid but, named Tyrone. <laughs> some big dick energy right there, Chrissy. He's Italian yeah. and German. He's like, I'm be... Tyrone. <laughs> oh my God, it'll be a tank. Yeah, for sure. But I've been told by uh, women that the the cravings are supposedly coming later, but who knows? I would I would love to be able to say it's all bullshit and then yeah, because it's blow early. Blow the lid you. off of it all. It's still early for you. Have you had any morning sickness? Zero, zero. Ooh, hopefully it stays. That's like good. That. I hope it stays like that. I yeah. Hope if you get heartburn, that means it's got a lot of hair. Oh wow! What is heartburn? Your mom have weird. a lot of heartburn. And oh. I didn't <laughs> <laughs> like, know that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and I've read that. I've read that. You get that morning sickness is is tip sometimes more of a thing if you're gonna have a girl. And I have had since like zero. Uh -huh. Um, I, you... I I would feel maybe queasy if it was like first thing in the morning. I didn't if I didn't eat anything and it was like eleven or something. Like, but that's I don't think that's morning sickness. I think that's just like oh, you probably should eat something. Yeah, that's your body telling you to eat. Huh. Were you like so happy when you figured out you were pregnant? Were you like, oh my God? I was or in denial and shock. I took five tests. I was like, I threw the first one out. I, I thought it was a fake positive. And then I took another one a week later. I took four the next week and they were all positive. And they all said it in different ways. And I was like, well, shit. Wow. Wow. I, that's so I, cool. I have, I was just like, what? Because I wasn't really, we weren't, I didn't think it would happen without just a lot of trying and like, obsessing right like planning it because they all everyone makes it seem like it's this thing you have to oh your temperature oh you gotta fuck at certain times and you know, <laughs> the, the moon has to be just right and it's got to be a certain position it's crazy yeah yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah i think some people just have a hard time getting pregnant i feel like i was talking to my friend yeah. she did uh, a couple years ago or maybe the kid is a year old now but and she was talking about that, how one of her friends was trying and trying and trying and couldn't get pregnant and was like, it was a thing. And she got off birth control. And that month she got pregnant, like, bam, immediately. She's like, we didn't even that? try. Why was she on birth yeah. control trying what? to get pregnant? No, 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 yeah. no, no. Her, her friend was talking about trying to get pregnant and how she couldn't. And my friend mm. got off birth control because she was like, well, now I want to start trying and I don't know how long it's going to take. And then got pregnant immediately. And the other friend was like, what the fuck? Because wow. she just, just couldn't get pregnant. And I've been reading that it can sometimes take your body a full year to recalibrate after getting off birth control. That's what she thought, too. She's like, after I get off birth control, it's going to take some time. Literally yeah. the first month. Well, there's a <laughs> lot of good. women that mm -hmm. become, like, sterile because of birth control. That's the fucking sad part. That wow. sucks. Mm -hmm. I've, I think been also I've been off of it for so long. I just It made me feel insane, and I took it for I a year never and went into that whole thing because i was yeah. like Fuck this shit. Control? yeah like the pill Dude, I have to be or else i'm just scorched earth <laughs> <laughs> i am like on my period if, i think i'm worse when i'm ovulating but i'm just like i want to break every single thing i see and if anyone comes near me i'm like 
Oh my god, she's like angry. a fucking Chewbacca. <laughs> she's yeah. like a hairy well, Chewbacca. Good. She'll be like, ah, and I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, no, when, PMS is like, I feel like somebody like spent time with one of my ancestors and then coined that term because, oh my god, <laughs> I, I'm insufferable when I'm not on birth control, so I have to. It seems to really work for some people. Like it, some yeah. people take it to help with acne or mm -hmm. hormones or making their periods less painful, more regular. And then it seems to just really fuck some people up. It's weird. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever seen, Anna, have you ever watched the IT crowd? No. Oh, my God. Girl, you got to watch that show because it's, it's really funny. And there's a PMS episode. And like the woman, like she turns into like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> When there's like a, and she like works with these two like nerds in the basement, basically like, it, I it's, feel it's her. Really yeah, mean. you got you got to watch it. You got it's so good. I just want to eat everything when I pee. How about you two? Have Zia? Have you seen IT Crowd? No, I've heard good things about it though. People talk about how good it is. Oh God, it's it's so oh. good. You both have to watch it. It's so good. is it about like? Information technology, or is it like it? Crowd? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. It's about information technology. Like when IT was a thing, like when it was like when it, at first, like in, the internet was becoming a thing, and like you know, it's like these two guys that run the IT crowd for the or the, the IT department for this giant corporation, and they're like in the basement of this giant building, <laughs> and, and they get a woman as a manager because they they're fucking retarded, like socially retarded, and they can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. It's muffin. Hello, muffin. Hey. Camelot's in the chat. I can't pick her Cody. up. I can't pick her up because she's heavy. Oh, oh, can she jump up or can you jump up? Can you jump up? Get up! Jump! Come can on, muffin! Can you jump? Can you jump? She can't jump. Oh, look at her face! Look at her little face! Oh, I can't. All right, well, she won't jump. Chrissy, I literally just noticed that your thing says bloated Scarlet Witch. Yes, How it's me. me until now? Doing casting bloated spells. Wait, do you have a baby bump yet? Um, I just look like I haven't been working out. Mm. Like I've gained like 11 pounds. Well, but 11? it's all 11, right like 11, here. 11 or 12. Yeah, I just look like I have like a, just... I look munty. It's just right say. in the uterus, though. So you, it's not like it looks like you've Zia's gained weight. Seen, I've, I've shown seen Zia it. my boobs and my belly. I've seen both. I've and seen I could it all. Her Are they getting bigger? bigger? The yes. boobs? Yes. Yeah. Like noticeably bigger. Wow. Than the last time I saw them. But your bump is cute. It is a little bump because it's not like you got fat. It's not like you got fat and you have like fat all over the place. It's just there's just like a little. It's just like right there. Like right here. Yeah. It's just right in the uterus area. It's so it's cute. Minty. Oh, it's a little it's baby. Adorable. Adorable. Yes. Oh. It's a little bean in there. It's your little apple. Yeah. I have to is it the size of an apple now? It's an apple now. <gasps> yeah. This thing, Chrissy, it's going to get to the size of a watermelon. You're going to have to shove it out, you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just hope, you have to look forward to. I just Why did you have to ruin it, Anna? Jesus. No, of course. <gasps> I think about that every day. I'm like, am I going to be good at, like, pushing it out? Like, am I going to be competent and do what I'm supposed to do? Like, am I going to be functional? Have you you, you're gonna do like epidurals? Are you gonna do that, a cesarean? Yeah. Like, have you decided? Are you gonna do I natural would like, birth? I would. I mean, in a perfect world, I would want nothing. Um, but I feel like that's not really possible. Realistic. And sometimes I've heard that they give it to you whether you want it or not. I just don't want to feel like everything's out of control. Like well. Also, it depends on how long the labor is going too. Because if it's like just it just shoots right out of you, then you don't even get it. You know? Are right. you gonna do it like a hospital or birth, or are you gonna do like you know? Home I'm gonna have a lot of incense burning. I'm gonna do it here in the tub. <laughs> no. Oh my god! My stepmom gave birth to my little brother in a tub at home, and I was like, well, I eventually went to go stay at my friend's house because I was like, this is fucking crazy. I don't want to stay here. With this. <laughs> Yeah, it oh, was wow. way too much. She's just like in the house screaming and breathing and sitting in a tub and getting up and like walking. Right, it's it's crazy. No, oh my gosh, Chrissy, I'm 
Okay, so remember how I told you to follow that one chick, the ballerina farm? <gasps> I'm obsessed with her now. Isn't yeah. She <laughs> the ch is that the chick with the, the little kids? always? Oh my god, she's yeah, always she's gorgeous with no makeup, and she's always just like making an entire sandwich from scratch, and like will <laughs> bake a whole loaf of bread, and she's always she's got her like all her beautiful children like annoying her, and she just never gets impatient. They're constantly spilling shit and pulling my her screen, hair, and like so and being pesty. And she's like, oh, she's just like an effortless, gorgeous blonde with a farm and a rich family, and like okay, okay. Yeah. I think I know iconic. Know. Her last baby. She's pregnant again, but uh, of course she's she pregnant is. again. How many kids does she have? They're Mormon. This is going to be five. Eight. Oh, wow. Eight. Okay. But How look, does she still look like stunning. this? She was, cause she, so it's called ballerina farm because she went to Juilliard for ballet. Oh, of course she did. Holy and shit. She bread see, by hand. He's pregnant right here. What? what? Where? Where is it? Where? Well, so this is. Is, she's um there's Miss America and then there's Mrs. America. And so she became Mrs. America. Okay. Is that for like the older she, women? But when she had her last baby, she recorded the entire thing and it's up here on Oh Instagram. God, I don't want to see Let's it. Let's watch it. Let's watch no, you, it. You don't no, see no, I'm out. No, I want to watch it come out. Let's see. You it. don't see it. It's in a bathtub. Look at the bread. Oh yeah, look, she makes all this here. Watch. Uh Look at that. Oh, my God. Just effortless with the recipe there. And the kids are helping. And sometimes the kid will spill the whole fucking thing. And she's got to do it over. And she's like, no big deal. I'm just an effortless, chic, whimsical mom. Well, she said she got into like this because her and her husband, Daniel, were living in New York when she was going to Juilliard. And they were always eating out because she didn't know how to cook. And <gasps> she's like, you don't even know what's in our food. Wow. So they're like got the idea to start their own farm because they didn't like living in the city. And I love this. Wow. Okay, now, now I like her. Utah, so they got a, you know, a farm, and then now she makes <gasps> everything. Oh, I love that. I'd be happy what, even to just make one you, thing. You no, know, because it's like, how do they make money? They do subscription boxes where they like wow. their I'm own gonna, meat and her bread. And oh my like, God, I'm signing up. Pre packed where they, goods. Where are they based out of? Utah. All right, Utah. Oh, they're but warm. So, that makes sense. I was like, yeah. how the fuck can they afford this? Because the oven that they have, it's a stove that you never turn off. And it wow. they start at $30,000. So I was like, what the fuck do, do they do? How are they making that much money? Her husband's rich. father created JetBlue. Oh, 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 oh it's, 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 it's the Blue family. Everything. Okay. Yeah. You should have started with that. Oh, it's Mr. and Mrs. Blue. Well, I the didn't heirs know that. to the Jet Blue throne. Well, but yes. see, I didn't know that. But then I saw like an article popped up that wow. said the conspiracy theory about them. And I was like, yeah. So they're millionaires. They could just be living it up, but they're, they have a farm. That, I mean, I honestly, it. that's like similar to what I would do if I had millions <gasps> of dollars. Look at the popsicles. I would Look be like popsicles. making yeah, bread. If I had the shit. money, that's what I would do too. Yeah. Like, I would Christy. do exactly what they're doing. She makes these from Not on a farm though, but. Of course she does. She makes everything from scratch. <gasps> no, I like farms. I want to do this. I really want to do this. That's a very easy recipe. That's very wow. doable. <gasps> oh my God. I would just not do my own farming. Like I'd be like, no, hire someone. I'd have like farm hands. <laughs> her husband does that, so she cooks and like wow. cleans and takes care of all the children. Her husband runs the ranch, and then they, they had three sons, and then they had four daughters. Now she's got baby number oh eight God. on the list. Look That's at the insane. popsicles. Look at the popsicles. Those look really good. Mm -hmm. Those look amazing. Okay. Uh, those popsicles definitely say to me, yes. I, never, oh I don't Oh my hit. God. That is Ooh, fucking gross. With I baby. Wow. Okay. That's, that's very pregnant. See, she's very thin and she's got a very she small is. frame. So I'm not going to look like that. I'm, I, uh, I'm kind of a bulky German, so I'm just not, it's not going to be like that. I've never looked at you and thought you were bulky, Chrissy. You're hilarious. This is <laughs> a bulky German. Like, I'm you're just, not I, bulky. You know what I mean? Like, you're I so petite. A, I could take a punch. Well, you know what I mean? That I, girl I, I, that we <laughs> saw earlier, she was bulky. Okay. You're not bulky. <laughs> yeah. I mean yes. like sturdy. I meant to say sturdy. Sturdy, you're like a sturdy, you're a sturdy uh, ranch Whoa, woman. Oh, look how small she is, and this thing has to come out of her. <sighs> I would Ugh. not want everyone looking, I would send the kids away. I would be like, Ugh. Oh my god, all the blood in the bathtub. No, thank she you. Pulls oh it out of I cannot watch that. 
that's god. green. Oh my oh, god, that's no. amazing. Oh, that's so amazing. I oh hate my god. you, Anna. Oh, that's really Nina cool. That is Nina. Do you, you know want what? kids? That's really cool. No, never. No. That's gross. So, Chrissy, you could have it in a bathtub. <laughs> I could catch it myself. I could save on a hospital bill. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my God. That's amazing. He said, where's the dad? He was right there. <laughs> He's filming. He's he was rubbing wood. her back. That oh is so God. cool. That's a, that's. I really think that's awesome because. If uh, I did have a baby, wow. I would be fucking knocked the fuck out. Like, Dude, I would just same. wake up. And there's a baby in my hand. Like I'd be no, like, I'm I never fucking feel it. seeing it. I want to see like, mm -mm. I don't know. Not that I, I don't want to feel it. Pain, I don't want to but... see it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Just give me the baby. She freaking caught it. it. Like I watched a video once of a woman giving birth in her kitchen. She just was standing up, like leaning against the counter and caught it with the other How? hand. I was like, that's, like, that's iconic. That's okay. insane. Anna, that's, that's enough. It For wasn't, fuck's it sake, wasn't, Santa. It wasn't her first. You can't do that. I think, the, yeah. I think if it's not your first, you can catch yeah, it. Here's it's a palette cleanser. Oh, look, it's bread again. Look, it's a, it's a kids now. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. cute. Look how wholesome. Yeah, so these are the boys helping her since she just had a baby. <gasps> oh, my God. That's really so, cute. but this is one of the great things. All of her kids now know how to cook from scratch. Wow, that's so a good. That's a great skill to have. Life yeah. skills. Yeah, they that's should teach neat. more kids how to how to cook. To me, it's like not whether it's a guy or a girl. It's not fucking cute if you don't know how to cook and you can't take care of yourself. If guys are right. like, I can't cook anything, or women are like, I don't know. Like, you need to be able to feed yourself. Other, Just at like, least not be intimidated by it. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you if you can't follow a recipe, like, really, you can't look at a recipe and follow it, that's not hard. Wow. Those look good. Maybe yes, it, they're doing a placenta glaze oh. over the biscuits. <laughs> that's like it, cool, like though. Right your baby. Oh, mm -hmm. he looks all, he's all tuckered out from the birth. Yeah, oh it's like God. he did the work. That's really cool. That's badass. Wow. Mm. And then she was back to being thin and chic the next day. Dude, she looked thin he... immediately. What the fuck? Well, I mean, that's yeah. what happens when you're like, when you pop out that baby. Like, it's yeah. like, she was already very petite. My stepmom yeah. gains like 80 pounds when she was pregnant with my brother. <laughs> she she got so big. That's what I've it, heard. Again, it depends on like what you eat and how you go about the pregnancy. I actually remember, oh God, there was this one time when she was driving with my dad and my dad's a bodybuilder. So he's like very into health and mm -hmm. she had gotten so big and this was like towards the end of her pregnancy and she was eating like a ice cream sundae in the car. I think Ooh. my dad's, yeah, my dad like said something like, dude, you don't need to be eating that much shit. Like you need to stop with that. And so she threw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> driving on the highway at like 60 because she was so pissed at him yeah because people get twisted like you you have to eat everything that you ever think of and it's like i'm coming off of two years well really a lifetime of ignoring my cravings because i was just living my life always trying to lose weight especially last two years leading up to the wedding so it's like now that i'm pregnant i'm not like let me just eat whatever because it's like i was never like that and right. you're only supposed to have like 300 extra calories a day but that those are nutrient dense calories and that's just like right eating Extra garbage protein. like I, as i just ate popcorn right but yeah um, but you shouldn't be eating like yeah. sugar like extra no, sugars like really. as, which is like Try basically like ice cream or like you know cakes or you know big things like that but that's that's what gives you like the major because if gains. you are even mm -hmm. there's like studies on obese women who get pregnant uh the bigger you are the more likely you're the bigger your baby's going to be, which can be like harder to push out, harder Oof. to deliver. Oof. You can um, get gestational diabetes if you're not careful where you develop diabetes when you're pregnant. You do. You do have to watch it. You're really not supposed to just go nuts. No. And they make it sound like you can just eat shakes every day and like garbage. And it's like, well, then you'll you'll probably still be hungry for the stuff your body's actually craving. So. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's like you have to have something junky, have like a small piece, but like also it's just more weight you're going to have to lose later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you're only really, if you're in shape, you're only supposed to gain, gain like 25 to 35. If you're overweight, you're only supposed to gain maybe, maybe 20 or less. 
So, yeah, I don't want to go up to like 180. I don't think you will. Because like you said, you don't eat like that to begin with. So yeah. it's not like you're just going to let go. You're going to eat the same way you normally eat, but you're a little bit hungrier. So like you eat a tiny bit more, you know? Yeah, I think it's just they're all about like we'll eat more frequently, but like smaller meals. Because mm -hmm. I will, I'll be starving and then I'll just eat a little and then I'll be really full. Mm. I, well, I've also heard that that happens because as the baby grows, it pushes your stomach up. And so it like makes everything smaller. So you can't eat as much in one sitting. Mm -hmm. And did you okay. just get attacked by something? There's a giant moth flying around. Oh my God. <laughs> get it. Did it you attacked by like a possum or something when you were in there once? <sighs> what has it got? <laughs> <laughs> no, Zia, I was sitting here. I was on a stream and I thought Tulip came in and laid on my feet because I have a heater under my desk. Okay. And it wasn't Tulip, but I, I didn't know that for like 10 minutes. And then I went down to like go pet her. And I looked dead in the eyes of a raccoon. <laughs> oh it's a baby raccoon. And so it came in to like get warm and it was on my feet. And I I was on a live show. I screamed and I like pushed my chair all the way back and it ran out. I felt kind of bad. I'm like, Aww. No, but I understand why you'd freak out. But that's so cute. Baby raccoons are adorable. It was yeah. just like trying to – it probably thought you were its mom. It's like, this is my new mom. Aww. You're warm. I love raccoons. <laughs> Especially ones that eat. Cat food. Um, so, you know, thank you for tonight. My grandmother might might be out soon, yet you are bringing life. Aww. Akuna Matata Aww. and shit. Yep. You just have to love the people in your life while you can because you have mm -hmm. no idea how long anybody has. A um, couple more little guys. Russell Hall, today's secret word is episiotomy. Everybody scream. Isn't that episiotomy sucks. when they cut from... Oh, your... it's where you're taint gets ripped apart. yeah apart. yeah they cut it and then they oh. sew it back up afterwards yeah no Blech. oh my god i would be like sew it up a little tighter don't that's you what know? they do they call it the husband stitch <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. that's a real thing <laughs> and a couple of extra if he's black um russell hall nina is correct about the it crowd it's great thank you russell it is Janelle, hear about the doctor who pulled the head off the baby. Yes, I did. Why? They will not be using that doctor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they they literally took the forceps or whatever. They pulled, the, they decapitated the baby during birth. It was oh, fucking holy fuck! Sam takes some cast on location to her farm. Oh my god! If she would only have us. And from push up, good night, Christy. Cheers on a great stream. Thanks, push ups. Um, Nina, where can people find you? What is coming up? Uh, you can find me on my channel, Nina Infinity, and tomorrow I'll be on Toxic Femininity on Midnight's Edge, and uh, it'll be a Halloween special, so I'll be in costume again. And uh, thank you for having me on, Chrissy. And as always, you can also find me on my channel on Wednesdays and Fridays for good news. So thank you again. It's thank been super you, fun. Nina. I always love being on Simcast. You're the best, and you really brought it with that costume. Um, a rav test is my first interaction with a raccoon was when I was driving a forklift. Not the best first impression. Oh, okay. I love a raccoon. Um, love raccoon. Anna, what's coming up? How are you? What is up? Uh, I'm going to be doing a birthday stream on October 31st, my birthday. And then I have Jack's show on Thursday. I think it's on John's channel. And I will be doing some kind of gaming or painting stream tomorrow or the next day. So I'll see you guys all there. But I, I need to go okay. to sleep. The, mm -hmm. the extensions look so good, by the way. They like, yeah, you look amazing. Oh, they, they, they look so good. real. So they are getting held in by um, bobby pins. Ooh. Ah. Which is really I'm actually going tomorrow to get them put back in, but I can't shower or I can't oh, wash no, my no. hair until then. So my body's all clean, but my head feels so gross. Oh, uh, it'll be over tomorrow. Soon. Tomorrow, yeah. yes. I got lots yeah. of compliments of, of my hair. It looks really good. It looks dope. Uh, Zia, my love, what's coming up? Where can people find you? Um, Zealand on my YouTube channel, X I A L A N D. Tomorrow, though, I will be on X Ray Girls channel at 6 p.m. We're going to talk Doctor Who. And then um, I'll be on my channel for a member stream at 9 p.m. And then Zia next Tuesday is 8 p.m. on YouTube. And Saturdays, 
uh, with Cody, Mr. Camelot, who was in the chat earlier, we do camel thoughts. So that Saturday is at 10 p.m. on his channel. And then it's uh, Zia underscore land on Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me there. Zia land on OnlyFans. And I think that's it. Awesome. And my next show, guys, is going to be in Tampa, December 3rd. I'm working on potentially squeezing in a Texas trip. And then I got San Diego, January 5th and 6th at the mic drop. So you can get tickets at ChrissyMayer.com. Um, I do have an interview coming up this week. I think I'm going to have it's halloween tomorrow i'll probably be wearing this again oh i'll be interviewing tracy beans on wednesday at 12 o'clock noon eastern time um and then gotta take care of a few things but i'll keep you guys guys updated and then of course fnt on friday yeah this was a great stream thank you guys for coming and staying this long that's what she said thank you to the <laughs> chat one final sneaky super chat from a raft test. Sorry, I'm like this, Anna. Good night. Yes, we're sorry too. No, you guys are great. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and we'll see.